I'm so tired of being stupid. <laughs> Why was I born stupid? Where's my sticker, dude? I'm so tired of this shit, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, I cursed. Is that okay? Hopefully enough time. Hopefully I was muted long enough to where YouTube won't get mad at me. <laughs> Why was I born stupid? Where's my born stupid stickers? I don't even know where they're at right now. I need, I need it. It's just because when I record videos, I usually have to mute OBS because I get it through like another source because it's just easier to control and then I always forget about it. But uh, I'm, I'm glad you guys can see at least the Cyrus, uh, the Cyrus meme. Oh man. I, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so uh, there was this one thing that uh, Dara sent to you after the last stream, and it was so fucking funny. It was about Cyrus. It was like, uh, there's this TikTok of this boy. I don't know if I can really show it, because uh, I think it has, like, copyright music in it. But it's, like, his grandpa or something's in the hospital, and he's, like, literally making a TikTok being like, Did you give up? Nah, nah, nah. I won't give up. Nah, nah. It was, like, like dancing in front of it. <laughs> we were all like, that's going to be Cyrus after the first VDA. <laughs> I'm kidding. Cyrus seems nice. That'll definitely be Kai, though, uh, honestly, in Eden's Garden. I definitely see that being being the case. Wait, I'm not I'm not muted anymore, right? Right. Let's see. Um, I think I'm okay. Nice. Oh, thank you, Omega Panda. Hey, we'd be happy to see another fan game. Me too. Yeah, it's been a it's been a good ride so far. I'm curious to see how they do this. Um, how they do it so quickly. You know what I mean? Um. Cause yeah, I think it's supposed to only be like a, like a week or something, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy. I'm curious to see how everybody, uh, I don't know, <laughs> starts, uh, killing each other so quickly. What are the motivations going to be and stuff like that? I hope, uh, I hope we get to meet Zero too. Cause I saw him in the opening and he looked like Monokuma, but we haven't, uh, haven't seen him yet. Okay, cool. That's good. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Let me go ahead and kind of fix some of my audio too. So... It's not too loud when the game actually shows up. <laughs> okay, um, let me go ahead and get some of this started too. Do, do, do. Ooh, oopsie. Uh, thank you, Marie Liz, for becoming a sponsor. Appreciate ya. Okay, so I wanted to give some shout outs to uh, the subreddit. This one was made by Pure Toasty. I didn't even notice this line. Where it's like, in the foyer, Missy was already doing her own investigating, intensely staring at walls. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, this wall is definitely made out of wall. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. Thank you for pointing that out. I had, I had no clue. Gosh, she's so helpful. <laughs> she, like, looks so smart, but she's, like, actually just, like, a dumbass. <laughs> yes, this wall. <laughs> this wall over here definitely made out of drywall. Then, uh, I like this one, too, because it also kind of helps me with, uh, <laughs> with... The they them stuff for this uh, meme. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss manipulate mansplain male wife. But where is the non-binary representation here? I'm proud to introduce theorize throw up them spouse. Oh my god, slay slay my liege or serve my liege. And this one was made by Ash Noel. So shout out to you. And then uh, also of course I got to show up to because they're like the. <laughs> The CEO of, uh, literally, yeah, CEO of Lie Art here. So, of course, we gotta show the gay boyfriends too, since and everybody loves the gay boyfriends as well. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, Epta, when you first started talking about Lie Art, I think I just thought this was like a character <laughs> by themselves, honestly. So, I can't remember you talking about it like uh, when I was still playing, like, I don't know, either SDRE2 or the first Dong and Rampa, another, but I was like, Ah, uh, this lie, op, uh, lie art person. <laughs> He's, he seems interesting. He seems fine. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Let me uh, read some of these donos. Thank you guys for all the donos, too. Appreciate you. And thank you, Emily Irish. It's been so long since I've been to a stream. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to get going on this, man. Excited to get going and see what happens. I think we're going to see the first victim. And I think we're going to get through the first trial, too, because uh, this game's pretty uh, quick as well. I mean, Zero's got like a freaking timer out, like a stopwatch. <laughs> you guys better, you guys killing each other yet? <laughs> okay, thank you. Kage Kage. I'm so upset. I can't stay for the stream this time. I hope you're doing well. Good luck on the trial. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm curious to see how the trials go in this game. Like what exactly the, um, I don't know what the gameplay is going to be like for it. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I guess we'll see uh, when we get to it. But thank you for the dono. Appreciate it. And thank you, Kelsey. Maybe you need a subscription of stupid stickers. <laughs> I thought I'd be okay, honestly. <laughs> I was like, no, I'll be okay. It's just the first trial. I need to get them out. <laughs> if 
but apparently I need them too, even just for the beginning of the streams. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I'm dead. Also, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Kelsey was the person who uh, made the stickers that I bought as well. She's awesome, so uh, be sure to check her out on uh, Etsy. She also has like an Instagram too. It's just like a, I think glass art and stuff. It looks really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get this uh, all going. Oh God, it's so loud. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Okay, there we go. Still trying to get used to the levels for all this stuff. Nice. Echo my liege. I do like my liege. I saw somebody else saying some uh, other ones too that I could use, but I don't know. My liege, I feel like that, I feel like it just rolls off the tongue, you know what I mean? Just so nice. Thank you, Dusk Parta, for becoming a member, for joining the Kenjo Cult. Woo! Thank you, Omega Panda of 76. Currently it works sadly, so I'll see you in the VOD. Also, we'll throw out this one so far. Say and Pandora are my best girls. One shy, so it seems like the other is full of positivity and I love it. I uh, I think I like everybody so far. No, no Mitches. <laughs> so, so we're good on that one for sure. <laughs> oh man. But uh, thank you for the donation, appreciate you. Also, thank you, Epta. Again, my last donation got buried, but live, laugh, lie. <laughs> Thanks, Epta, for the donation. Did I miss your other one? Oh no, I don't know if I, oh man, hopefully, hopefully not. Let me see if I can scroll it. Oh, thank you, Epta, back at it again with my lie art syndrome. Okay, we got that too, awesome. I know, I love your lie art. I'm, I'm ready to ship it, man. I'm ready to, I'm ready to start shipping this. They're already pretty cute, honestly. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, let's go ahead. I open my eyes. <laughs> Coral, no, don't say slay, guys. Oh my god, everybody's saying slay in the chat. Guys, stop telling them to slay. They're gonna do it, okay? Also, I saw somebody saying predictions for first, uh, was it for like first, um, for first victim? I don't know, man. I don't think, I don't know. I feel like Pandora kind of gives me death flags. I don't know. I feel like there's just something off about her. I don't know why I'm judging her so hard. <laughs> Um, I hope it's not Forte. Um, I don't know. I could see Ashley too. I feel like Ashley's gonna die this chapter, to be totally honest. Just cause like, I just feel like whenever you have a friend already in a killing game, like, it, it's just not a good, it's just not a good scenario. Cause then it's like, I just feel like the creator of these types of games wants the character to like go out of their shell and meet other people. And what better way to encourage them to do that than by killing their best friend? I just kind of feel like that's always a thing, honestly. The clock on my bedside table read at 12 o'clock. Oh, I must have dozed off a little. Why can't this weird situation just be a dream already? I started, I stared blankly around my personal room. I guess I could take a walk to get my mind off of things. I guess I didn't really give a prediction for first victim. I could see it being Cyrus though. I feel like Cyrus, Ashley, and then maybe Pandora. I don't know why. Those are my three main people that I think might die early on, but I guess we'll see. Guys, stop it. Everybody stop. You guys don't have the slay pass either. You guys cannot say slay. Don't say it. Say serve. We're not playing cooking companions, so it's probably safe to say that. Although Shobai did serve a lot, and he was a he was a sussy baka too. I made my way to the foyer inside again. The grandiose foyer was empty, making me feel smaller against its elaborate decor. I dwindled ar around for a spell, thinking of what to do when I heard a small conversation in the dining hall. Uh, have a look at this. Okay. Oh hey. It was Pandora and oh my god, you're being so why are you being so creepy, Echo? <laughs> they must not see me. It was Pandora and Say. Paused at the doorway. It seems like they were in the middle of something. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. The engravings is just immaculate. My sister gave it to me ages ago. Oh, yeah, of course. The reason why I find Pandora sassy is just because I fucking gave her the Karen voice. Now I remember. My sister gave it to me ages ago. I was wondering if you'd like it. Huh? Why me? Were you wanting something in return? Nothing of the sort. I was thinking as a watchmaker, you must have a rich eye for detail. I believe you could give this piece the care it needs. Uh, I I don't know. If it's a gift for your sister, wouldn't you want to keep... Oh, yeah, I was like, for real. Uh, don't worry, I fucking hate my sister. I killed that bitch a long time ago. Yeehaw. I'm, I'm afraid I can't quite put it to good, good enough use. I cherish it. But if someone else can appreciate it more than I, who am I to keep it away from her? 
Oh, what? Are they flirting right now? Am I just like being a creepy, <laughs> a creepy, <laughs> sussy baka watching them flirt in the corner right now? Um, I'll, I'll try to take care of it. Th thank you. Uh, um, even after a pressing, a pressing situation made itself known, it seemed like Pandora still wanted to get along with everyone. Even the most timid person, some way or another. I cannot believe Pandora is fucking flirting right now after we're literally just put in a death game. Thank you, Alejandro. Hey, Weeby, that Hunger Games video you posted had me dying. Oh, thank you for writing my day. I'm so glad you liked it. Those videos were so funny, dude. It really made me want to do my own, uh, <laughs> own, like, Hunger Games simulator, too. But with some, like, uh, you know, like, make up some prompts, too. Because I'm pretty sure you can do that ad in, like... So and so sea sauce another person you know does the seesaw effect or something like that but uh thanks for the dono appreciate you i left them alone as you should echo as you should <laughs> wait who's that in the corner over there why are they being so fucking creepy and of course canon takes a picture of me <laughs> got, got another picture of you being a fucking creeper echo i step back into the center of the foyer i wonder how everyone else is doing we're all doing so great. Oh, I can, uh, oh, free time. Cool. Okay. Oh, I can't hang out with them. <laughs> you don't want to be a third wheel over here, yeehaw. Okay. Um, should I talk to Cyrus? I don't know, man. I'm like, oh, fucking, fucking Lyle again. Location unknown. Why are you guys so sussy? Of course you are. I kind of want to hang out with Forte a little bit. Um, I don't think he's gonna die, but I'm just kind of curious about him, to be honest. I don't know, he seems a little sus to me, too. Oh, Art's so cute, though. I kind of want to hang out with him, damn it. Who do I Who do I hang out with? I don't know. Thank you, big chunk of Bridget. <laughs> nice. Profile pick by 3RF. Let's do this, Weeby. I've got a new pick for the video. Nice. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Pop off, bestie. Thank you, Marie So True. Fun fact, every character is canon, not straight. Oh, really? You know, I think I saw somebody put, like, uh their uh, preferences or something in like my discord or maybe it was on reddit i can't remember but uh yeah it's kind of cool that the uh creator did that okay let's see everybody <laughs> i see everybody uh man mm -mm 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 -mm. i see a lot of forte a lot of art uh, a lot of i don't know if i'm just like seeing what i want to see though at the same time you know what i mean let's let's hang out with art first and then i'll hang out with forte i wonder if art's okay Dude, he has no clue what's going on right now. <laughs> His hat just like blinds him from everything. Oh god, you're in the room where I think the first death's gonna happen. <laughs> Echo, wanna see how high I can climb? <laughs> Safety first though. I watched Art struggle with the ropes and harness before giving up on the idea of climbing altogether. So weird. What's on your mind? Uh, this game thing that announcement said it was like a game, but it's not very fun a very fun premise You know what I'm saying like killing each other. That's like not that fun. That's not that epic not like golfing man a huge mansion or whatever just for the ten of us to play a killing game it seems I don't know Expensive, you know, I have this theory too. I don't know why but I swear to god rich people fucking love golf so much it drives me insane like you ever notice that whenever you're like vacationing somewhere, there's always like golf courts and it's always like so expensive to go there. Like why do rich people like golf so much? Anyways, this tangent is just to say that I think art's from a rich family. <laughs> Cause like, I just always, uh, I don't know. I always have that like idea in mind. Oh, so voice. Oh, he would be a good person for that voice actually. A huge mansion. Well, I don't know. He's not, I feel like that's just such a little shit voice. I kind of like the Ryuji voice for him. It, what do you, what do you mean? This place is huge. I would have thought maybe more people would be involved by the looks of it or something. Uh, not that I want a lot of people to play Achilles. Does that make him sussy, actually, if I think he's rich? Since uh, this is, like, literally taking place in a mansion. It's my papa. No big deal. We just got bored, you know, from playing golf all the time. So we were just like, yeah, it's fucking. Let's make people kill each other. Whatever. You, you say a lot of people, but are ultimate students really so common? Uh, yes and no. I'm familiar with Ashley's name, only because I pay attention to the sport, but I know it's zilch about photography. I think you just have to be in the right circles or something. Oh, uh, thank you. 1A Android. Wow, never been a member for this long. Love you. Oh, thank you so much. It's so cute. I like your profile picture as well. Is that by uh, Brownie? The art kind of looks uh, familiar. Thanks for being a member for three months. You're awesome. I appreciate you. And to put in perspective, there are billions of people on the planet. It only seems like a lot of the ultimate students in this moment, since we're all gathered up. 
That's true. Well, at least you don't have to worry much about all this ultimate talent stuff. It's so tiring being so fucking talented and gifted, God. Oh, you're so lucky to be a loser with no talent whatsoever. Anyways, oh wait, were they talking shit? <laughs> wait, uh, okay, Art felt, fell unusually silent for a spell. Okay, I thought Echo was gonna be like, fuck you, <laughs> like, their brain. Anyways, it doesn't look like I can figure out this climbing business. <laughs> Catch you later. Art gave me a quick nod as he zipped out of the climbing center. Okay, cool. I wonder how many people I can hang out with. Okay, I guess I'll hang out with, uh, does that mean, I'm like trying to think if it's weird that I can't hang out with them. Surely that doesn't mean they're gonna die, right? Okay, let's hang out with Forte. Forte's probably in the theater. Never trust a guy named Art. He just wants to make, he wants to make this killing game into art himself, you know what I mean? That's that's what this killing game is. It's an art, it's a beauty. Uh, I don't know, I was also thinking about how can I relate a killing game to golf? <laughs> I do feel like he would be like the least likely to be the, like the one you would expect the least to be the mastermind, honestly. And that's what's making me think he could be the mastermind related to the mastermind. Like, people are just like golf balls. You just beat the shit out of them until they fall into a ditch in the ground and go six feet under. Hey, I got it. I got it. Welcome to the stage, Echo. I was just admiring the selection of props backstage. Would you like to try some? I awkwardly tried, tried on some hats and masks with Forte. This killing game. It can't be a reality, can it? Excuse me. I was just thinking out loud. Uh, that's okay. I was wondering the same thing. I mean the preservation project. Ah, uh, what am I saying? They can't be related. Surely the group has been infiltrated and is pulling a horrible prank. Though I can't say I enjoy the perpetrator's flavor of humor. I guess, uh, well, I don't know. I mean the preservation project. I don't know, they seem pretty sus, <laughs> sus to me too, honestly. <laughs> I was like, ah! I don't know. I could definitely see the preservation project being uh, being behind it. Oh, thank you so much, Pandora. Weeby, you are so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna read your gonna read your note on the Pandora voice. You are so funny. You bring me so much joy. I hope you keep doing videos and being yourself. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thanks for the donation. I'm glad you guys like the streams too. Thank you, Regret. Oh, same. My first stream here. So yay, wholesome. By the way. Oh, thanks for joining. Wholesome for now. <laughs> we're in the uh, we're in the free time events. Uh, hopefully. I mean, you know, the first, the first murder and the first trial will be wholesome too in its own way. In its own way. Uh, I'm just messing around, but thank you for the uh, donation. Appreciate you. Though I can't say I enjoy the perpetrator's flavor of humor. What is the preservation project anyways? It is a group that provides safe housing for ultimate students, protecting them from extreme natural disasters. It had a reputation for taking in small groups of students at a time. This is so sus, dude. This is already so sus, dude. I'm like, was it? This kind of reminded me of V3 a little bit. Where it was like, uh, we were, you know, like the fake backstory in V3, how we were like taken to be protected from the end of the world or some shit. It had a reputation of taking in small groups of students at a time, since the news of it was passed along solely by word of mouth. Once again, once enough students signed up, a number of them were let in. In our case, it seems the message got to 10 of us. Word of it mouth yes a lot of ultimate students often flock together in small communities within their area since they're often outcast by the average oh so hard being so fucking talented and rich i personally heard it when they acquired an ultimate radio host to help spread the message to my community i can recall with clarity his voice was boisterous and engaging not unlike that strange announcer okay okay i'm like overanalyzing this so hardcore but once enough students signed up, a number of them were lit in. Our case, it seems the message got to 10 of us. It's kind of, I mean, I'm assuming, I feel like it's pretty obvious or likely. I want to say obvious, but just in case I'm wrong, I'll say likely that this is in a totally different universe, especially since it seems like Hope's Peak doesn't exist at all. Ultimate Students is just like, uh, I don't know, this thing that every everybody's just like chosen for, or like, you know, certain people are just chosen for. Despite that, it was a modest arrangement overall. There seemed to be a constrained effort not to spread the word far and wide. Which is strange, considering the varying range of students and talents around the world. Wouldn't you think the group would extend this offer to more ultimates? Um, I guess it does feel a little deliberate or something. Ah, uh, listen to me jawing away. Don't mind my pindatic thoughts. Just trying to make sense of this is all. 
Forte quieted down as he continued to inspect the costume backstage. Ultimate communities. <laughs> Do you guys have your own fucking gated communities? <laughs> we don't like the, we don't like the, you know, associate with the peasants because it's just, it's too hard. They just don't get our struggle. I thanked Forte for spending time with me and left the theater. It kind of reminds me of like celebrities when they're like, God, it's so hard being rich and famous. <laughs> I'm sure, you know, they have their issues too, but... <laughs> But sometimes, oh, can I actually click on these people? Oh, I didn't know I could uh, do that, actually. Maybe I'll try to hang out with Lyle then. I was gonna go with Cyrus. Do I hang out with everybody? I thought, kind of seemed like uh, Epto was saying that maybe I could hang out with everybody. That's kind of cool if that's the case. Let's try to hang out with Lyle. I wonder what's, what Lyle's up to. Yeah, it's like, I'm sure they have their own struggles and stuff. It just kind of comes off funny when they're just like, God, it's so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since Echo's struggling so hard with not having a talent. A Ashley, who's that? No, I'm just <laughs> who's that? You mean that weird horse girl? Oh my god. <laughs> Loser. Don't want to hang out with her. Just kidding. Uh, I'm just messing around. Big chunk of Bridget. It must be hard for Echo Pine to not be ultimate, considering both of his siblings are ultimate. Both of. Uh, technically, they're. Uh, or it should be uh, their siblings, since they're uh, non binary, are ultimate students. Wait, did Echo, did Echo, Echo say that? That they had siblings? Uh, maybe, I think they did actually in the last stream, maybe. I kind of forgot about that. I wandered the first and second hallways and searched for Lyle, but failed to find him. I guess he's off solving the killing game puzzle. Better let him get to it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, you little fucking weirdo. Okay, you guys want me to hang out with Ashley or... Or Cyrus. I think, let me see. Yeah, you can hang out with everybody. Okay, cool, so it doesn't even matter then. I'll just hang out with Cyrus next. I'll look for Cyrus. Do do. Hello, Echo. Have you come to relax for a bit in the spa? Feel free to join me. I settled in with Cyrus for a relaxing moment. Guys, don't worry, I can hang out with, uh, I can hang out with everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Epta. Lyle is too busy hanging out with his boyfriend. <laughs> Leave him be. But I got to hang out with his boyfriend, man. Why is he being? Why is he being so sussy? Oh, <laughs> I can't do the literal like, trauma reaction I have when I see the fucking sprite. I said, Cyrus, what do you know about the preservation project? Oh, just about as much as any other student who signed up. It's a group that protects ultimate students from extreme natural disaster. This really sounds like the thing from B3 so far. To preserve humanity's future, it's presumed that is their goal, as the name implies. Huh, that's as much as I know, too. It would be unfortunate to lose people who would benefit the world, right? That makes sense. What? What do you think of all this? I sighed. Oh, yeah, you know what? Somebody pointed out that Cyrus's last name is literally just his first name, but I think, like, scrambled, or maybe it's just backwards. I just kind of noticed that, too, when I was looking at the, uh, <laughs> was looking at the, uh, chat, or whatever. Uh, thank you, Sprite Goblin. Poor Echo wasn't invited to the ultimate Discord server, but they were, but they were invited to the, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, I really got <laughs> left out of the ultimate Discord server, but I, but I made it into the killing game. Yay. Slay. <laughs> or serve. Oh man, thank you for the dono. Thank you, Big Chunk of Bridget. It's a cartoon and Danganronpa joke. Oh, okay, I haven't watched that one yet. I want to though, it looks pretty interesting. I like uh, I like a lot of uh, cartoons, so I feel like it'd be pretty fun to see all the uh, different personalities, you know what I mean? The scenario we found ourselves in, it feels like the very opposite of saving ultimate students, quite literally. It's terrible, building excitement and hopes of safety only to crush those feelings in a messed up game? I couldn't wrap my head around the idea. A more than reasonable observation. It, it's cruel, isn't it? Yeah, literally. Sai. What the fuck, Sai? What is up with your last name, you sussy baka? Man! I don't know, man. Maybe I am just overly paranoid. <laughs> Why does that make me think he's suspicious? The fact that his last name is just his first name is spelled backwards. <laughs> I guess I haven't looked at the other people's last names yet, but that's so fucking weird, dude. But most of all, I was still confused as to why I. Why and how I found myself here? In that case, what do you think of the others? Huh? What What about them? Well, our associates all found their way here for some reason or another. Isn't that right? No one would want to join a killing game voluntarily. That much is obvious. But say that the former were true, that they joined to become part of humanity's future. 
Pandora seems keen on the idea that our talents can induce worldly, worldly benefit and change. Do you think such a thing could happen? I suppose so. Why not? Cyrus chuckled faintly. Why not? How optimistic. Okay. Huh. I'm not trying to kill the game. But they joined to become a part of humanity's future. I mean, yeah, it seems like this place was meant to protect us, but then they turned it around on us. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, Cyrus. Oh, yeah, I guess it might be a lot to hope for from the scenario we're in. And <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good of you to make the spirit, to maintain the spirit that anything is possible. Cyrus flashed a present smile <laughs> in a lip bite before reclining back into the spa chair in silence. After a beat, I saw myself out as Cyrus continued to enjoy his time in the spa. I don't know, I kind of feel like I could see him being the first victim too, but I don't know if it's just because he looks like Rentar. <laughs> I wonder how Ash is doing. Okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out with Ashley, okay? We're gonna hang out with Ashley. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to in chat. Hey, Echo, I was just reading about this painter named Marcel Osterzone. Apparently, people think very highly of their work. Would you like to see? Just a bunch of paintings of horses, isn't it? <laughs> yep, I learned about a Renaissance painter thanks to Ashley. So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better. I took a walk to clear my head a little bit. Glad to hear it. The last thing I would want is for you to get all worked up. Ash, I'm curious. How did you hear about the preservation project? Um, I heard about it by word of mouth. <laughs> this is kind of a stupid thought. I was just thinking too, somebody was saying that like, um, everybody has, um, you know, like their, I guess like sexualities and stuff is like, nobody's like straight in this game. Does that mean that Zero or like the person who put this killing game together is homophobic? It feels kind of homophobic. It feels a little homophobic. Not one straight person, man. Not one straight person. Zero comes out and he's like, it is, it is I who is straight. It's like, I don't know, man. It just makes you think. Just a little thought, a little food for thought. Damn, Zero. Um, I heard about it by word of mouth. I have some ultimate talent colleagues that were just talking about the preservation project. So I signed up for it along with my friend, the ultimate race car driver. Wow, a jockey and a race car driver. That's a pretty high stakes tags team. Oh yeah, thank you, Emily Irish. I kinda, I, uh, I got distracted on my rant. <laughs> so, okay, thank you for the donation. Cyrus is a robot, giving me robot vibes. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I kind of feel like Cyrus is giving me first victim vibes, to be totally honest. That's like the main thing I'm getting from him, but I feel like it might just be because he kind of looks like Rontaro to me. And so I just feel like everybody looks like that should die first. You know what I mean? Oh man, thank you, Star Daniel. We know you gave mint. <laughs> Shut up. No, I did it. God damn it. Dude, that was so funny in the video though, because it'd be like, Saruga got supplies. It'd be like, me, Yuruga got supplies. Me, Mitch. I was like, no, no. Stop it. Stop putting them all together like that. <laughs> oh man, thank you typical fangirl for the donation, but uh, please no um, spoilers, hints, or theories in chat. Just a, just a, you know, shout out to that. Oh man. Oh my God, no. this one is a conversion killing game. <laughs> Jesus. Zero. My name is Zero because I want to make sure there's zero gay people left. <laughs> that's, what, that's how he's gonna reveal when he comes out, guys. I called it here. I know you're like, wow, Weeby, have you? <laughs> Have you have you been spoiled on this game? You just know too much. I know guys. It's hard to believe but I'm just very I'm just that brilliant Wow a jockey and a race car driver. That's a pretty high-stakes tag team Well, you know how it goes birds of a feather flock together But I can't help but wonder whether or not he made it in I'm sure he did. He's probably just in a different group Maybe it's just last I spoke to him. We got in a huge fight Um, Ashley didn't seem to want to talk anymore. Sorry. I brought up something painful. No, no, it's it's okay Fights happen when people are close. It's just a fact of life. I suppose We've had our fair share of spats, but have usually worked them through we usually work through them. Remember when I dropped your mug? I still have that, that horse mug. He worked pretty hard to mend it together in that Kitsuki fashion. Okay, interesting. I don't know, I don't know what that word means. 
Although it's a little too awkward to drink out of. I mean, it is shaped like a horse's head. I mean, <laughs> stop judging me, Echo, okay? I knew it was your favorite, so I, I did my best. Thanks, Echo. I appreciate what you're trying to say. Don't worry about my silly fight. I'll get over it. So yeah, we all think he's dead, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Am I the only one? I said goodbye and let her have some time alone. I don't know, man. I think he's dead. Okay, Missy. I'll go talk to Missy. Be staring at uh, staring at some more walls. Ah, oh, yes. This wall is made out of wood. Interesting. Interesting. I can't sit still knowing there are questions to be answered. Would you like to join me in the investigation? I helped Missy search every corner of the foyer to no avail. Ah, oh, sigh. That was kind of a heavy sigh. Are you okay? I'm not immune to the pressure of the situation we have found ourselves in. And I must confess something, if you would allow me to think aloud a moment. I intended to join the Preservation Project as a part of their operating group. Once I heard about it, I thought my skills would prove useful. Really? What are you thinking about now? I'm convinced the group must have been infiltrated. The group is known for bringing in many talents from around the world. Is everybody... Guys, don't, uh, don't compare characters too much, okay? Um, I don't know, I think like a couple of jokes here and there is fine, but you know, don't be, don't be too intense about it. Uh, I guess I can try to not <laughs> make any jokes about it, uh, as well. I was like, I don't know, I'm trying to see if there's too many in chat. I see people talking about it, but, uh, thank you, typical fangirl, for the donation, but, uh, yeah, please, no spoilers, hints, or, um, is it? Theories. And yeah, not too many uh, comparing, too many comparisons too. I think like a couple of jokes here and there is fine, but you know, not not too much. I'm convinced the group must have infiltrated. The group is known for bringing in many talents from around the world. For starters, I know the Preservation Project safe house, a large building with many wings for each group of ultimate students. Okay. I kind of got distracted since I was looking at the chat. I should have joined the Preservation Project as a part of their operating group once I heard about it. I thought my skills would prove useful. The groups are divided by the window of time students signed up. In our case, we all signed up with a relatively close time frame, creating a group of 10. The individual groups are often offered a class project to work on together, utilizing all the unique skills in their pool. Those projects apparently have varying results, given the fact that each group may or may not be comp composed of incompatible talents. Regardless, the end products are usually very unique. Wow, that sounds interesting. Certainly. Echo, you totally zoned out just like me. It's okay, Bestie, you can you can admit it. Certainly would have been amusing and challenge um, an amusing and challenging experience to participate as well, but alas. Other ultimate students, huh? Let Misty continue investigating in peace. Okay, who else do I have? Oh, just oh, she's not gonna hang out with me. Come on, let's see if Cannon's in any mood to talk. Hey, fuck off. Okay, bye, bestie. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Yeah, I looked up and down the halls to find, yeah, but couldn't find Cannon anywhere. I guess she's in her personal room. Made my way over to her listed personal room, living quarters, and knocked lightly. Get the fuck out, Cannon. Let's hang out. <laughs> let's be fucking friends. It cannon. Dot dot dot. There was no response on the other end. Either she was out being difficult to find or she didn't want to be bothered. I mean, I feel like staying in a room kind of implies that, but you know, whatever. I guess Echo is just really sociable. <laughs> whatever the case, I moved on. Why do you hate me, Cannon? It's because I made fun of your name. It's not my fault Nikon's a better Cannon brand. I think that's everyone. I learned a little bit more about this preservation project and how the others found their way to this place. Despite that, oh my god, it's caught it. Oh no, don't say that she's dead, dude. <laughs> oh god, no, she's she's just you know she's just doing her own thing. That's that's it. She's not she's not dead. Let's let's not <laughs> let's pray that she's not dead. Uh, surely not. Although I don't know. I guess we'll see. Despite that, I was still left pondering my purpose here. After spending some time with my fellow classmates, I habitually wandered back to my personal room. But upon entering, I realized I didn't have any personal effects with a personal effects with which to pass the time. So I stepped right back onto the hallway to see if anybody wanted to socialize. Okay, see you guys? Look at her. Oh my god, look. She's alive and well. She's super happy. I'm going to turn on my ear a little bit more too because it's kind of hot in here. I'll be back. Oh, 
also wearing a long sleeve shirt today, which doesn't help. But it's got skulls on it. It was supposed to foreshadow today's um, events in the stream. Incidentally, I came across Say and Cannon on their way from the foyer in the halls. Hey, Say, Cannon, I was about to go to the dining hall. Did you want to come? And we just left the dining hall. Oh, I I see. We sit in silence for half a minute. Um, well, I, um, should go. Say shuffled off, leaving me and Cannon to fill the empty air. Are they having, like, a, I don't know, they're talking about something they don't want me to hear about or something like that? I don't know. Say shuffled off, leaving me and Cannon to fill the empty air. She went right back out to the foyer to who knows where. Okay. Um... It was a love child meme, not a legitimate theory. Yeah, I think it's just people don't want too many comparisons, especially to, like, Mitch, just because everybody hates Mitch, you know what I mean? Um, I really don't think, honestly, like, the Mitch stuff, it's like, I like every character. I feel like that's, like, why the Mitch thing became such a meme, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like, uh, I usually like everybody. <laughs> I mean, I like, I found something to like about Kanate, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it's just most people don't want to, uh, do too many comparisons. But thank you for the donos. I appreciate you, uh, typical fangirl. Say's personal room, Say's personal room is right here. Maybe she wants to spend some time in one of the activity rooms? She's about to fucking go on a murder rampage. Maybe. The conversation came to a stalemate. I'm just being cautious. And yeah, I mean, I'll still be doing DRA, like, Dong and on other videos, so I think it's fine to have, like, Mitch memes and stuff there. I think it's just kind of like, I feel like when I say, like, one Mitch joke, it's like the whole chat just blows up with it, you know what I mean? I just don't want to overtake the other games. I'm just being cautious. Can't overturn and withdrew to her personal room. I let out a deep breath. I didn't know I was holding in. Cannon tires me out. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of a lot. Don't worry, Say's listening to Evanescence in her room. As she should, dude. As she should. I made my way to the dining hall, running to Ashley along the way. We greeted each other in a rather unusual manner before sitting down with the other students who had already settled in for a meal. Oh, uh, Echo and Ashley, feel free to join us. We were just starting. How have you been faring since this morning? I'm feeling much better. Thank you. Pleased to hear it. Missy sat at the head of the table. Art and Cyrus sat across from each other, with Ashley sitting next to Cyrus. I shuffled in, sitting next to Art and across from Ashley. Man, what kind of class only has five students? One that has been disillusioned by a strange game, apparently. Yeah, it is a little disheartening to see only half of our group gathered here. Well, it isn't strictly required that we all have dinner together. Okay, so me, Art, Ashley, um, me, Art, Ashley, Missy. Who's the fifth person? I guess I'll probably see. Oh yeah, Cyrus, duh. <laughs> My bad. I saw Say and Cannon in passing. They must have had their share already and were on their way out. Okay, yeah, I just saw them too. Say's a pretty shy girl, so I can understand. Perhaps she didn't want to be around a large group of people. And Cannon, she's awfully mysterious. You can see she's a bitch, Echo. It's okay. <laughs> well, there's no use wondering about them. They can do whatever they please, so we shouldn't question their actions. Even if... Oh. Oh, okay, Echo, okay, 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 you out here, you out here, <laughs> suspecting them, okay, even if they're suspicious, and for that matter, doesn't the killing game frighten any of you, is it just because you guys are freaking ultimates or something, I voiced the questions that have been ruling my thoughts, I, uh, I mean, no, we would never do that, we're besties, we all love each other, <laughs> okay, I mean, there's really, I mean, there's really, really no one capable of that sort of thing here, <laughs> right? Right, guys? My question was met with silence. <laughs> Echo, I understand that you might be afraid right now, but it won't do you any good to worry. You're only going to run yourself ragged thinking about the frightful possibilities. <laughs> yeah, Missy's right. It's just some dumb announcement out of nowhere. So what's the fucking threat? We're all gonna be great, dude. <laughs> I heard this game's only like 12 hours, but nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> We're all just gonna hang out in this awesome mansion together. Don't worry. Thank you, a big chunk of uh, Bridget. Kenna won't hang out with you unless you follow her, unless you follow her Instagram and like her weekly top 10 cringe photos of the week. But it's all of me and it just makes me upset. It makes me feel like I'm being bullied. It's not cool. It's not cool, Canon. Oh man. Precisely. She wouldn't make ourselves sick with we shouldn't make ourselves sick with anxiety from something that hasn't invoked any consequences. 
Plus, if this were a killing game, why would they give us such nice amenities? Why not just throw us in a creepy locked building? Wouldn't that pressure us further into this killing game to escape an unknown scary building? I wonder. Regardless, we shouldn't dwell on the specifics of something so mysterious and harmless. Let us enjoy each other's company and the fixings of this mansion to its fullest. Thank you for encur thank you for the encouraging words, Missy. Missy won't get shook up, as she's the definition of keeping it cool. With the atmosphere lighting up, we continue our dinner with lively chatter. Missy does seem to well, god damn it. Does that mean she's gonna die <laughs> now that I think about it? I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. Cause I feel like Missy is kinda keeping us together and keeping us sane. She is a girl boss. You know, she's just she's too on to stuff, staring at the walls, figuring out that they're in fact made of drywall. So I think the mastermind, you know, they want to get rid of her. But for real though, uh, jokes aside, she is kind of keeping us clued together. So would she be a good first victim, maybe? Maybe. We will see, I guess. After dinner, we all departed to wrap the evening with our own activities. Ash and I walked over to the living quarters to rest for the evening. But before I went to our respective rooms, Ashley pulled me over to the end of the living quarters hallway. Oh god, the music stopped. Hey Ash, what's up girl? Echo, I've been thinking, and I don't know how to say this, but I totally murdered Cannon's ass. <laughs> this killing game, it has me really worried. That'd be kind of, it would be kind of funny if she do something like that. In Ultimate Battle Royale, just saying that is ridiculous. It has to be some kind of themed ARG or weird elaborate prank. I was kidding around, but Ashley remained still with a serious demeanor. Well, you're here, aren't you? How else would you explain your high school plaque on your personal room door? Oh yeah, they literally intended for me. I feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like Echo has a talent. They just like don't know about it yet. The ultimate hope, maybe, I don't know. That's just the first thing that come to mi comes to mind, but I do feel like they have a secret talent of some sort. Cause like, why else would they be included in this? Unless, I mean, Zero does seem kind of like they're a douche, so maybe they just did it for that reason. Huh? Sure, it's a little strange, but that could mean anything. I was probably just mistaken for a different student at my high school. You know what I think it means? It means I was right, huh? Echo, being involved with me only results in ultimate levels of treble. This game that's specially curated for ultimate students managed to gain a collateral student participant simply by association me ash what are you saying i'm the main character echo no i am thank you spanish fly if people listen to echo isn't it an echo chamber oh that's kind of funny i wonder if that uh what if they had any thought like uh towards that when they were making this game interesting interesting i i don't want you to worry about me yeah, I can protect myself, but it's more than that, death flags. I remember that night, the night you dropped me off after we had dinner. We couldn't, you couldn't walk me to my house. I did, in fact, make it to the house in one piece. But when I looked back out the street, I noticed something really fucking strange. I saw smoke. It was coming from the direction you dropped me off, so I, I assumed the worst. I wanted to run out there and see what had happened. But the only thing I remembered after that was a sharp pain, and then... Black. Right. I must have been a target or something. Someone must have subdued and captured me. And at the same time, you as well. Okay, that makes sense. Then Echo is just like a witness. Whoever did this, it seemed they wanted to cover all their bases. Which meant, if you saw anything that night, you had to be taken also. Well, that's... Man, that sucks for Echo. I trembled at the thought. The problem was I didn't see a thing happen that night. Echo, I can protect myself, but I want you to keep your distance, so whatever happens to me doesn't come to harm you as well. How could you say that? We- we're best friends! I can't abandon you at a time like this! I need you to- I need you to let me alone. It's for your own safety. I mean, everybody else in Ultimate, Ultimate 2, unless, like, you think you're special? Especially being targeted, you know what I mean? And then, yeah, Echo did say they didn't see her get kidnapped, so it's like... I don't know, I still think Echo has like a hidden talent of uh, some, some kind. It hurts me to even think about it, but I don't want you to be in danger because of your relation to me as a close friend. I couldn't believe what was happening. <laughs> is she dumping me? Oh my god, this is Kinjo and Yuki all over again, <laughs> dude. <laughs> we have to break up Echo. I don't even know we were dating. Ashley's face was painted with remorse. She only wanted to keep me safe, but in return it means we meant we needed to be apart. Ashley gave me one last hug before retiring to her room for the night. 
Ashley, no! I hung my head in despair. Why did this have to happen? I clenched my fist in frustration. Damn it! This does seem like some pretty big death flags, though. I don't know, man. This, this whole conversation. Damn it! I pounded the wall, trying to process everything. When I heard a gentle voice, I don't think she gives me killer vibes, though. Because that was kind of what I was leaning towards, but now I'm kind of leaning towards first victim. Granted, I've said everybody's going to be the first victim, I feel like, so far. It's just so when somebody dies, I can be like, see, guys, I was right. Even though I've literally guessed everybody. Thank you, Zell. Hey, Weeby, hope you have a great stream. Have fun. Thank you, Zell. Hope you're doing well, too. And thank you for being a member for 13 months. Appreciate you. I'm sorry for what just happened. I twirled around to find the source of the voice a few paces behind me. Oh, Pandora. Her voice was barely a whisper. I oh, got a new girlfriend and you lost yours. So sad, Echo, damn. That sucks. Pandora, you heard our conversation? I apologize, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I was only nearby because I wanted to talk to you privately. Me? Yes, I was wondering, does this message mean anything to you? Oh, Jesus. Uh, Kuma. Please do not, what? Pandora pulled out a small piece of paper out of her apron pocket. The note had two small symbols on it along with some text. If you recognize one of the symbols depicted, then you have finally found me and are safe. Please do not speak of this note's existence. Trust no one but yourself. If you recognize one of the symbols depicted, then you have finally found me and are, what? Please do not speak of this note's existence. Trust nobody but yourself. Upon it said Kuma on there. I was like, man, is this gonna be related to the the previous, you know, like the canon games potentially? I guess, I guess we'll see. Upon closer inspection, the symbols were similar to the ones the announcement showed. What? What does this mean? Do you recognize either of them? I can't say that I do. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's kind of interesting. She's trusting me with this. Are you close with Say when you show her the messages? I guess. I guess we'll see. Yeah, she literally, it literally said, don't show this to anybody. I'm a, you're like the fifth person I've showed this to, Echo. Ain't nobody know what these symbols mean. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was confused by the contents of the note, so I was hoping somebody could help me. She does seem very uh, trusting. Maybe a little, uh, a little too trusting. In particular, I was wondering what the note meant by, you are safe. Can I look at the note again? I kind of want to. What kind of symbols the knee finally found me and are safe? Okay, please do not speak. I mean, I don't know if you're safe anymore, girl. You kind of broke the notes one, one rule. I mean, I guess it doesn't say you're not safe if you tell somebody, but it's like explicitly don't tell anybody. So I feel like she's not, she's not safe. Is this a death flag? Is this a death flag? I guess we'll see. I've, I've literally said that. I've literally said that about everybody. Based on what's shown on the note itself, the two symbols could be of interest. It seems there could be someone here who might be connected to whoever is controlling the announcements. Basically, there might be a spy. Oh, I thought the same, but I wish the implications weren't so. Where, where did you find that? Oh, did you trust me? Cause I don't have a talent. It was my, in my apron since I woke. I don't know how it got here. I don't recall putting anything like this in my pockets. Okay, in, in her apron? I thought it was like pushed under the door or something. She tucked the note back away in her apron pocket. However, that wasn't really what I wanted to talk to you about. Huh? I wanted to say, I feel like you're a very special person. I can't really explain it, but I feel a strong aura about you. <laughs> God. Ashley came in and started dropping like death flags and Pandora was like, no, wait a second. Now I'm about to drop some death flags, some even bigger death flags. Oh, thank you. She smiled and went on. Echo, you might think being an ultimate student is some kind of extravagant existence, but you forget there is beauty in the ordinary as well. Even if we do have ultimate talents, we're still regular people just like you. She's kind of creeping me out, dude. I think it's the, <laughs> the lack of music, dude. The Karen voice. Waking up with bedheads, sometimes showing up late to our appointments. We're just a little more preoccupied with one particular thing than, than most others. Uh, thank you, Pandora. I'm gonna go in my room and hide. You're kind of creeping me out for some reason. Pandora managed to quell a bit of the worry in my heart. But it's pity. What happened between you and Ashley? I was watching the whole thing. I don't want to think anymore. I don't know what to think anymore. 
One moment, Missy is telling me not to believe a word of the announcement. A word the announcement says. Another moment, Ash is cutting ties with me. It's dumping me in a firm belief of the dangers of the game. What am I supposed to do? I felt my throat begin to choke. Oh, trans... <laughs> trans des only echo. I don't think it's my place to say. However, this is but a bump in the road. Ashley will always be your friend, no matter what. I just met you yesterday, but I know this. It may be difficult to determine what's in store for us ahead, so we must keep our faith and live one moment at a time. The lights started to dim. As Pandora smiled at me one, one last time. I didn't... Man, why are you gonna drop so many death flags, girl? Wait, 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 wait. I can't with her fucking staring at me like this. All is hit. All, all according to Kakaku. Stop looking at me like that, girl. Stop looking at me. I don't know. Maybe she's fine, but the fact that she's having this ominous conversation with me, and I'm pretty sure a dead body just got discovered, it's kind of freaking me out, girlfriend. Jesus. I'm gonna save the game. I'm scared of you, Pandora. Yeehaw. Yeehaw! What's like a uh, sad yeehaw, scared yeehaw? Oh god. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> I need the sticker again! Damn it. it! It is now 9 p.m. Oh, you thought there was a dead body, Weepy. You fucking dumbass. Nighttime will begin at 10 p.m. Faculties will be closed until 7 a.m. the next morning. Even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. Oh dear, it looks like the night time has come. Well then, Bon, bon Nuit Echo. And please don't tell anyone about this note. I don't want to cause any unnecessary trouble. I feel like this note is the key to many mysteries of this place. I nodded. The note was odd, but I couldn't find it in me to outright out Pandora. <laughs> Good night to you too, Pandora. Uh, is she just me or she kind of looked dead in the eyes? I feel like compared to the other characters, I don't think any of them have like, you know, I guess like pupils drawn in, but for some reason hers just seems more dead in the eyes to me. We returned to our personal rooms to pass over the night. Had nightmares about being chased by Pandora in Paris, Texas. She was yeehawing. <laughs> Intimidating yeehaw. Returned to my room and made myself comfor comfortable and slipped into the bed. I stared blankly at the dim ceiling, letting my mind wander aimlessly through the news I learned today. But nothing really stuck. Words and conversations and thoughts flew by as I let my heavy eyes close. The one thing- Are you guys doing the snow? Not the fucking <laughs> smile emoji and She really was doing that face when the lights dimmed too. I was like, Jesus, how does she know? Oh my god, ye na. That, that's a good one. Ye, oh, ye na. Ye na. The one thought that pervaded the others was, what would be waiting for us tomorrow? I'm just like, open the door, Pandora's there. Hey. Hey, bestie Echo. Yeehaw. Ye na. Close this fucking slam the door in her face. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Thank you, Sprite Goblin. Weavy, I swear this conversation didn't seem nearly as ominous before you gave her the Karen voice. <laughs> what have you done? But it's great, don't change it. <laughs> it really is the Karen voice, too. That makes her so suspicious. <laughs> oh my god. You yeed your last ha, Echo. Thank you for the dono. Before I knew it, I'd fallen into a deep sleep. Oh my god. Okay. It's not a full moon. Interesting how they keep showing the moon in this game, too. It's just so we know, you know, for the zodiac signs, if we're... Is, that, is the phase of the moon setting have anything to do with the zodiac signs? I was trying to make a joke about it, but I don't even know enough about zodiacs to actually make a joke about it. Open my eyes to the now familiar colors of the room. Sigh. I looked at the clock on my bedside table. 7.28. I turned off the alarm before it rang and steadily got out of bed. Only two days have passed, yet I found myself beginning to acclimate to the sleep schedule. I splashed my face with cold water, the icy sting charging my nerves for a sharp awakening. 
I wonder if anyone is in the dining hall for breakfast yet. Let's see. If we be here being nice to me, what are you, the mastermind? Oh my god, literally me. I made my way. I mean, the mastermind wouldn't be mean to me. That's too obvious. I made my way to the dining hall, stopping in the foyer for a moment to gaze at the mysterious electrifying doorway. Dot, dot, dot. Such a pretty door. In the dining hall were a few early risers just starting breakfast. Good morning! Good morning, Echo. Please help yourself. I made some muffins with citrus today. Hopefully it'll energize you. Nothing like a hearty, satisfying breakfast to start the day. Ooh, rolling with the same crew. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, is it the same people from last night? Last night, except I guess Ashley was switched in for Pandora. Oh, God. <laughs> now Ashley's missing. Oh, gosh. My head hurt when Art mentioned Ashley. Pandora must have noticed and sat close to me. Here, I made lemon squares just for you, Ashley. Told me in passing you liked lemon. She did? So Ashley was still looking out for me. Thanks, Pandora. Can you tell her a thank you for me as well? Of course. <laughs> like, I feel like we're like 12 year olds in a fight. I'm not gonna talk to her, but make sure you tell, <laughs> make sure, okay, Pandora, can you reveal, can you like relay this message to Ashley? <laughs> Oh man, thank you, Bree the Cookie Monster. Eating sushi right now, but I had to pop in just for the cursed Karen voice and the smiley face. <laughs> Have fun, Weeby. Thank you, Bree. Thanks for the dono. Appreciate ya. Hope you enjoy the sushi too, man. That sounds good. We continued our leisurely breakfast as we all shook off the night's slumber. No one else came in during the length of our stay in the dining hall. However, <laughs> dude, oh my god, it's just gonna be like another announcement, or is it? Or is it? it? Was it always like this for like the nighttime and daytime announcements? Was it always this noise? <laughs> it is now 9 a.m. Please assemble in the second floor atrium for a special announcement. <laughs> you guys aren't killing each other fast enough. Jesus. What must I do to get you to kill each other? After the announcement ended, I mechanically started to get up from my seat when Art loudly kicked his feet up on the table. No way! Art leaned back in his chair and pouted. We're not gonna listen to your creepy announcements, you hear? Ding dong, ding dong, or else you die. Ah, oh, damn it. He wagged his finger. <laughs> oh my God. What are you, an old man, Art? <laughs> he wagged his finger aimlessly at the ceiling. Now you listen here, Siri. I ain't gonna be listening to you no more. Do we wanna test this passive, do we wanna test this passive protest? Why not? I'm curious as well. Speaker, ding dong, ding dong. You better get your fucking asses in there. Or else. Thank you, big chunk of Bridget. Can we call Echo Room the Echo Chamber? Ah. Yeah, there's somebody else you mentioned that too. It really does kind of, it really does kind of fit. Hey, isn't it dangerous? And thank you for the dono. Appreciate you. I agree. It might be risky. The only risk so far has been from when Echo actively tried to escape. The past 48 hours have been nothing but casual to us. However, after a moment of silence, the painting above the fireplace switched the announcement emblem. Ugh. It was the killing game announcer. Get your asses in there! <laughs> so, welcome to day three! Hum. So it plays regardless. I sat down and allowed the announcement to disrupt our morning. Are you all comfortable? Having a nice breakfast? Having fun sleeping in? Why aren't you fucking killing each other yet? Where's the bloodshed? That's great to hear. Today we'll be reviewing some general rules relative to our lovely killing game. They are as follow. Students will enjoy an idyllic lifestyle within the apothec- ap <laughs> Apothegam. Oh my god, contusion of the octopus. <laughs> Vibes, apoth apothegam walls for a duration of seven days. Activity amenities are open from nine to seven. Breaking major assets, killing, ki killing. <laughs> Why did I read that as killing? <laughs> the killing refrigerator. <laughs> the kitchen refrigerator, theater lights, etc. Strictly prohibited. Okay, okay, okay. Theater lights. Interesting. You think that theater lights could be um, used as like a weapon, honestly. I feel like I see that all the time, honestly. In like, uh, I don't know, just like shows and stuff. Like when everybody, somebody, whenever somebody wants to like kill off somebody else, they like you know, loosen the light or something like that. At the end of seven days, whoever survives is awarded the ultimate prize. Oh my God, Echo, do you get to get a talent? Echo's like, hell yeah, let's let's get to slang. To expedite the process towards the ultimate prize, one must kill a fellow student without getting caught. Killing different, killing refrigerator. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. 
guys, words are hard, okay? It was just, you know, my past with refrigerators has been, you know, it's been a hard one. It's been a difficult one. It just reminded me how I couldn't spell it before. And to get the ball rolling, each morning a special music will be provided to exercise your mind. Today's first motive question is, oh, motive question. Are your talents a true representation of who you are? Who are you, Bond? Your talent? Do you even have a personality? Hum. Stew on these brain teasing inquiries as you all carry on with your communal lives. And whoever actually went to the atrium gets an additional special gift. Get fucked, losers who are still in the dining hall. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. No one wants to go to the second floor just to hear an announcement. That's what speakers are for, after all. So whoever followed the rules got a little something something, if you know what I mean. So, okay, Lyle just got like a axe or something, right? Finally, if there are no developments five days in, there will be serious repercussions. You all will suffer the consequences and be executed. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I was wondering if this was the way that they were going to take it. If there are no developments by the day's end, there will be serious repercussions. You all will suffer the consequences and be executed as a group for failing to participate in the game. Ah! Ah, there really is like uh, the V3 chapter one kind of thing. Check your bracelets. They all contain a lethal dose of complex. Oh, 53. Nice. 53. Just enough to knock you into the next life in less than a minute. Uh, what? I flipped my bracelet over to see the small vial of clear liquid attached to controller chip. Our bracelets had these things the whole time. I knew these fucking bracelets were evil. But uh, that's just a last resort. I don't really want to use it unless you all really bore the fuck out of me. So come on, come on you all, make it happen. I quit my golfing for this, okay? So make it up to me, this better be interesting. The bizarre announcement cut out and the painting returned to its original form. So the thing they're giving us to motivate murder is a question. And you know the little, the little small, the small information about if you don't kill somebody by today's end, we're gonna, we're gonna murder all of you. That, you know, that small one, that small one though, it's mostly the question though. Man, what, do, what does my ultimate talent mean? And a thread of clear li liquid that is proclaimed to be a deadly toxic gas. As far as I know, such a chemical by the name Complex 53 doesn't exist. It might just be, it might just be water, like a prop or something, and release it only at the end of the day if nothing happens. I don't know, seems kind of weak. I furrowed my brow. I recall what Missy said yesterday, that the risk wasn't high enough to do something drastic. A question was hardly raising the bar. Not to mention a small vial. <laughs> I don't know, man, I'd be pretty worried. As for the other provided motive, as it were, I don't understand. Are we meant to discuss the question with each other? Perhaps. Unless anyone has any skeletons in the closet, I believe it is only fair to share our thoughts on the subject. I wonder if somebody's lying about their talent. Would that fit? I don't know, it kind of seemed like more so maybe raising the question of like, is your talent your only personality trait? You know what I mean? I feel like that kind of fits with um, Ashley since I feel like, I feel like she was kind of mentioning that before. Like, I don't know, having like fear of that or something like that in the other, uh, in the other um, episode we did. Unless anyone has any skeletons in the closet, I believe it's only fair to share our thoughts on the subject. I shiftlessly ducked my head, but Missy caught me. Echo, okay, why don't you- why don't you lead our discussion? Well, I don't have a talent, and I'm super jealous of all of you guys. Thanks for bringing it up again. You are the most qualified, since you sit in a rather gray area when it comes to talents. Which isn't to say you're not included, but I think you have the most neutral viewpoint. That is appropriate for judgment. Sure, if you say so. If you don't want to, it's not necessary. It's all right. I have to admit, I'm pretty curious now. Tell him, Echo. <laughs> well then, let's see what everyone has to say. Okay, I can. Uh, let me let me save just in case. I I'm, I can probably do everybody right. It's kind of been like that so far. I never said destroying the bracelet was prohibited. That's what's kind of wondering too. I wonder if we could try to do that. I'm surprised nobody's uh, mentioned that yet. Okay, let's talk to you, Art being a pro golfer, a true representation of who I am. I don't really get it. I mean, I think it is. I haven't really expanded my interest outside of what I know, which is golf, so I can't really say anything else encompasses who I am. That's literally my only personality trait. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, I think so. If you tried something new now, I think it might be disorienting to fail at said activity since you're not ultra skilled in it. Oh yeah, that does make sense. I mean, yeah, I think that makes sense. Well, ultimate golfer or not? Yeah, I like playing golf. Hell yeah, baby. I think I got so good at the sport because I knew I liked it all this time and stuck around with it. Never really got thought, never really thought of the other stuff. Yeah, there we go. I guess it's a simple sentiment. <laughs> Thanks, Echo. I just fucking love golf, yeah. What is up with you? I cannot get over his fucking last name, dude, Cyrus. I was like, I don't think anybody else's last name is that weird. Sirik. So, Cyrus. Oh, did I did I accidentally say Echo's pronouns wrong? I apologize if I did. Unless there's somebody correcting um, somebody in the chat instead. But I apologize if I ever get it wrong. So, Cyrus. Yes. What is being called the ultimate charisma entail? Why is it the mystif- Why? It's the mystifying ability to draw people towards me with little to no effort. Or so I've been told. Some might equate the word charisma with charm. And in turn, think that charisma has to do with good looks, beautiful voice, overflowing wealth, etc. However, I think charisma actually lies in having a kind soul. Oh, that's nice. People are, uh, okay, somebody in chat. Okay, I was like, I, I think I've been doing pretty good, but, uh, you know, if I ever get it wrong, just let me know. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to correct myself. People are swayed by those kind, those with a kind soul. So, be it they have good intentions to follow through on bad intentions or to take advantage of. I found myself absorbed in Cyrus's statement. I might even say you're rather charismatic yourself, Echo. Oh, I, I, I didn't, I don't know if I would go that far. In nonsense, I welcome your presence. It's calming. Cyrus is just his name, ba Cyrus' name is just backwards. I know, I know, but it's so weird. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? What does it mean? What does it mean? Does it mean he's the mastermind? That's that's how I feel about it, honestly. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, uh, Gendo, Gendor, Yu Gendor Yuko. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Yuruko. Thanks for the dono, appreciate ya. I feel a little embarrassed ever being given such kind praise from the one so-called ultimate charisma himself. I feel like he's just using his ultimate charisma on me, you know? So, um, with that in mind, how would you describe your personality and talent? Uh, not sure. It's always difficult to talk about yourself. Though I suppose I do like going with the flow. Um, I guess a word would be cooperative? Huh. Okay. Political tactician, huh? Oh, yeah, that was her talent. I couldn't remember for a little bit. It's not glamorous. I'm often tasked with knowing the burdens and misdeeds of many people in power. It's somewhat a curse to be able to lie my way out of a... <laughs> oh, my God. It's somewhat of a curse to be able to lie my way out of a sticky situation. That's gonna make me think she'd be a good killer, though. How do you feel about being called the ultimate tactician, though? I don't mind. It is the strength I've been blessed with, and I would... And I would be misspoken if I said I took an earnest an interest in other things. I've always known my personality to be that of someone who informs. And if I can give a purpose-driven voice, power to speak up for what's right, then ensuing battle, then the ensuing battle, be it a difficult one, will produce satisfying results. I believe at the end of the day, I believe at the end of it, if intense debate occurs, there's often an intense emotion behind it. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen your fair share of selfishness and greed, though. Circumventing those intentions can be trying, but you need to take the good with the bad. Missy, self-assured as always. She seems nice. It seems like she's doing it for right for the right reasons, which is good. Um, how am I beyond who am I beyond the talent? Honestly, I wouldn't be anything without bacon. Even in another life, I think I would always find my way back to bacon. It's just in my soul. I think at the core of it. Such an activity represents all that I care for in life. The simplicity in sharing good food with friends. To make something infused with love. And to bring that joy to others. It's quite the special feeling, is it not? Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Listen to me, being so sentimental. You really love baking, huh? Oh, it's everything! Okay. Everyone said similar things. It's my whole life. It's my whole life. It's my whole life. Yeah, basically. That their talents alongside their personalities. You couldn't have one without the other. What an odd motive. I would imagine talking about this kind of thing among peers would only reinforce relations. 
If our captors are trying to plan distrust, I'm afraid I don't quite understand the logic. That's kind of what makes me think maybe it is trying to like, uh, like somebody might have lied about their talent. Or there's somebody else without a talent and they're like just lying about it, like what I told Echo to do in the last stream, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see. I don't know, just a thought. I thought about the intention of the question, but all I could think was that it might be to weed out spies. Yeah, maybe. We were just talking about spies, too. Which involuntarily led me to suspect the person I would least suspect. <laughs> What's up, girly? <laughs> er, the me? <laughs> Is something the matter, Echo? Uh, nothing. I averted my gaze from Pandora. She had some kind of secret note that bore the strange emblems of our mansion announcers. What could it mean? Yeah, 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 the emblem, the, the thing she got that was weird. Okay. What could it mean? If I may be so bold. Why is everybody talking about bacon in the chat? <laughs> I just keep looking over and I keep seeing bacon. Let's see. Uh, huh. Is it, you guys think her hair looks like bacon? Is it, is that it? Pandora's hair? I don't understand. Is Echo the ultimate bacon? Is that what it is? Oh, man. If I may be so bold, I firmly believe our discussion that our ultimate talents are truly one and the same with our personality and characteristics. I'm inclined to agree. I guess it's cool that we got to know each other a little more, though. It seems like a friendly enough topic. Yeah. Indeed, our talents and skills born from a passion within... And you simply cannot remove that aspect of a person without losing a part of- I think it is somebody's lying then. A particular motivator, that one. Interesting. I guess somebody maybe like, uh, maybe one of the other groups is gonna be kind of weird about it. Like, yeah, my talent. I- I love golfing, especially when you shoot- when you shoot the ball in the hoop. Oh shit, that's basketball, damn it. Oh, stupid, stupid. <laughs> Something like that. Oh man. With our thoughts on the first motive question cleared, our group was able to finish the morning in peace. Baking in her voice sounded like bacon. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> okay, that's what it was. Bacon. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I was wondering, I was like, why is everybody talking about bacon all of a sudden in the chat? The breakfast <laughs> the breakfast club wrapped up with it. No other announcements to interrupt us. The afternoon was completely available for our individual activities. I didn't have anything in particular planned today, so I idled in the foyer before deciding what to do next. Hey, Echo! The familiar voice interrupt erupted from behind me. I had a feeling. What's up, Art? Yeah, this might be weird to ask, but do you mind if I hang out with you today? Do you have like a boyfriend or something? I'm kind of curious about the other students' talent stories, but I don't want to go running around the mansion alone. Uh, why don't you ask one of the other students from breakfast? Huh? Oh, because you're cool. Uh, what? I mean, you're like easy to talk to. You're almost like a protagonist or something. I thought about asking Missy, but Missy is kind of imposing, honestly. You know, I feel like I have to walk. I have to walk all nice, like I'm uh, balancing books on my head or something. <laughs> I can see that. I don't think she's strict on how others walk or anything like that. That aside, she stuck around with you on the first date, didn't she? Oh, yeah. Uh, you're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I'm asking you now. Since I'm here, he's so nice. If we're still talking about if we're still talking about bacon. Bike. I didn't even notice that. I can see it now, though. Uh, now that you guys mentioned it. Besides, I can't find... Oh, yeah. Besides, I can't find my boyfriend, so I guess you're like the second closest thing or something. I don't know. Besides, I can't find Lyle. I wanted to get another strategy meeting started and maybe even help him with solving some stuff. But he dumped me just like Ashley dumped you. Damn it. So I was his second choice. Somehow he seemed disappointed. Sure, I'll tag along. I didn't really have anything planned today anyways. I trailed off thinking, thinking about Ashley. We can probably cut down on one visit right here since you and Ashley are best friends. Did you know anything about her talent? Ugh, oh no. Honestly, I can't say that I do. This is the first time I've ever heard about such a thing like ultimate talents. Just knew she fucking loved horses. All I knew was that she lived in the countryside with her father on a ranch, Westbridge Stables. I think all her time around those horses amounted to something as in- to think- I didn't think all of her time around horses amounted to something as intense as being the ultimate jockey. I don't know, I guess like- I feel like whenever parents get mentioned, I always like overanalyze it to them like- 
the parents. The dad's the mastermind. Ah, ah. Can't trick me, game. Uh, maybe she just likes to be modest. I mean, just because she has high win rates doesn't mean she avoids taking care of the horses. Kind of like she works hard and plays hard. Does that make sense? I couldn't really make heads or tails of it. I didn't really want to be thinking about Ashley at the moment anyways. It was too overwhelming. I sighed. I don't know, man. I feel like Ashley is gonna die. She's just so ominous, especially her, like, trying to distance herself from me for the fact that she thinks that, like, it's gonna put me in danger. It just, it makes, it makes you think. It makes you think <laughs> that she's gonna die. Be like, oh, that's the danger. That's the ultimate level danger she was talking about. Yeah, I suppose that could be it. All right, that's one down. Let's get going. It seems I got roped into exploring the other students' opinions on the forced mode of question with art. Not that I was opposed to the idea of learning about the others. There were a handful of people we haven't heard from. Okay. I guess we'll talk to Forte first. Forte is probably where I think he is. Always in the fucking theater. Oh, thank you, NR China 20 Rose. Hey, Weeby, enjoy the stream. Gotta catch up on the VOD. I appreciate you stopping by, and thanks for being a member. Appreciate ya. Uh, Arts and Echo, what brings you here? Oh yeah, I guess we could ask these people too if they got the special um, item or whatever. I feel like it was only Lyle that got the special item. He's like not gonna tell us, honestly. <laughs> Alright, Art here was curious about your opinion of the forest. Oh, <laughs> see the wrong voice? My bad. <laughs> My bad. Art here was curious about your opinion on the forest mode of question. Yeah, why opera? Isn't it boring? Art full of tact, I see. Oh. <laughs> It's quite the opposite of boring. Please uh, allow me to put on my five out my performance of my favorite opera, Sammy the I don't know the turtle the Sammy the Sea Turtle. It's five hours long. Here we go. Oh God, what do we get? What do we get ourselves wrapped into? It's quite the opposite of boring. Of boring performances, they're very rich and can shake the viewers to their core. Opera is a wonderful art that combines raw vocal emotion with the physical beauty of expressing the self with your very being. Oh, when it when it hit us with some bars, bruh, <laughs> some bars, bruh. Forte's operatic voice. To say I was a little curious would be an understatement. Oh no, I couldn't perform under these conditions. Uh, what conditions? Why the conditions of the heart, of course. Uh, I must what <laughs> I must be in love um, Can we can we ask what what that even means? Well, you see I haven't been able to properly express myself since a tragic tragedy struck my hometown We lost a friend in our community Sir Hyde one of our most loyal friends One of his favorite pastimes included long walks in the park with the wind gently bursting through his ears Oh brushing <laughs> it was like bursting <laughs> brushing through his ears Wait, is he talking about what I think he's- uh, You lost your dog? Oh the god, it's still today! <laughs> it really is sad, honestly, to lose a dog, though, honestly. Me again, did you see Q's head in Lyle's pick? Uh, Q's head in Lyle's pick? Wait, what? Um, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Let me check. Let me save first, too, just in case. In Lyle's pick. Uh, did I do? Where is he at? Where's the best boy at? Q's head? Um, I see the bracelet, the bracelets and stuff. Is that, is that what you're talking about, maybe? I don't know exactly what they're from, now that I think about it. I might just be missing the reference. But thanks for the, uh, thanks for the dono, uh, Gendo Yorko. Your, <laughs> I totally butchered your name! <laughs> Gendo Yoku. Gendo Yoku. Gendo Yoku. I got it, got it. You lost your dog? Art! Yes. I'm still ra rather fragile about it. I'm sorry. That sucks, man. Si, davvero. I suppose it's different experiencing tragedy than performing it. Ah, uh, precisely. I've been troubled since. I can kind of see that. Cause most, I feel like, well, most of the time I hear about operas, I feel like they're, um, uh, oh, Zero Time Dilemma. I haven't played Zero Time Dilemma yet. Um, I've, uh, I've only played the first two games. I need to play that one, though. Uh, precisely. I've been troubled since. I guess you guys could let me know if you don't want me to stream it. It's just kind of weird since I didn't stream the first two games. But yeah, I noticed though, your turn to die collar and then the bracelet too. Uh, what kind of dog was he? A German Shepherd of 13 years. Uh, I'm sure you gave him a great life with lots of music, of course. Forte's lip turned a small grin. Indeed, a dog. Dog is man's best friend, are they not? 
It would have been unseemly of me to treat him not unlike my own family. He had such charm and wit, howling along with my practice. Oh, that's so cute! He was singing too. <laughs> While Forte was singing and his dog was like, Ooh! Oh, that's adorable. Howling along with my practice, why I dare say, he prevented me from practicing times more often than not. Sir Hyde loved to command the attention of all with his gaiety. I couldn't help but smirk at the idea of his dog on the theater stage. It was a sweet thought. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, just remember those good old times with Mr. Hyde. Indeed I shall. Thank you, Art. Oh, you're a little softy, huh? That's cute. After that small chat, Art and I thanked Forte for his time and pause near the theater exit to collect our thoughts. I bet his dog was really fun to play with. Anyways, what did we learn? I don't think we got an answer to the question as much as we did a description of what opera is and we just got a lot of uh, information about the dog. I think we did. I think we did. Forte is kind of a dramatic guy, sure, but I think he's very in tune with his emotions. Just like opera. Uh-huh. Satisfied with the answer, Art nodded in understanding. I guess that makes sense. You'd have to be pretty in tune with your emotions to uh, perform something as like dramatic as uh, opera. Oh, that reminds me of my old dog. He would always howl and sing. It was cute. Oh, that's so sad, dude. That's so sweet, man. And despite him jumping straight to Forte's worries, Art seemed to have helped Forte recall his fondness of his late friend. See? Art's a good boy, too. Ah, thank you, Marcy, for stopping by. I just got here in Forte! <laughs> I know I've seen you standing Forte a lot. I was like, kind of made me a little sus of him. Not gonna lie. I was like, wait, Marcy likes Forte? He seems like a sweetie so far, though. But I'm like, Marcy has similar <laughs> similar favorites as me. I was like, hmm, I wonder. I wonder if he'll be evil. But no, he, seem, he seems like a sweetheart. But thanks for stopping by, Marcy. Appreciate you. Let's try to find Say. Am I saying her name right? Say? See? Yeah, I think Say. I think that sounds right. Art and I saw Say in the kitchen, poking at the digital screen. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Say, what's the matter? Um, oh, it's it's no use. I don't know how to use the screen thing. It doesn't reg register my taps. Huh, you need to tap your bracelet on the screen first and then you can choose a meal. What? She raised her right arm and scanned her bracelet on the screen, activating the display. Uh, it's embarrassing. I'm not right-handed, so I didn't think about it. Glad I could help. Say I poked the digital screen, ordering a rice porridge with pickled vegetables. Okay. Eat up, Say. Okay, well, let's get something, too, so she doesn't have to eat alone. Art, Say, and I shared a small meal together. After we finished, Say quietly sat in the dining hall and fiddled with her rings. She then let out a big, exasperated sigh. Are we even going to hang out with Ashley now that I think about it? Since, um, she, like, hates me now and <laughs> everything. Doesn't hate me, but she's like distancing herself from me. Ugh, it's really no use. What's wrong? I can't get used to anything around here. And maybe because I'm kind of forgetful, but I went so long without eating because I couldn't figure out the menu thing. Okay. You shouldn't go so long without eating. If you need help with anything, you can always ask one of your friends here. I just met you guys. I don't think we're friends. F friends? I'm talking about characters always are like that. Uh, was that too forward? No, it's just, I don't want to, I don't talk to you all much, so I didn't believe you thought of me as a friend. I'm kind of like that too, though. Like, super friendly and just like, yeah, we've known each other for 10 seconds. We're friends, right? I don't see that. There's no reason we wouldn't call you a friend, right? Oh, thank you, Kyle. Kyle Krizik for becoming a member. Appreciate you. Uh, um. She stopped there, but I saw a small smile turn to the corner of her lips. Oh, that's cute. So, right down to business. P business We came by to see you ask... We came by to see you to ask about the question thing. <laughs> like every funny... <laughs> like every time somebody comes into the chat and they're like, Who died? Everybody's just like, yeah, Cannon died. <laughs> Jay? Just because you guys were all saying that earlier. I don't know why, but that's so funny, man. The question... The question... The question thing? You mean the forced motive question? Yeah, a group of us were talking about in the dining hall over breakfast, and we were wondering if you had any thoughts about it. Um, I don't know. It seems straightforward. I'm a detail-oriented person, and watches are so full of little mechanisms. Although, I guess I can get lost in those details and miss the big picture, like, like just now. But then again, after all the gear design differences under the face of the watch, the outcome is still fixed. A, a timepiece, right? Um... 
Yeah, I don't really understand what the question is supposed to be about. Sorry. No worries. We didn't know either, so we're just going around getting everybody's opinion. Oh, I I see. Well, good luck figure it, figuring it out then. Say clams up and quickly scuttles off before we could say anything else. Oh, uh, bye. She's kind of antsy, huh? She didn't really answer the question. I guess she just kind of talked... Well, I guess in a way she indirectly answered it since she was talking about um, how, like, uh, you know, her talent relates to her personality and stuff. That was the main thing that we were kind of getting from this. I guess it makes sense, too. Um, like, for example, if she was a killer, maybe her um, scheme would focus more on, like, uh, little details rather than, like, the big picture, you know what I mean? Um... There'd be like a lot of time and effort put into like covering small details or something, whereas maybe like something like more obvious would get kind of like covered up. Kind of like, I feel like she might be a killer kind of like Celeste, where there's like a bunch of small intricate details like put into the killing itself, but she could slip up and like accidentally say what happens, you know? Oh, thank you, Kyle. I'm late, but I'm here. Took time to catch up. I'm still sad about not having an ultimate dungeon master, but one can only hope. Best of luck. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the dono. Appreciate you. Yeah, maybe, maybe someday. There's a lot of fan gans, so there's got to be one ultimate dungeon master out there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. And yeah, I kind of feel like, I don't know, I feel a little bit like, I don't know, I'm sus of everybody, because I saw somebody saying they don't trust Say, and I was like, me too, but the <laughs> then again, I feel that way about literally every character. Can't, it can't avoid us forever. Doo -doo -doo. Ken was in the atrium, photographing some of the greenery in the center of the Grand Hall. Art and I hid away behind some bushes, watching quietly. Ugh, I see you guys there. Hey, I know you two are there. Be quiet until I'm done. We watched in silence as she snapped various photos of the plants. Ugh, these plants are so cringe. Out with it. What do you want? Uh, Echo was curious about your talent. It, Echo, Echo was curious about your talent. Not me, queen. I would never. <laughs> Echo was curious about the talent and your talent in relation to the force motive question. Way to throw me under the bus, seriously. Uh, yeah, just wanted- We, uh, we were both in on this, huh? Just wanted to hear about your thoughts. Humph. And there's not much to say. I know who I am. I'm a photographer. A behind-the-scenes kind of person who brings others' visions to life and captures them for eternity. Uh, was this rehearsed or what? <laughs> I've been practicing in the mirror all night. No. Your little bracelets are interesting. I just know who I am with a certainty. Uh, just as Cannon was about to make a dramatic exit on that lingering note, Pandora caught her on the way out. Uh, oh, Cannon, just the person I wanted to see. Is this about the motive question as well? Ugh, let me get my script out, okay. Indeed, reckon figure is an interesting subject. Would you mind if I asked? What draws you to it? Is that like the word for photography? Uh, yeah, I do mind. It's niche, and I don't want to waste my breath explaining these nuances to people who wouldn't freaking understand. No activity is too niche that it's acted upon without love, you know? Whatever. Did I offend you? No. Just, why are you all bombarding me with questions? We're not close. But we're best friends. This is how we get close. We make small talk and learn about each other. It's all in good spirit. Well, I really wish you wouldn't bother. Cannon ends the conversation for us again and disappears from the atrium. <laughs> Honestly, the Kazuna voice was the perfect choice for her, man. Well, I guess that's it. Sorry you had to walk in on that, Pandora. It's fine. Perhaps it wasn't my place to ask. I shouldn't pry, right? Uh, you didn't, have, you didn't do anything wrong. Cannon's just kind of snippy. <laughs> Grumpy. That's putting it kindly. It's okay, Art. You can say, you can say bitchy. <laughs> Thank you, Art Echo. Uh, excuse me. I just remembered something. I'll see you two around. Okay. Oh, sure. We'll see you later. Dude, everything she does, I'm just like, what are you up to? <laughs> what are you up to? She's probably just like baking or something. You know, bacon. I wonder. Do you... Art and I looked around for Lyle, but he remained as elusive as ever. What the heck? Where the hell is Lyle? I don't know. I'm certain we would have ran into him by now. How'd you even hang out with him before? We can never track this guy down. If we run around some more, we're bound to find him sooner or later. My Lyle senses are tingling. 
We just need art with us to find him. I believe it. I believe we can find the emo boy. After running around all day, Art and I managed to catch Lyle. Yay! See? Oh, that's his power, dude. The power of Art. As he was about to enter his room on the other side of the living quarters hall, God, it's like, damn it, they saw they spotted me. Yo, Lyle! Hey there, what's what's the good word? You're awfully casual for being so difficult to find. Yeah, we finally caught you! Huh? <laughs> You've been running around this whole building solving puzzles. And we've been running around this whole building looking for you. Oh, I'm in hot demand. Is that right? Yeah, we wanted to hear your thoughts on the motive question. I'm just going to agree with you. Yeah. We thought it would improve relations, getting to know each other better and all that. All that stupid shit. Uh, I thought, um, forced motive question. It's not a very strong motivator, is it? What if I, what if I don't want to, what if I don't want to talk about it? I suppose you don't have to. Yeah, but we're friends! We're besties! We should share stuff like this. And friends should know when to let up on the pressure. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Lyle. Aw, oh, he's so cute. Sad. Sad boy. Art looked down dejectedly. I'm not... I'm sure Art didn't mean to press you so... I mean, just asked like twice. I mean, it wasn't that... It wasn't that big of a deal. Come on. You're being a little exaggerative, Lyle. It's fine. It's just... I've just known puzzles all my life, you know? Puzzle solving is more of an introverted task, if you will. They're generally seen as activities simply for passing the time, cubing, crosswords, etc. I don't really like thinking about who I am beyond my talent is all. I'm afraid that I'm too boring without puzzles. You're not boring! You're plenty cool! I literally love you. I mean, look at you. You've got all sorts of friends here who think you're amazing. Oh my god, dude. You're really sucking up a little bit, huh, Art? I mean, look at you. You got all sorts of friends here who think you're amazing for charging right towards solving the electric door. You're so amazing and cool and epic and handsome. Well, I know all this stuff, but yeah. Right, Echo? Amazing's one way to put it. Yeah, Lyle, don't don't beat yourself up. You have a gift. It <laughs> thinks you too. But hey, while we're on the topic, listen to this. I tinkered with the door and managed to find something out. Lyle had our attention as he led the way to the foyer. Okay. What you gonna show us, homie? He's being nice now. He was being a little sussy in that, uh, like when we first, uh, got, like, the killing game revealed. Here we are. Give the door a try. Oh. What? It's pretty funny if you didn't do anything and just electrocutes Echo again. Oh man, that was so fucking funny. I can't believe you fell for that shit, Echo. Oh my god, hilarious. Cannon, did you get the picture? Oh my god, I totally did. Oh, what a loser. <laughs> oh man. What? Just, you know, bullying the kid with no talent. Uh, no way. Does that mean we don't have to stay here anymore? Well, that's the catch. Go ahead. Like, open it. It's just like a concrete wall or some shit. I gave Lyle a nervous look before reaching slowly for the door handle. Ah, oh, thank you, Marcy. Echo's third wheeling these gays for sure. <laughs> for sure right now. That's why Lyle was hiding. He's like, man, do I really have to accept this third wheel? Lame. Thanks for the dono, by the way. Bracing myself, I quickly gripped the handle. Y'all really gonna make Echo do it again? Nothing happened. I was fine. Wow, Lyle, you fucking did it! I gave the door a push, but they wouldn't budge. Oh, what now? What the? Is there a barricade or something? I think so. That or it's just hard locked. So I managed to disable the electric the electric door, but the physical barrier is an issue now. Can we just like kind of, you know, bonk it or something? Maybe just like keep headbutting into it or something like that? Sigh. I admit, I'm relieved that there's more layers to- <laughs> My god. I admit, I'm glad we get to stay in this killing game epic. Oh, yes, slay. I'm relieved that there's more layers to this task. <laughs> It, what do you mean? It would have been too boring if if I just had to disarm a door. Unconcerned with the discovery, Lyle was more satisfied with having more puzzles to solve than he was with removing a trap from the dangerous door. You know, we've been making fun of the horse girl, but maybe we should make fun of this guy more. <laughs> He's the puzzle guy. Here's so, he doesn't even care. He's in a killing game. He's like, yes, sweet mark puzzles. <laughs> yes. Here's something else that's interesting, though. It might be important since it's all about this weird killing game twist. After that 9 a.m. morning announcement, I saw Say sneak downstairs from the direction of the atrium. Oh. So she was the one who got the special thing. 
Interesting. Do we have the ultimate bulldozer here? We don't have any um, any uh, buff characters now that I think about it. Who's gonna die in chapter four? Damn it. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. Even Stranger was after, even Stranger was after she came down, she went to the dining hall for a minute, but quickly left. Hmm. I poked around in there and saw this in the pantry. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh, she got it too? Whoa, secret note. So, so is that the so-called special gift? Yeah, I can only assume. I was confused. How could it have been a special gift from this morning? If Pandora shared the note with me in confidentiality last night. The fuck? <laughs> I was like, the fuck, dude? I decided to keep quiet about it. I didn't want to confuse things. <laughs> dude, ah, man, come on. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess they trust Pandora and stuff. They think they think she's a homie. But I don't know. I feel like it'd be good to maybe say so. I guess Lyle is kind of sus, too. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I study a little bit. The symbols don't match any symbols of the students that are currently here. I cross-referenced the note symbols with the one in our personal dorm rooms and got nothing. That is, the note symbols even belong to students. That is, if, if the note symbols even belong to the students. Okay. I remember Missy saying something about the other students. Oh. She told me she told me the preservation project divides the ultimate student groups across different wings of the building. Maybe those are students from a different wing? Maybe. Uh so what would we do if we knew if we did know those students? It's not like we've seen them in our in part of our building yet. Um, who knows? That would be kinda of interesting with a killing game going on. Somewhere else in the building? Across different wings of the building. Yeah, I was like, uh, could be that then. That's kind of interesting. I mean, it probably isn't since they're just saying this out loud, but it would be kind of interesting if the symbols were from uh, other students in like a different killing game. Also in the same building, but just like in a different wing. Now that we think about it, like uh, we just kind of assume the door was like to the outside, but it could literally just be to another wing of like the building, you know? Um, who knows? Could it be morphogenetic field theory? Lyle muttered something, something under his breath. Morpho. Oh, hey! Wasn't that also from, uh, uh, Zero Escape, now that I think about it? Yeah, I think so. I think that was Virtue's last reward. Hey, don't worry about it. It makes me wonder, though, we are- are we meant to be recognizing other stu- <laughs> He's such a fucking nerd! He's like, damn, this is just like the hit game series Zero Escape epic, man. I'm so, I'm so stoked. Oh my god, can I be zero? Zero comes on. I'm already zero! Damn it! <laughs> Come on, can we share it? Come on, can we, can we share the role, zero? P pretty please? For example, I believe I recall Ashley and Echo being friends before this. Am I wrong? No, you're right. Right, right. See, for me, I recognize art school emblem, AA Academy, right? Huh? Yeah, how'd you know? I went to Rainmoth Rainmoth. Rainmoth Institute. I remember seeing your school symbol when our schools merged. Oh, okay. So their schools merged? My school used to be called Single Prep High School before the merger. I thought you were I thought you were so cool, representing a whole school to influence a merger. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, now, now I'm starting to feel like a third wheel. It was, it was such a long time ago. I, I hardly remember it. Ew, why not? It's amazing that you use your golfing skills to make things happen. Okay, I literally am a third wheel now. Our schools have never been in better shape thanks to your help. Uh, thanks, but people complain that my games aren't interesting enough since I always get the same result. Oh, hold on. God, I'm just too fucking good, dude. Oh, thank you, Marcy. Lyle's a huge nerd. Lyle slander for I'm just, I'm teasing him, you know? I'm just teasing him. I would never, I would never slander the best boy. And it's just funny to me that he's just so, like, uh, oh, epic. I'm in Zero Escape. <laughs> Slay. Thank you for the donut, by the way. They say games should be entertaining. They should just play golf themselves, you know? Besides, Lyle. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm such a fucking third wheel. You're the cool one. No, you're no, you're the cool one. No, you're the cool one. Oh my god. No, you're the cool one. And no, you're the cool one. 
I mean, use like your deduction or whatever to figure out how to disarm a dangerous door. That's more utility than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> it's nothing. The door doesn't even open anyways. It's still so fucking awesome, though. I feel like you could even figure out what the deal is with the killing game announcement stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the end goal. I'm just working my way through all these small pieces that they've given me. The two talked energetically. <laughs> the two flirted energetically as I awkwardly watched in the corner. I I'm just gonna go. <laughs> where is where is Ashley? <laughs> I feel left out right now. Thank you, Epta. Echo was standing. Echo just standing there during this. <laughs> it's like the like, like the standing emoji. <laughs> oh man, that's that's how I imagine Echo right now. Thanks for the dono, by the way, Epta. Oh, sorry, Echo. We were just over here talking your ears off, huh? And that's right. I'll make my leave now if you guys want to continue. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> Get lost. It was fun hanging out with you, though. Let me know if you ever, if you come across anything else weird. All right. I see how it is, Art. Literally only came to hang out with me because Lyle wouldn't hang out with you. And now all of a sudden you're ditching me once you find Lyle again. I see. I see how it is, homie. Whatever. Whatever. Let me know if you come across anything weird. All right. I can never find you, homie. Art and Lyle left, chattering along the way out. They really clicked, huh? Despite Art's lack of sensitivity. He has good intentions, though. I think most people uh, get it, you know what I mean? Or kind of understand that. Oh my god, the, the standing meme. That really is Echo. Echo right now, for real. <laughs> Dead. I turned around and glanced over the digital kiosk in the foyer, looking for the time. 1500. It's like 3 p.m. or something like that. It's already 3 in the afternoon. Nothing regarding the killing game has happened all day. What's our time limit again? Is it like midnight? <laughs> We're fucked. I guess I should be relieved. I really wanted to find Ashley, but it seemed like she was trying her best to put distance between us. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. She's just dead. No biggie. I suppose. I'll just pass time on the study. Oh, she's totally fucking dead, isn't she? Do, 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 do. I made my way to the study and skimmed through the collection of encyc encyclopedias. An interesting book titled Odd Theme Parks Across the World caught my attention. With the, t the tome in hand, I settled in the warmly lit study and began to leaf, leaf through the pages. You're so, uh, so posh. <laughs> so posh, Echo. I passed the time reading about a strange underwater theme park called Lemu. Huh. Is that referencing something? Is that, um, was that one of Kadaka's other games? The one, what was it called? God dang it, I can't remember. I guess it was like a Kadaka and Uchikoshi's game. It's like the, the one with the kids in it. They like kind of like Pokemon characters. <laughs> I can't remember the name for some reason. <laughs> dad, 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 dad. I don't know, I think Ashley's dead personal. <laughs> oh my god, every time, every time. I looked up from the book's pages towards the ringing sound coming from the ceiling. I don't know whether or not to be to be scared anymore. World End Club. That's what I was thinking it was from. Okay. Why are you? Why do you have an announcement for 4 p.m.? I thought for sure. I thought for sure. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I just like to jump scare you, Weeby. Ha 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 ha. It is now 4 p.m. Is this revenge Siri for me asking you a bunch of random dumb shit on my phone? <laughs> no one's died yet. Oh, how boring. Here's something that'll pump up your blood to shed some blood. Some inspiring, exciting, and enchilterizing music. Oh, it's gonna be like the V3 music. I always love that song. Uh, music? This one's a special request from many- Oh! Are we in a TV show? Oh, shit. Request from many of you at home. Enjoy many of our viewers at home watching. I'm talking to you guys in the stream chat, tee <laughs> It is that song! <laughs> I love that song, dude. I always love that scene in V3 when this music started playing. I just said such a, like, um, whatchamacallit? Such a freaky, like, uh, I don't know, desperate tone. There's something so, like, awful and, like, ominous about this song. But so upbeat, you know? The also finished, and a cacophony of obnoxious noise started playing overhead. Ah, what kind of fucking music is this? I dropped the book to cover my ears, but it was pointless. The reverberation, reverberation pierced through my skull and pounded through the walls. 
<laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Must murder. <laughs> Must destroy. It's so fucking awful. I feel the spirit of Monokuma possessing me. Scouring the room, I looked for the speaker, hoping to block the noise, but my efforts were few. <laughs> this music murdering us? It's so fucking awful. I'm dying. I'm literally dying. <laughs> Jesus. I ran out of the study, but in the din kept crashing through my head, amplified worse from bouncing off the hallway walls. Where is everyone? They're all dancing. Come on. You know it to be true. I instinctively went to the foyer, but it was no use. The door was disarmed, but it was still barricaded. What can I do to escape from this terrible fucking song? The sound was more severe in the foyer as it crashed off the walls and echoed through the main chamber. Uh, these characters are so dramatic. Like, I'd be popping and locking the this. <laughs> I'm dead. Me too, honestly. <laughs> we got a hilarious Echo's, like, freaking the fuck out. Everybody else is just, like, in the atrium, like... <laughs> you guys are terrible. It's like, Echo's just like, oh, God, the bad dancing. Oh, jeez, it's terrible. None of you have rhythm. Oh, God, this is even worse than the music. Ugh. My head was pounding. I could feel the vibrations in my body and my heart beating in my ears. Turning away from the main doors, I saw my- I saw shadowy movement at the top of the stairs. Hey! The shadow- oh fuck. I feel like it's Ashley. I feel like it's Ashley. I mustered out- oh, they go oh, it's gone for two seconds. I mustered out a cry for attention, but it was drowned by the noise. Okay, it's- oh, there it goes! Oh, now it got its back! Speaking of the stairs, the shadow was nowhere to be seen. Shoot, where did they fucking go? I peeked through the glass doors of the closet room, the spa lounge, and spotted Pandora reclined in one of the lounge chairs. Oh my god! I love this song! Clip my little thumbs. Pandora in the lounge chair. Oh my god, reminds me of home. Paris, Texas. We love this kind of shit there. We just need a country singer. Who's a country singer, actually? Just need Miranda Lambert singing over this. Yeehaw. Oh, finally, someone to help me with this horrible situation. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Threw the door wide open and rushed in. The music persisted as echoes of its... Oh god, I don't like this with the dark screen. Of its feet fled into the circular chamber. Oh no. Oh god, I think she's dead! Uh oh. Pandora, what's going on? I, I can't find anybody! Uh... She's totally dead now! Oh no! I'm sorry, Pandora! No reaction. I'm sorry for giving you the, the Karen voice. Uh, uh, pa Pandora? <gasps> I closed the distance. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. She's totally dead. No, Pandora! <laughs> Time froze. Dot, my breath escaped me once more as, as, slowly came to, as I slowly came to realize what had happened. I felt my blood run cold as my eyes laid fixed on the stillness before me. Was Zero just fucking with us, putting the sound? He's like, nobody's died yet. Unless they just killed right when the music started. I mean, God, they've only gone through like two, like one and a half songs of it. <laughs> Jesus, they couldn't stop themselves from slaying in that short time. It's like, shit, the music's going. I gotta slay. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. So her, huh, her neck? Oh, no. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm sorry for disrespecting you, Victoria. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, oh no, man! Why did they they choke her? It kind of seems like they choked her. And maybe that's like bruising. It doesn't seem like too uh, too much blood. You know what I mean? So I'm like, it's kind of why I was wondering about that. There was no response from her. Pandora was dead. Aw, no, Pandora! Now I feel bad for being so sus of <laughs> I really thought she was gonna be like the first culprit, to be honest. <laughs> ah, I should have known from the French, <laughs> the French title, too. Dang and Rampa. She went back home to Paris, Texas now! <laughs> is, that where, is that where these characters go when they die? Paris, Texas? <laughs> is that the new meme? <laughs> I darted out of the spa lounge, my eyes tearing through the halls. I screamed at the top of my lungs for help from anyone. So I guess the shadow we saw probably was the person that killed her. Um, I guess I guess we'll see. Help! It was the Karen voice, dude. I fucking cursed her, man. I was disrespecting her so much, and she well, 
I guess we'll find out in the trial, but she seems like she's probably just a good girl. Two people swept in at the sound of my voice. Uh, why do you look so pissed, Tommy? What is it? Stop making so much noise. The music isn't making enough of a racket. It's, it's Pandora. She's, where is she? Yeah, they're so pissed off for the, God, the fucking music. Aww. Oh man. Oh, thank you, Dara. Oh, uh, she's sleeping, right? Right? You just ignore the text that said she was dead. Just, you just ignore that part. No reason. No reason to think about that part. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, I forgore. <laughs> it's like right when it says Pandora is dead, I'm like, suddenly, suddenly I can't read. Well, I think I, I thought I had sunglasses in here somewhere. Oh, I do. I do. I gotta do that next time. Whenever it says it again, it's just like, suddenly I can't read anymore. <laughs> oh, this is like a Mariah, Mariah Carey meme or something like that. Suddenly I can no longer read. All of a sudden, then I skip to the next bo text box and I'm like, Oh, I can read again! Slay! <laughs> Thank you, Adorampas. I hated you. I know. She oh, she did! She eat her last haw! No! So sad, dude. So sad. I feel bad for disrespecting her. At least she's back in Paris, Texas. <laughs> she's yeehaw in there, guys. She is. Oh, what? Kiana gasped harsh har sharply and flinched nearly toppling over backwards from the recoil. Cyrus' expression hardened. A quiet anger emanated from him. It al it's almost palpable in the air. I myself was completely drained. All I could do was stare in a cold silence. Finally, the music ceased and an announcement began. Oh, you guys were quick, man. Y'all really fucking hated that music, huh? A ding dong. At last, God, find a fucking leak. <laughs> Look how sassy this guy is. At last, a body has been discovered in the spa lounge. Finally, Jesus. You'll be granted a period of investigation and then we'll begin our class struggle. Please accept this generous gift of a special report called, called the, okay, Monokuma file. Call it the same thing. I thought it might be the, the zero. Kuma, f I don't fucking, I don't know, zero file or something. It will be printed from the digital kiosk and it outlines the details of our poor lost friend. She's just taking a nap. Don't stop with your lies. Your lives depend on solving this case, so get a crack on. The announcement cut out, allowing a stiff apprehension to suffocate the scene. I investigation. They want us to investigate Pandora's dead body. And how dare that announcement call her a poor lost friend. It's their fault for forcing this game on us. It's like, wow, that was so rude of you guys to fucking kill her. Jesus. Why would y'all do that? Lame. Echo, please calm yourself. Ah, it appears we're being given an opportunity to right this wrong. It may be difficult to swallow, but this didn't happen. Just out of nowhere, someone did this. A culprit? Huh? A culprit? It's only appropriate. The culprit we are seeking is is the killer, is responsible for Pandora's death. His voice was firm, but I couldn't but I could see him clenching his jaw and his eyebrows furrowed as he looked back at the body. Cannon, however, stood unmoving. She neither moved nor spoke, since I saw her flinch at the first sight. It's like she froze. I feel like I see Cannon lasting a long for a long time for some reason. Right. The door flew open suddenly and I heard everyone clamoring at the spa lounge entryway. I feel like I guess she could just get like a pretty good character arc, you know what I mean? Ah, I can say, oh no, oh wait a second, wait a <laughs> I was like, oh no, they were friends, wait a second. <laughs> Whenever they're friends in Danganronpa, I start to wonder, I start to wonder a little bit. Okay, I guess we'll see, but I don't know, man. It's hard for me to trust anybody who's fucking friends in these games. Say shrieked and immediately fainted. Say! The rest of the students made their way in, fright painting everyone's faces as they each caught sight of the spa's terrible centerpiece. I just feel like I felt bad for too many friends of victims, and then it ends up them being the culprit. So I'm like, can I? I'll feel bad if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Now I'm sus of you. Unbelievable. Does Dong and Rappa ruin my, my sense of empathy? <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Is it has it ruined that for me? I wish that the announcement was made in jest, but it appeared I have made the fool for hoping. Oh. Eck. This is too much. Why, Pandora? Why? I really thought I was gonna be you, girl. I'm so shocked it's not you. Everyone seemed at a loss, with good reason for sure. The announcement said we were given a period of investigation, but 
I couldn't help but think it was such a detached request. Investigate the murder of our friend. Where, do, where would we even begin? Missy's commanding voice broke the silence. So we've been instructed to investigate such a thing. The Monokuma file should tell us all about the means of her death. Okay, she's gonna about to lead us, girl boss. But how do we even start? Does anyone know the first thing about investigating a dead body? No one spoke up, but Missy pressed on. All we can do is investigate to the best of our ability. If there's an, even a small trifling matter that plays into this, keep it in mind. We need to put our we need to put for put our best foot forward in investigation. If we find this heart, if we are to find this heartless culprit, I have a bad feeling that the class trial may be an unforgiving scene. I'm really uh, interesting about or interested in the class trial. How that's uh, gonna go? It is such a tragedy, dreadful more so that we must be the ones to discover the culprits among us. Everyone was visibly stressed. We all stood some feet away from the body, afraid of approaching the reality of our situation. The air was thick with tension, but Ashley cut through. Missy's right. We need to get to the bottom of this. Someone killed our friend for some awful reason, if not for the ultimate prize. We don't even know what the ultimate prize is. Murder is murder. Someone dies at the hand. Someone dies at another's hand, and that life is taken away. One lives and one dies. There's no gray area about it. Ashley's eyes were fiery. Oh, God. <laughs> Girl, don't go on your Kinjo arc right now. Someone here. She trailed off, but we could fill the blanks in, fill the blanks on her own. She didn't dare to utter the idea that someone standing within our ranks did this. I'm just kidding. I'm sure she's good among us. Oh, my God. <laughs> she marched over and gently laid a hand on Pandora's, sharing a moment of silence for her. The rest of the group was unnerved, but silently agreed. Aw, oh, man. I'm going to miss Pandora. And her bacon. <laughs> Man, it was so fun doing her voice, too. It's so sad. Missy and Ashley were stern, but they were right. I guess uh, maybe I should um, put this in chat. In chat. Oh, my God. I spelled please wrong. Why, God? Why, God? Why am I here? Just to suffer? Just to suffer? <laughs> <laughs> Just to fucking suffer. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know how to spell please. It's fine. <laughs> Missy and Ashley were stern, but they were right. I was shocked at the sight of Pandora's body. But I mostly felt sad. She looked peaceful, suspended in a newfound, endless slumber. The longer I looked at Pandora, the more the suffocating melancholy in my heart grew. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Guys, don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of me, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> My heart ached to hear her voice again, to see her smile. She had so much life, and it was dashed away in an instant. I clung to whatever memories I had of her. I couldn't let her warmth, her love, her hopes go unforgotten. Someone killed her. And we need to find out who. Not only for our peace of mind, but for Pandora's sake. I guess it makes sense, too, that she would die. Um... Since she was the first one who got the note and that was so, like, so mysterious. Like, why did she get the note? Like, I don't know. That honestly made me think that she was, like, connected more to the killing game. Just because it was like, why why did you get that first if that was the thing that you were supposed to get later? Unless she just, like, found it is, you know. <laughs> Zero's just really bad at, really bad at hiding stuff. <laughs> Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have hid it in the refrigerator. Why are they so good at that? Despite my fervor, I was still anxious about investigating a body. It was only natural. Just this morning, Pandora was so animated, sharing her breakfast pastries and getting along with everyone. But now all signs of life were erased, leaving a cold semblance of her person. I tried to work through the nerves by asking the others their thoughts on the situation. That is, if anyone had anything to say... <laughs> Still making fun. Guys, this is a sad scene and y'all are bullying me in chat. <laughs> not cool, guys. Not cool. What's that quote from Kamida? Bullying a girl? Not cool, chat. Not cool. That is, if anyone had anything to say. <laughs> you guys are so rude. Mitch, now they're bullying me. You should attack them. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Why are you guys so mean to me? The Monokuma file shed some light on Pandora's death. It looks like a considerable amount has been conveniently omitted. 
or rather the entire file has paraphrased for the purpose of <laughs> vagueness. May I take a look? Missy handed me a black postcard sized sheet. <laughs> Fucking dead, dude. <laughs> Not cool, chat. Not cool. <laughs> dead. Oh man, thank you, your Rose Graham, head cannon. Kaidi sleeps in a bed shaped as a bed. <laughs> I mean, true, honestly, honestly. That's pretty canon. I, I do, I do agree with that. <laughs> I can see that for sure. Thanks for the donut, by the way. I appreciate you. Okay, Pandora Esprit. Cause of death, victim suffered from strangulation. Oh, okay, that's kind of what I thought. I think it was because I mostly remembered, um, uh, I think it was Ibuki when she got like choked. I remember her kind of having like blood on her neck or something. No further injuries detected. So it was strangulation, but is that all the information we have? Unfortunately. However, we have yet to inspect the scene itself. I trust none of the first witnesses shifted anything around upon, upon arrival. No, I didn't ch touch anything. I saw her body, ran out and yelled for help, which called Cyrus and Cannon. Neither, neither of them approached her. Well, there's not much else we can do. I swallowed hard. I still wasn't ready to confront the body, but I sealed myself regardless. Something deep in my heart told me I needed to do this. Echo, I know what you're thinking. Uh, it's hard, but we need to face her. Okay, at least we're friends again, it seems like. Oh, okay, cool. I guess uh, this doesn't highlight. I guess I'll just click on everything. It's Pandora's body. Hey, you know, I just get the hardest part over with. You know what I mean? Pandora's bracelet, formerly a rose gold color, is like like my own, was now a vibrant neon pink. Oh, interesting. I guess it meant she's uh, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly I can't, suddenly I can't read. It's so strange. <laughs> as difficult as it is. We have to search the body and scene for clues. Um, nevertheless, Misty was having a hard time looking directly at Pandora's body. It is hard, man. Did you notice anything odd? I don't feel like I noticed anything else besides the, um, besides the neck stuff, you know what I mean? I briefly looked at Pandora's neck. Um, her neck seems to be in pretty bad shape. It looks red from some kind of stress. But other than that, I can't really figure anything else out. It's just from a choker she was wearing, you know? It was like hot pink, so the color from the choker bled onto her neck. And then she's also in Paris, Texas now. Slay. <laughs> slay Pandora. I guess there's no no uh, issue telling her to slay at least. <laughs> the victim report. According to the Monokuma file, the cause of death states she suffered from strangulation. Let's think about it. If she was strangled, with, with what did the culprit strangle her with? Good question. Do you think the culprit went to the climbing center and used a rope? Oh, interesting. Yeah, that was kind of what I was thinking the first, uh, you know, like, death was gonna be, honestly, in the climbing center, like, with a rope, probably. Well, perhaps the cruelly used her own, uh, uh their own, man, uh, their own bare, ha bare hands. I shudder at the thought. It looks more like a rope, though, like the outline of it, you know what I mean? I shudder at the thought. I feel like it would, you'd see more, like, I don't know, finger imprints or something if it was, um... If it was actually hands, Pandora's slate pass confirmed. She gets the slate pass. <laughs> Thank you guys still saying please in the chat. <laughs> oh my god, a plant. Okay. I guess the plant's nothing, huh? I feel like her hand looks kind of weird there. Okay, nothing there anymore. Oh, hey, this is new too, actually. There's a small... Oh, it does highlight, too. Okay, cool. I don't have to just click aimlessly. There's a small crap of, scrap of paper in the pool. It's the thing she had? What's that? Not sure. I carefully fi fished out the scrap of paper, taking care not to tear it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is, I think. Oh, yeah, I see the little note, the little, like, emblem or whatever on it, too. It was soaked, causing the words to be completely illegible. Oh, it's impossible to read. Yeah, it's ruined. It almost fell apart in my hands. A note, perhaps. However, the writing is impossible to decipher at this point. But how could this sort of how could this refuse be remotely related to the case at hand? I don't know. It seems kind of out of place, though. Come on, Echo. Do you not recognize it? Come on. Remember the announcement from this morning? Said so there was a special gift for whoever went to the atrium. Um, that is correct. It is possible that this note was the supposed special gift. I can't. Come on, Echo. Come on, say it. Say that you knew that she had it before. Come on. However, I noticed the large ink blots were vaguely in the shape of something I had seen before. I left the shreds of paper on the side of the pool. 
Oh well. Head empty, huh, Echo? <laughs> Head empty. Okay. Dee -dee. I like the question mark though. It's kind of dope. Okay, I guess we can just discuss then. Oh, hey! It kind of reminds me of your turn to die a little bit with the discuss. Oh, I like their uh, little animations. That's cute. Nice. What's up, Art? Oh, sad boy. Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. He's too pure for this game, man. I rubbed, the, I rubbed his back as he took deep breaths. Hey, it'll it'll be okay. Uh, ugh. Art could barely eke out a word in his state. Aw. Poor Art, man. I guess I didn't really expect him to be super, uh, I don't know, helpful with this. Echo. It's selfish, but after I heard the announcement, I was relieved to see you standing in the room. That said, Pandora didn't deserve this. No one deserved this. I just, I just hope she didn't suffer. Ashley fell silent and stared at her lost friend. It is so sad too. I had never seen Ashley so distraught. I think like, what was I gonna say? I think it was like Kadaka in like one of the interviews that he did. I thought, um, I can't remember if it was him or the interviewer who said it, that they felt that uh, the characters being like, uh, you know, like high school age too, almost like, it makes like the death sadder too, you know what I mean? Don't even get to like, you know, get through like your childhood before you're just like fucking murdered. It does make it more like tragic, never got a chance to like really live their life. Um, this is distressing to say the least. Echo, were you the first one here? Um, I didn't catch anyone on my way here though, so I can't say I saw anyone suspicious. Who could have done this? The shadow echo, the sh why are you so head empty all of a sudden? <laughs> Ultimate head empty echo pine. <laughs> They're named echo because the it's just their head, there's just an echo. <laughs> There's just echoes because there's nothing in there. <laughs> I mean, I guess they don't know who they saw, but it's like, man, come on, speak up, speak up, Echo. <laughs> Why are you being so so sussy? You came pretty quickly after I shouted. Did you happen to see anyone? I can't say that I did. I was in the climbing center right next door, too. Sus. Fucking sussy baka. <laughs> sussy baka, dude. Was Cannon was Cannon with you? She came at about the same time as you, if I recall correct. Because it did seem like the rope was from um from uh, what you call it from the rock climbing area. No, I was by myself while I was in the climbing center. <laughs> Nobody to support your alibi. I left the door open. If anybody wanted to join in recreation. No one came by the center and I didn't leave until I heard your voice. I ran to Cannon shortly thereafter in the hallway, just in front of the spa lounge. Weird. I don't want to run into, I don't, I didn't run into anyone on the first floor either. So whoever did it must have just vanished. Err, that's unlikely. Regardless, how did the culprit give us the slip? Cyrus was grumbling to himself as he tried to organize the events past. I don't know. I feel like it is suspicious, but I kind of feel like it's also not him. I can't totally tell though. Okay, I guess we'll see. What's up, Forte? Is it certainly possible that the music provoked murder? God, it was so fucking awful. <laughs> Monokuma's a terrible singer. I can't wrap my head around music being used to motivate something so extreme. I can't wrap- oh, I think that was Echo, my bad. I agree, I can't condone the vilifying of music. Oh my god, does that mean it was the music that did it? Should we just vote them as the culprit? It's proven that the music has therapeutic qualities. But conversely, select sounds have the ability to cause anxiety and other negative effects. In in that case, maybe the motivating music was meant to make us stop thinking clearly? It definitely, I definitely felt strange when it began. Yeah, it kind of seemed like Echo was like hypnotized or something almost. Perhaps the rhythm of music can affect your body, given our experience with the motivating music. It was high paced and likely used the cause. Likely and likely used the cause, as the announcer said, the blood pumping excitement. I suppose those qualities could have been could have been abused to activate a flight or flight response that would inevitably inevitably end up like this. Is that so? That wretched music was certainly irritating, but for someone to succumb and produce such an intense reaction, to what end? Was the music really that motivating? Yeah, I, I doubt it. Have we got any truth bullets from these guys yet? I feel like we haven't really. Have we got any truth bullets at all now that I think about it? And don't talk to me. Kenneth spoke through tightly gritted teeth, but I want to talk to you. You have the Kazuna voice. I want you to especially talk more than the others. She looked disturbed. 
Don't talk to me, Baka. Okay, Lyle. Um, Lyle, what are you thinking? If I'm being honest, I don't know. There's not a lot on the scene to dissect. The only thing that caught my eye was that shred of paper in the spa pool, but it's completely ruined. Hmm. I expected a bit more keen observations from him, the ultimate puzzle master. But even Lyle was either stumped or too shocked to sp Are we screwed? Too shocked to speak on the matter. We need Shoba here. <laughs> We're fucked. Okay. What's up, Missy? You got any, got any clues? Oh, yes. I remembered. Specifically during the trial. At some point, I should say, tell them, Echo. That is what I remembered. <laughs> brilliant. Oh, brilliant, I know. Oh, God. I admit, this is nothing if not shocking to see. The words were unwavering, but Missy's voice was cracked and disjointed. Yeah, I can't believe it actually happened. It's inconceivable. Aunt Pandora, nonetheless. She held together quite strongly. I'm certain her spirit would not have been crushed by a game constructed of fear. She looks so, like, calm laying there, too. I wonder, like... I don't know. I wonder what her last moments were like. Did she feel, like, scared? Betrayed? Like... I don't know. She was a really easygoing person, it felt like. I mean, I guess they could have, like, uh, you know, if she did have, like, a shocked expression when she was dying, they just, like, closed her eyes afterwards. Because sometimes I think people do die with their eyes open and stuff. Alas, there's no use thinking in hopeful hypotheticals now that this has occurred. Yeah. I was shaken at how articulate, even on the subject of death, Missy remained. Do, 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 do. Say! Uh, say, say fainted as soon as she entered the spa lounge. Forte was kind enough to situate her in a spare chair off to the side to regain her strength. Can you imagine going to the spa after everybody, like, after somebody died here? Oh. Okay. Um. Is there anything else I can click on? Oh, continue. I guess that makes sense. Do, 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 do. Let's go to the rock climbing area. After investigating Pandora's body... I felt an exhaustion like none other. I guess we're not going to go there. Dang it. Never in my life did I think I would be experiencing something like this. The weight of the shock and melancholy of it all bore heavy on my shoulders. Is there nothing else we can do? I wonder. Did anyone see anything else suspicious on their way over? Echo, I swear to God. I swear to God. You don't talk about that fucking shadow you saw. You don't talk about the shadow you saw. <laughs> Homie, come on. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Big Chugger Rock. <laughs> I was gone for like an hour. Everyone's still alive and happy, right? Oh, my God. Yes, bestie. Everything's great. Pandora's just taking a little nap. She's about to board her plane back to Paris, Texas soon, but she's doing great. Everybody, Everybody's doing great, guys. <laughs> Everybody's doing great. Ye yeehaw. Sad yeehaw. I wonder, did anybody else see anything else suspicious on their way over here? We all looked at one another, but no one replied. Everyone was understandably on edge. Of course, no one wanted to talk. It appears we've exhausted all avenues of investigation here. Such a lackluster amount of clues doesn't bode well for us. We're fucked. Where the hell show by? Yes, if we've done we've done all we can looking into the scene, there's nothing left but to discover Pandora's killer. Of course, that's easier said than done. Ah! I heard Cannon grumbling in the corner. She seemed girl, are you gonna save her ass? Can you please? <laughs> Distressed. All right, you dumbasses didn't find any clues. Let's just go ahead and do the fucking trial. Come on. All right, I think I've given you all enough ta enough leeway to get yourselves together. Man, are we not gonna go? Are we not gonna go to the other place to, to to figure out if they use the rope or not? I feel like that'd be a pretty big clue. I mean, I don't think they really confirmed it. That was just kind of my idea based off of like the wounds. So it's time for the class trial. I hope you haven't, I hope you've had enough ammunition to shoot down the culprits. I'll get it. If not, then I guess you're all out of luck. Get fucked losers. There is an elevator in the main foyer that will cru cruise you all down to the special class trial courtroom. Okay. If you do not assemble in the elevator quickly, I'll send out a radio transmission that will release a toxic gas on your bracelets. She's, she's always going to threaten that, homie. Get some more threats. You want to find out who did it, right? You don't want your lives to end before you even had a chance to defend yourselves, right? All that and more will be available for you in your group courtroom. Let's get a move on. I'll be seeing you shortly. The announcement went out as quickly as it came. I want to see him, man. I hope he's at the trial. That was a hella quick investigation, <laughs> We're fucked, man. <laughs> so this really is happening. <laughs> like we just like stood there like the standing emote me. <laughs> like the stand we just stood in this room like the standing emote 
and we were like, okay, all done. Okay, guys, no worries. You're ready for the class trial. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? We're fucked, aren't we? Ashley took this first strides out of the room, not, but not without giving Pandora one last somber look from the doorway. Did anybody investigate besides me? <laughs> Oh man, Forte gently eased Say awake, turning her gaze from the unsightly scene and helping her as she hobbled out. One one by one, the others filtered out of the spa lounge. You know, they're just doing what they were born to do, which is the Danganronpa standing pose. That's literally what they were born to do, just, just do the Danganronpa standing pose. <laughs> All done. I stood back. I stood back for a moment to take one look at Pandora. Aw, oh, so sad, dude. Poor Pandora. Don't worry, guys. She's she's baking in Texas. In Paris, Texas. We all stepped into the large elevator and began the dark descent into the supposed courtroom. Aren't so pretty. The elevator sailed noisily toward our unknown destination for what felt like an eternity. Silently, we stood. No one dared speak. I had a lump in my throat from the anxiety, the fear, the sadness. My stomach was knotted, my head dizzy, my heart aching. The spa lounge we were meant to investigate came short of any useful clues. We literally, did we get like two clues that whole time? We were only able to procure two traces of evidence, if you want to call it that. One fact of which was already stated simply in the victim report. Uh, and the other was a secret note that only few are aware of. Nervous was an understatement. I was at a complete loss. Oh my god. The elevator eventually sit, slid to a standstill, shaking me from my thoughts. Oh, the trial looks cool. Oh, well. Kind of like hung up in the middle there. The doors open to reveal our rendezvous point. The spacious dome shaped room was topped with a glass ceiling, a third of the foundation revealing the sunset sky outside of our confines. The walls themselves were barren and simple, a matte navy blue with a rim light illuminating the room. Okay, interesting. Hang on the wall. I was kind of wondering if she's going to get like a baking themed X. Hang on the wall. Across the way was a grim picture frame representing Pandora. Her profile had been crudely stricken with a violent pink X. Hey, they said it was pink this time. Oh, <laughs> acknowledging that it's not red, but pink. I got, I got you, Echo. The picture frame was positioned so that it was looking almost hauntingly over a circular group of podiums. Yeah, it was like, it's kind of interesting they hung it up like so high up, you know what I mean? It was a bleak place to think there was a dedicated location for whatever was about to occur. Just where were we? Everyone, welcome everyone and all to the trial grounds. The stands before you'll be the key locale for today's trial. So let's see some hustle, people. The amount of- God, after that piss poor performance of an investigation, this trial better be good. <laughs> I feel like he's just doing this all for his entertainment. <laughs> the announcement is like, God, the last season of The Bachelor was terrible and it's already over. I need a new show to watch. That's why I put on my death game. Papa, mama, host a death game for me, please. We steadily settled in and stood in silence. At the stands, we were placed in a circular fashion. Our faces, our fears, and our emotions were exposed to one another. The atmosphere, thick with anxiety, was palpable and crushing. Oh my god, I hope Echo goes on a, li a little rap tangent like uh, Sora always did. I could feel my heavy heart pounding in my head. My palms were sweaty, mom's spaghetti. Yet I couldn't feel a dreadful, yet I could feel a dreadful, eerie chill go up my spine. I tried to be strong, but my knees were weak, my breath short. We were here because of one unmistakable fact. Someone killed her. Pandora Espere, the ultimate baker, a gentle and caring person who wanted nothing more than to share her good spirit and delectable treats with the world. I feel like Echo's calling me out. <laughs> a gentle and caring person that Weedy was so fucking suspicious of the whole time. It would not stop being suspicious of and reading her lines as creepily as possible. Like literally, she could be talking about like the cutest shit, just like baking. And I'd be like, yeah, I was baking a cookie. <laughs> I make it sound like she's about to murder them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pandora, for the disrespect. I'm sorry. Knees weak, palm sweaty. Someone here was responsible for her death. I could look so cute in their little portrait. And the thing that kept me standing firm was the drive to figure out who heartlessly ended her life. 
A light began to flicker weakly from the center of the circle of stands. Oh, hey! Hey! The flickering gained strength as a shape began to take form from within the light. Is it going to be zero? My boy! Something like the shape of a person began to appear. Ah, uh, there he is! Oh my god! And I thought Lyle was edgy and emo. <laughs> Ooh! Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the courtroom! Now this is probably gonna be my best boy. Who are you? What is that? Who am I? What is that? Answers to those questions don't matter too much. Besides, I think you ought to have more pressing questions since something super bad has transpired. All you really need to do know is that I'm your lovely judge for today's trial. Okay, maybe I'm not a real certified judge or whatever the fuck, but I will be the one passing judgment on what happens today. And after each subsequent murder to come, you like my Monokuma hair? Hum, judge, but not really a judge. It's too long and confusing to address me, so you may call me... Eh. Zero. Okay, interesting. I like his outfit more, too. Like his little piercings and stuff, too. Edgy boy. The hologram of a person named Zero presented itself, giving a face to the voice of our killing game announcer. Mono Edge. <laughs> Class trial, all rise. Okay. Here we go. Trial one. Ah, oh, looks so pretty. Without further ado, I take it you all know why you're here. Hmm. I wonder... It's interesting, too, because it's just like a projection. I guess he probably does look exactly like that um, in in real life, too. But it would be kind of interesting if he looked different and this was just like his uh, persona or whatever. I made my cool, edgy persona <laughs> to resemble my my dog inner personality. Oh my god, Marcy. Zero appears me immediately. Hello, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I could have guessed that. That's so funny. <laughs> I like Zero too. It's fun to have kind of like uh, I don't know, man. Why do, why do we like evil characters so much? <laughs> Thank you for the don't know, Marcy. Jeez, you're all a quiet bunch, aren't you? You're all here to s uh, sus out. Oh, he said. Oh my God, he said that. Oh my God, Zero Among Us fan confirmed. Among Us gamer confirmed. You're all here to suss out who done it. Oh my god, did somebody say his cool edgy VTuber? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, his cool edgy VTuber. Just like a total nerd in reality. <laughs> like this was, uh, I, got, I commissioned somebody to make art for me and then I based my persona around it. In other words, you're all on trial to figure out who the culprit of today's heinous, heinous crime is. Did you think you'd get away with a murder and win the prize? No, it's not that simple. The rules are as follows. Discuss, discover, and determine who the culprit is among your group. Majority... Oh, hey, I like this, uh, this art, too. That looks pretty cool. Majority vote will seal the individual's fate, and ha, we'll just see what happens from there. <laughs> yeah, one of the few outcomes will occur. I'm just gonna fuck with you guys. <laughs> determine and vote incorrectly. Why does this sprite look so nice? Incorrectly, the entire class is executed. With the culprit alone, able to walk free to win the ultimate prize. That's the ideal end game for the culprit. Oh god, for a second I thought he was just not even gonna mention that they uh, that they died. Determined, it's like, I just wanna see you guys do it and see what happens, you know what I mean? Haha. <laughs> Determined and vote correctly, and the culprit alone will receive your proper retribution and perish at the hands of your group decision. Phew, you just might live to see another day. Our victim today is Pandora Esperi, the ultimate baker. Oh yeah, thank you, big chunk of Bridget. Zero looks like he's gonna be the next Tumblr sexy man. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> jail, jail. Thank you for the dodo. A sweet young lady who could do nothing wrong, or could she? Well, people can surprise you. See, Zero has got my back. Zero thinks it was right that I was sus of Pandora, you know? <laughs> if nobody's got my back, Zero's got my back. <laughs> So with that out of the way, let's get talking. Who exactly are you? What? You're still asking that even though I just introduced myself all nice? You should, you should have bigger concerns than that. Talk about the murder. I can't believe who did it isn't your top priority right now. I can't believe who did it isn't your top priority right now. You guys are fucked. This is going to be the shortest killing game ever. Now I thought the dog off another cast was bad. Huh? No one wants to talk? 
Need I remind your lives are kind of on the line and shit? If none of you start talking, you'll all default to having lost the trial and you'll all be executed! A slay! You don't want that, do you? Ex oh my god, it goes so short! Oh my god, they're so tiny! Executed, what does that mean? I never really see them on screen. Are they really that short? Or is Zero just on like a step stool? I didn't want to be- I didn't want to be shorter than freaking horse girl, come on! He's got like those, uh, he's got like those, uh, tennis shoe heels where they look like, uh, whatever. They look like, um, whatchamacallit. They look like regular tennis shoes, but got this, like, huge ass heel in them. <laughs> no, guys, I'm just naturally seven feet tall. Leave me alone. The dictionary definition of execute to carry out a sentence of death. It's really quite simple. On one hand, it makes my job easier. I don't have to listen to bad deductions. On the other hand, I'd be terribly bored if this game didn't go past the first chapter. Fucking lame. Ah! Everyone, please, we need to discuss who could have possibly done the unthinkable. As trifling or even irrelevant as something may be, if you have any concerns about the case, speak now. <laughs> Why is Echo so tiny, dude? It's, it's scary. Oh, Echo's 5'2"? Echo Loki taller than me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, Echo's 5'2. That's like literally what I lie and tell people I am. I'm five foot tall for those of you guys who don't know. I'm so fucking short. Is this because I hate milk, dude? It's so sad because I literally think it's 5'2 as being like not tall, but like kind of tall. At least in comparison! At least in comparison to me! Damn it, I would be so tall. My face wouldn't even hit, like, my face would literally be covered up by the speech text bubble. Oh my god. It's scary. Say, are you okay? Say, please don't push yourself. Yes, thank you. If he wants us to talk, I'll talk. I should have just lied about my height. Why did I tell you guys the truth? <laughs> like, yeah, guys, I'm actually six feet tall. I was just joking when I said I was five feet. Haha, <laughs> If he wants us to talk, I'll talk. I'll talk about how scared I am. I just want to go home. I can't get used to anything around here. I don't know any of you people. And someone gets fucking killed. Ugh. Say it. I understand it's difficult. But discussing our friend's death is necessary to ensure we don't find a similar fate ourselves. I guess, um... I mean, I kind of agree with Say. <laughs> like, I feel like that's how I would be too honest in this situation. I just fucking met you guys and you already murdered somebody. I feel like, I don't know, somebody does suspect her just because she was friends with, um, Pandora. But the other part of me doesn't suspect her as much because I feel like... I don't know, I feel like the watchmaking thing was really like, like, I don't know, foreshadowing what a murder plan of hers would be like. This doesn't really seem like it would be her MO. But then again, I guess she is very like timid and like kind of, you know, scared and stuff like that. So maybe she wouldn't put that much thought into a murder scheme. Like I'm thinking she would just because of the watch metaphor thing. I don't know. But discussing our friend's death is necessary to ensure we don't find a similar fate ourselves. At the very least, we can try to remember our last moments with her. That Zero is right. We don't want to go down without a fight, right? Why don't we begin with Pandora's last known whereabouts? <laughs> Echo, tell him! The silence in the room was oppressive. A trial to defend ourselves. Why would I need to defend myself if I know for a fact that I would never kill her? <laughs> Little Echo's up here, so I would be like right here probably. <laughs> Half my face would be covered up by the text box. Regardless, no one knew where to start. Well, then I shall begin. Oh, hey, Missy's gonna tell us herself. Okay, pop off, pop off, queen. Well, then I shall begin. Last I saw her, we were sharing a quiet breakfast. And I came back that the group was composed of Art, Echo, Missy, Pandora, and myself in the dining hall from about 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, after that, we kind of went our own way. I went around the mansion with Echo to talk, a to, talk to the others who weren't at breakfast. Uh, who did we see again, Echo? Art doesn't recall the people we visited at breakfast. Let's see. We met with... I was kind of wondering if it was more going to be like a question and answers, right? Um, head empty. No, Cannon wasn't there. Forte wasn't there. Cannon wasn't... Wait. Oh, wait. 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 What were they asking? Uh, where's the mansion? Went around... Oh, yeah. Went around the mansion. Who did we see again? I was thinking they were talking about at the dinner table. 
Cannon, Forte, Missy, Lyle. Say Cannon, Forte, Lyle. Say Cannon. Wait. Who is this? Wait. Did we, we didn't talk to Missy, right? Oh, yeah, we didn't talk to Ashley either. I was like trying to figure out what was different about these. I just kept saying Say and Cannon over and over again, right? Oh, yeah! Those people were Say, Cannon, Forte, and Lyle, and we asked them about their talents. That's right, but when we were touring the mansion, we went with those four and no one else. The only ones we didn't see after breakfast were Pandora and Ashley. I mean, we met with Pandora when we were talking to Cannon, but yeah, yeah, we did meet up with Cannon. She was just like, fuck off. Now I remember. Uh, she didn't stick around long. She said she had somewhere to be and left to go who knows where. Did you? Pandora and Ashley, moving on with Pandora. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a period of time in which no one saw Pandora last. Is that correct? So was that the last time anybody saw her? That window apparently being somewhere between 10 a.m. to approximately 4 p.m. Can anyone else provide their whereabouts in that approximate time frame? I was alone in the study for a good portion of the afternoon. I went to the theater at about 2.30 p.m. Oh, you must have left just before I went in. I went to the study at 3 p.m. Okay. Okay, so Missy went at 2.30 p.m. Just left right before I went in. Okay. I spent my time in my personal roof. <laughs> Nobody has an alibi, dude. I wasn't in one place. I was investigating the mansion until 3, that is. I met up with Art for a little bit and eventually landed in the jazz club right before 4. Made a little jazz date. No biggie. I was sort of galling myself with the amenities in the theater for much of- Of course, you're in the theater. Always in the theater. I was in my room too. After I had a meal with Art and Echo, I went back and didn't leave at all. Yeah, we did, uh, we saw her then. I was in the atrium for a while. Uh, it looks like no one has a particularly strong alibi except Art and Echo who can vouch for each other until 3 p.m. Yeah, for real. It's like everybody else is like no alibi whatsoever. What does that mean? You're all sussy bakas. What do you think it means? It means that since many of us were acting on our own for an extended period of time, our whereabouts can be heavily doubted. Anyone could have lied about their activity and instead set up some sort of trap to get rid of Pandora since no one saw each other. So we're all suspicious, except for me <laughs> and my bestie Art. It's difficult to narrow down who is potentially suspicious in these claims alone. Let's calm down and the... <laughs> We'd be just adding in cuss words as they please. <laughs> I don't know why I do that sometimes. It just makes it funny to me. <laughs> I have the uh, sense of humor of a third grader, you know, no biggie. Thank you, uh, Hope uh, Masakuna, though. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate the dono. Let's calm down and think thoroughly. Why do we move the topic to the force motive question? The question, along with the motivation music, was provided to push someone to commit a crime. We want to figure out, figure out, figure out what about the question would have caused such distress. The forced motive question. A small group of us talked about it briefly this morning over breakfast, but ultimately we couldn't figure out the purpose of the question. We never talked to, do do, we never talked to, the only person we didn't talk to specifically about it, I think, was Ashley. I mean, I guess we kind of, like, got her opinion on it before the motive was given, you know what I mean? But, uh, just, just a thought. Why don't we discuss the purpose now that everyone is present? Discussion! Commence! Okay. The purpose of the forced motive question. The question, are your talents a true representation of who you are? Who you are beyond your talent? What could it mean? I should pay attention to statements that might sound interesting. Oh, hey! A question to provoke killing? It makes no sense! Do I click? How could a simple question make us do something as extreme as in someone's life? Huh. I wonder, what am I supposed, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here exactly? This morning we speculated that sharing the history behind our talents would only create a greater bond between us. Oh, sussy. Right? Greater bond. Echo, I believe you led our discussion this morning. Okay, so maybe I just click elsewhere to make it move and then click on it to um, question it or whatever. I believe you led our discussion this morning. You should be well versed in what everyone had to say in the consensus we came to. That's right. We all shared our thoughts and agreed nothing we said struck anyone as strange. The purpose of the forest mode of question. Okay, so I have to go through it again. What can it mean? I should put it into statements that might sound interesting. Okay, so I can just, uh... 
Okay, so that was how... I guess maybe I can only question these ones with like the... With the uh, highlight, you know what I mean? I am being inclined to agree with that conclusion. It only makes sense after all. It's also possible that it's a tactic used to instill distrust and cause discord. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. What do you mean by distrust? I wonder, do you actually lose points for clicking on the other thing? I wonder, uh, same concept, totally different mechanics. Yeah, I can definitely uh, kind of see that. It does make sense. That's kind of why I was wondering what the trials were going to be like before we got to it, because I was wondering if uh, the class trial, like, gameplay was really possible with this engine. I didn't really think it would be. But, um, yeah, I guess so you don't really necessarily lo you lose points to clicking on the other ones. But I think technically the other one was wrong <laughs> that I clicked on <laughs> since it redid it again. What do you mean by that, Ash? Let's say someone didn't want to talk about their talent, despite the talent being something that's highly lauded. If someone wouldn't want to talk about such an unassuming topic, the resistance should be suspicious, right? I mean, that was kind of how canon was. She's like memorized this one, like two sentences. Okay, I'm gonna say this stupid fucking sentence. Leave me alone. <laughs> just because, but just because someone's talent is public knowledge, doesn't necessarily mean the individual's life and practice behind it should be public as well. Ash, you kept your talent unknown to me for whatever reason. Are you saying you want me to believe you're suspicious? Uh, of course not! How could how could you even say that, bestie? Did you ask someone about the force motive question and not get an answer? Uh, no, I just don't, girl, why are you being so sus? I just don't want to bother anyone with such a potentially loaded question. I don't know, I don't think Ashley would be a killer though, especially since she seems so pissed after finding Pandora's um body, you know? Is my talent a true representative of who I am? I never thought about my talent as a representation of me. It was simply a hobby that spiraled into something incredulous. I never would have thought racing would lead me to end up in such a strange mess. Huh. That's kind of interesting too. It's like, uh, I guess the dynamic between Echo and Ashley is like, Ashley has this incredible talent and it kind of feels like she doesn't, you know, want the talent. Whereas Echo's like super insecure and really, really wants a talent. Sorry to press you so hard, Ash. Art asked me if I knew anything about your talents and I couldn't properly answer him. That said, I think this conversation eventually proved your point that it could cause discord. There is contention even, even between us. Uh, that's all right. I'm sorry if, I, if keeping it a secret hurt you, Echo. I didn't mean to tie you up in such complications. It's not too complicated. You're my friend. If anything hurts, it's the fact that I burned you with this topic. Well, that's the purpose of discussion, isn't it? To bring ideas and theories to light. And I don't suppose I just performed an example of the question causing such an altercation. Okay. Consent. Discussion. Progress. Okay, cool. So now I can kind of see it. Oh, that was something. Best friends reconciling their difference for the sake of proving a point. I suppose every discussion has to start somewhere. Okay, as you were. Hum. Right, thank you for that bookend, Zero. I hate thanking you. In that case, what if the question posed was meant to make us look at Ultimate Student's talent as an end justifies the means product? I mean, justice... <laughs> what? A mean justice fries served with what? What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about, Art? Oh my god, do you even know where you're at right now? <laughs> In that case, what if the question posed was meant to make us look ultimate students as injustifies? <laughs> Here are justice fries. The bean project. A mean justice fries served with what? Oh my god, I hope it's ketchup. I fucking love ketchup. The end justifies the means. A saying which result is deemed so important that any method, morally good or bad, may be used to achieve it. In this case, I believe what Echo is saying is regardless how someone achieved such advanced talent or what the person is like behind it is meaningless in the grand scheme of having an ultimate talent. After all, didn't we all sign up for the preservation project knowing full well that we needed to bear an ultimate title? An ultimate title. A precariously valuable title someone receives for super excelling in their field of expertise. But what does this possibly have to do with Pandora getting killed? There's no way anyone was, like, jealous of her talent, was there? We, we were all strangers before meeting in this scary place anyways. Okay, I was like, oh, I was hoping Cannon is about to girl boss on us. I fully want to believe. I want to believe we all got along well with her. We all got along with each other, in fact. Without the killing game pressure, 
I don't see how anyone could possibly harbor any ill will. <laughs> no, someone's gotta fucking hate her. I mean, we became her the fucking Karen voice after all. What? Oh, what? I'm fucking bored. You guys are too nice. You aren't talking about anything interesting, so I thought I'd throw you all a bone to get the ball rolling a little bit faster. Not one single person is going to be loved by everyone. It's just not fucking possible. Somebody was like, you know what? Her bread was fucking shit. <laughs> That's why I killed her. <laughs> how could you How could you say that? She did nothing but show kindness and warmth towards everyone. She's literally done nothing wrong. Pandora only ever wanted to share good food with good friends. Well, what if her bread was shitty? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. These are the questions you have to ask. Yeah, she always worked tirelessly to bring us together with her delicacies. Blah! <laughs> oh, good show, everyone. Oh, God, Lyle. Eh. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're all such great actors. I guess it's been fun watching, but the discussion isn't really going anywhere. I was ready for you to just pop and lock on us, Lyle, because like, you're the one you are the one who knows how to solve puzzles and shit. Come on. Why were you just Dog and Rapa standing during the investigation? Oh! I'll just put an end to this now. Oh my god, he's just going to say who did it. This case, this trial, it's all an elaborate ARG scheme. Eh, Lyle? It's all an act. What? The reason why there's so few clues is just a way to save resources. Imagine if the folks setting up the game had to use a bunch of fake blood to create the scene. What? What? What the fuck are you? Are you just a Lulu, homie? What? It's just a way to save resources. Imagine if the folks setting up the game had to use a bunch of fake blood to create the scene. Though, I suppose for at the sake of entertainment, such system exists to waste resources. The fuck? Hair. What? what was it like alternate reality game scheme? <laughs> I feel like he's just a Lulu. <laughs> I feel like he's just a Lulu, honestly. I thought he was about to really like I don't know, drop some truth bombs. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's like maybe it is all fake, but it kinda it kinda seems like something I would say, to be totally honest. It kinda seems like something I would say. <laughs> Though I suppose for the sake of entertainment, such systems exist to waste resources. Oh, what are you talking about? Uh, oh my god! <laughs> me, me IRL, dude. <laughs> me IRL. Pinsora isn't dead. She can't be. <laughs> she would never. <laughs> Nothing adds up. <laughs> maybe, maybe he is. Maybe he is onto something, but it just, it sounds Lulu. <laughs> Delisle, the Lulu Lyle. But I suppose if you want me to, if you want me to be, keep playing, I'll say this. Let's think about who was on the scene for. <laughs> fucking Echo did. If I recall correctly, it was Echo, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. What are you trying to say, homie? I saw Pandora's body first, and I came. Then I called for help, which made Cyrus and Cannon arrive shortly after. Okay, easy. The culprit. What the, the fuck? What the? Are you really a puzzle solver, dude? Did you fucking lie about your talent? I'm actually the ultimate triangle player. That's why he's got the fucking triangle earring. The culprit 20 U3. <laughs> what? Um. What? On what grounds do you think you can suspect that? Pandora's supposed time of death was like 405, right? I'll set the scene. We're just minding our own business in the mansion, not knowing what's to come. Soon, some nasty music starts playing. One of you three starts getting stressed out. So you str what the so you strangle the fuck. <laughs> what the fuck, like? What are you on, homie? What are you on? So you strangle the first person you see. Gaslight gate, keep liable. <laughs> How else can we narrow down the culprit? It has to be someone who is near the scene after 4 p.m. And that person couldn't have gone far after escaping the crime scene. Okay, I have been making fun of him. But that was my main reason for suspecting Cyrus. Just because I guess like I already thought it was maybe done with the rope in the first place. And then Cyrus was like nearby and like in that uh, area or whatever. <laughs> it really feels like Lyle's high, dude. <laughs> oh my god, we did all those like high edits on the Discord of... Um, the characters from talking about another. We definitely need one of Lyle after this trial, dude. Lyle, please take your meds. I'm concerned. <laughs> Thanks, Epta, for the donation. Same, 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 same. 
In my opinion, a motivation to kill a la stress for music is kind of shoddy. <laughs> It's kind of shoddy writing, but at least there was an attempt. I guess he's just so into gaming. He's just such a fucking gamer. He can't see it as anything else. He just can't see it as anything else. It's like, damn, Zero Escape was way better than this shit, but whatever, I guess. Why can't I have gotten reincarnated and put into, like, your turn to die or something? Lyle keeps going on about the killing game being an ARG, but her death seemed so fucking real. <laughs> what? The, the, wait, doesn't that mean? Everyone's alibis from earlier... Don't amount to anything? Bingo. I believe you all discussed your whereabouts up to approximately 3 p.m. latest, but no one said anything from then to 4 p.m. when the music started. That's what I was wondering, too. I was like, that literally makes it to where none of us have an alibi. I guess that the last time we saw Pandora was when we were talking and stuff, but uh, the announcement did make it seem like nobody had died yet, and like, it seemed like, you know... It's like she got killed after the music started playing, but I guess we'll see. The critical moment to consider is the time before the murder occurred, obviously. Obvi. If someone offered Pandora via acute opt Pandora via acute strangulation and made their getaway, it's not likely the culprit would have gotten far from then. And then Echo <laughs> Fuck you, Lyle. Supposedly. Allegedly discovered the body after they fuckling <laughs> Fuckling? Oh my god. I cannot speak again. Fuckling strangled her ass. I kind of like that word though. That's honestly, that's a good word though. It's a good word. If someone off Pandora, okay, it's supposedly, allegedly discovered the body. So the window of action narrowed down between 4 and 405. Does anyone care to share their newly updated whereabouts? <laughs> Fuck you, Lyle. Supposedly, you asshole. Where are we all were in approximate time around 4 p.m. leading up to the motivational music. <laughs> I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> Buckling. Buckling is a good word. That's gotta be added. <laughs> it sounds so good to say, honestly. Fuckling. It sounds so satisfying. If we follow through with Lyle's speculation, we might glean some information that will help us. Uh, after hanging out with Lyle, I went to the atrium. The music was blasting in there. Missy joins me in the theater after the music started. I thought Forte and I could go to the backstage and control the sound system, but our attempts were futile. I was in my room, still hiding under the covers. I told you, I was in the foyer leading up to the music. It was noisy, sure, but nothing I couldn't fucking deal with. You guys are psycho. I was in the jazz club. Oh, wait. Well, he said that he was hanging out. Um, I don't know. Is that a little suspicious? Him and Arts? Because Art and Lyle said they were hanging out. And then he said he went to the jazz room. I guess I might still kind of go. But uh, I guess we'll see. It might still add up. But yeah. I told Echo early as well. I was the one cli in the climbing center and saw no one suspicious. Saw no one suspicious. Dart past the open door. Like, say, I was in my room, too. Okay. Where we all were in the approximate time around 4 p.m. leading up to the motivational music. We followed through Lyle's speculation. We can glean some information that will help us. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to click on. I guess it doesn't really matter too much since, like, uh... It seems like, you know, um... Hmm. Doesn't seem like I really get any points deduct or anything. I was like, I don't know if I really see any huge inconsistencies besi besides um, possibly Art and Lyle. I guess we'll see. Did you run the atrium when the music started playing? I kind of feel like clicking on all of these honestly would just like help me <laughs> kind of understand it more. No, I was already around that area after hanging out with Lyle. Why would I go to a giant room that echoes to avoid that horrible music? Where are we all? Approximate time, leading. Do atrium blasting in there. I kind of wanna, wanna click on Lyle's. Fuck you, Lyle. Trying to say I supposedly found the body. Yeah, get him! Wait a minute, Lyle. I know for a fact that the jazz club is soundproof. Oh, that's right. When I attend. <laughs> I, like, did not even think of that at all. I just wanted to be a douche to Lyle. 
<laughs> I just wanted to be a dick. When I attempted to play the cello yesterday, you and Cyrus were just outside the jazz club in the hallway. Neither of you seemed to have any reaction when we came out shortly after. That means it's possible that Lyle is exempt from hearing the motivational music. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bessie. You just gave me an even better alibi. Shit, that's not what I meant to do. Hmm. I suppose you're onto something. I admit, I don't even know what the motivation music sounds like. <laughs> Homie was just talking about it. Just talking about the motivational music. Like, he heard it, and now all of a sudden, sudden he's saying he didn't even hear it. But, okay. But, but nothing. That's awfully an awfully precarious situation you put yourself in, Lyle. Sure, it's odd, but that's... What's stranger still is, how did Lyle know about the motivation? Everybody talking no, everybody saying so good. <laughs> no. Damn it. Guys, 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 guys. I am so tired of being bullied by my own chat. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. It's so hard. I'm being cyber bullied. I gotta report this to the cyber police. You might have the cyber police's number. I did not realize I said cello again. Guys, without me mispronouncing stuff, you would not have these bangers, like, fuckling. Just, just remember that. And please, without the E. Sure, it's odd, but what stranger is still- is still is how Lyle knew? Knows, knows about the motivational music if he never fucking heard it. The kiosk! <laughs> Raystar, please, chat, stop it! Bullies! Bullies! <laughs> remember they tra remember they translated sound to text, but this time I saw only a message. It said something like preserving the atmosphere of the room. Okay, discussion progress. <laughs> hum. Zero. What's up? You are the judge of this trial, but you're also the announcement operator outside these walls. I assume you can assist us with something clerical like this. Can you tell us what the kiosk message said in specific? Your current room is a special room that blocks all outside sound to preserve the atmosphere of the room. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. I'm surprised Lyle wouldn't want to, like, investigate outside of the, um, you know, outside of the room. The killing room. Not the killing. Refrigerator. Thank you, Marcy. He was just trash talking us, basically. <laughs> basically, I feel like he didn't even hear the music, and he was just like, "Yeah, the music was so awful. It just caused you guys a fucking murder." It's <laughs> like you didn't even hear it, homie. Thank you, Star Daniel. Solo, please. <laughs> bullies, bullies. All of you, bullies. All of you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick some uh, killing refrigerators on you guys. <laughs> I didn't write that, by the way. So you're saying we could have avoided the noise entirely. Isn't that too convenient? Wait a minute. In that case, what if Lyle is the one who killed Pandora? Ooh, what? Didn't I just say that it was the... <laughs> Bro, nobody believes any of your theories. Come on. <laughs> nobody believes your theories, homie. Didn't I just say that it was the music that would have provoked someone to kill her? I was in the jazz club. I didn't even hear the music. Therefore, I wouldn't have felt the motivation to move. No, you could have killed her in the jazz club and moved her body to the spa lounge. Oh, that would explain the lack of clues in the spa lounge. This is troublesome. Did any of us... <laughs> did he really... Wait, did they say solo again? <laughs> did they actually say it again? <laughs> did I just do it again? It really is the new skilling though, isn't it? Did any of us investigate the jazz club afterwards? I can't even tell. I just everybody's talking about solos in the chat. <laughs> Or cellos, my bad, <laughs> my bad. No, I was so shocked from seeing the body that I didn't even think about looking elsewhere. I think we were just as astonished as soon as we heard the body discovery chime. So please, Lyle counted on that fact and did in fact kill her in the jazz club. He doesn't have an alibi for a large portion of the afternoon anyways. Saying something like scouring the mansion for clues. What sussy behavior. He could have spent the whole day unsupervised, plotting the terrible thing that ended Pandora's life. Hey, haven't you heard the phrase extraordinary claims ex ex require extraordinary evidence? Roman, you just went on this fucking tangent about it being like a fake game, homie. <laughs> You're really gonna be like, where's your proof? Where's your proof that we're an ARG and that I allegedly found the body? 
Oh, man. Well, that's not out of the question. After all, the ultimate puzzle master could have set up something elaborate, so elaborate, that the answer to this murder puzzle goes right over our head. That can't be possible. I was in the climbing center, which is between the spa lounge and the jazz club. Okay. I thought they... I thought they... Oh, man. My... I wonder if there's a way... Is there a way to see... Uh, Okay, no. I was like, I don't know if there's actually a way to see the location of everything. I need to take a picture of the map, though, for uh, for the next stream. Because I was thinking for some reason it was climbing place, spa, then jazz club over here. But I don't know. If Lyle committed the crime of the jazz lounge, I would have been plain I would have been plainly witnessed the change of scene. You very well could have constructed that alibi to us. <laughs> These guys, dude. <laughs> These guys. Oh, man, dude. You very well could have instructed that alibi to assist Lyle in his dark activity. Why on God's earth would I lie about such a thing? <laughs> Settle down, you guys. Getting heated. Yelling at each other with hypotheticals isn't getting us anywhere. Agreed. It will, if it will quell Say and Forte's worries, let's tackle their initial theory and go from there. Like, why would Cyrus cover for... I guess they don't really maybe realize that there's no benefit <laughs> to, like... Being, um, being a, whatchamacallit, a, um, um, a partner in crime or whatever. Say and Forte are wrapped up in the possibility of Lyle killing Pandora in the jazz club. Is it worth discussing? I don't know. I don't really think so, honestly. I don't think he did it. I was just giving him a hard time because he was kind of coming on to me. Um, okay, wait, I just saved, actually, so I think I'm okay. Accomplice, that's the word I'm thinking of. Say, Forte, please calm down. There's no way Lyle could have killed her and then moved the body. What? That's because someone would have seen him do that. Yes, I would have seen Lyle move the body if that were the case. But you're obviously working together. Everybody thinks it's Lyle and Art that are the boyfriends. But I know it's Cyrus and Lyle. But remember... Okay, so that's the... That's the... Uh, the climbing center's in the middle? Man, I really was born stupid because I forgot about this whole setup. I'm just gonna take a picture so I can remember for later. <laughs> but remember, the climbing center's doors. I had the climbing center's doors open. The climbing center is located between the spa lounge and the jazz club. By the recorded time of killing, the music would have been playing. And by then, I was no longer climbing. Not with that din distracting me. All right, perhaps I accept your admission of truth. Seeing as the plausibility of Lyle moving the body is unfounded, where do we stand now? Oh my stars, you're all sad. <laughs> you're all so fucking bad at this. What? I'll tell you all for certain that nothing happened in the jazz club. I guess I'll just give you guys hints at this point. Huh? And I'm telling you this because you are... <laughs> Looking Zero is just roasting our asses, dude. <laughs> we really are all Aroha Kinnies in this trial right now. And I'm telling you this because you're all just fucking awful with this whole trial thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, I guess this is what happens when there's no ultimate detective around, huh? God, what? We need Kiri Gearing here. Or Saihara, come on. And your ultimate photographer is so quiet. She's all but dropped dead at this point. Taking a nap in the corner. Ugh, if she did drop dead, you'd have to go through another trial. And I don't think I have the patience to watch you fucking run in circles at this rate. Uh, uh snooze. <laughs> snooze, snooze. Taking a nap. Alright, since this is clearly going nowhere, allow me to throw you a bone. There's something strange about that note in the spa pool, don't you think? Ah, uh, ooh, ah, we all totally forgot about that. Ah, Lyle very conveniently managed to redirect the conversation from the piece of evidence on the scene, you sussy baka. Ah, I'll let you all think for yourselves. Thinking, oh yeah, thinking time. Wasn't that what Kanida, Kamida did? I think it was like in the fourth trial. I always loved that stupid line. The note. The note must have something to do with Pandora's murder. But what? Uh, uh, I'm certain Art and Lyle know something about it since Lyle brought it up with us. But hello. What's with all? What's with all the dead air? Don't want to talk anymore. You don't want everyone to die without giving the trial the best shot, do you? I love how Zero is like literally helping us. He's like, guys, I really, really don't want this game to end after one trial. Come on, come on. I'll help you guys. I'll help you besties. Just this one time, the culprit's like, come on, fuck off, Zero. I'm trying to get out of here alive. Like, are any of you even trying to save yourselves? Maybe I should stop giving these opportunities. 
uh, 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 uh. The courtroom fell silent. It seems we all neglected the gravity of the situation. Or rather, we were avoiding it, Delulu Eras, all of you. It's just nothing felt real. Pandora's death, her body hardly showing any signs of injury. I'm ready for Cannon. I feel like Cannon is getting so close to just pop and lock on us and tell us everything that's gone down. I thought, I thought it was gonna be Lyle, but he just, <laughs> I don't know what the hell he was talking about. He had like some weed brownies or something before the trial started. <laughs> but I'm ready, I'm ready for Cannon. My last hope, my last hope to, to help us out in the trial and save our asses. Thank you, Spanish Fly 120. Zero is just the number of brain cells per <laughs> I'm dead, dude. I'm dead, dude. For Echo 2, every time I hear their name, I'm just gonna think of, like, their head is so empty. That's why they're called Echo, because there's an Echo. Because <laughs> when you knock, there's an Echo that you hear. Oh, man. It was like she was asleep. It's as if we all wanted to forget the reality of the topic at hand, which was that somebody had killed our friend. Thank you, uh, Lightboy, for the dono, by the way. We kept dodging and darting around the main issue. Yes, as painful as it, as it is, we must discuss the murder. It may be hopeless at the moment, since we don't have much, much information to go work with, but clues will reveal themselves as we bring about certain topics to like. So don't hold your tongue. We must do this to save ourselves. Okay, Missy's trying to, trying to lead the trial. Here we go. Then I'll start with her cause of death. From there, it'll probably be easier to reason out potential culprits. Trial one. Oh, what Ashley the? Oh my god. <laughs> I did not mean to press that. <laughs> did you guys hear that voice? I was like, oh my god. It scared the shit out of me, man. I was thinking I pressed the, uh, I guess like the voice reading. <laughs> Where like the Microsoft Sam reads the, the text. According to the Monokuma file, it was strangulation. Can we identify what she was strangled with? We ought to touch upon possibilities. It may be difficult to think about, but no one said such a fight would be easy. Discussion commence. Okay. Just what was Pandora strangled with? Is there something we're missing? Do, 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 do. I was thinking it might have been rope from the climbing center. I don't know, I kind of think that too, but I don't know, then I'm not really sure. Cause I don't know if I really think Cyrus did it anymore since he's like our alibi for Lyle not doing it. And it kind of destroys that whole purpose if uh, you know, that was it. It's horrifying to think about, but perhaps the culprits use their own hands. Let us narrow down our thoughts and eliminate things that would be unlikely. I also ought to think that about what in the spa lounge. We also ought to think about what in the spa lounge could be used. Oh, huh. Like a, uh, hmm, the towels or something? Maybe, I don't know. Just what was Pandora strangled with? Is there something we're missing? I'm not totally sure though. I'm still gonna do this one just in case. No, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you got it wrong. Ropes seem like a common enough tool in things like this. Yeah, but. But Cyrus said he didn't see anyone near yeah, the climbing center. And I don't recall seeing any rope left in the spa lounge. The culprit could have retrieved it far in advance and disposed of it after the fact, though. It's not like we investigated any other rooms. I guess, but why not dispose of the suspicious note as well? It was left in such a conspicuous place. Isn't that strange? I mean, I do feel like the note's a lot less, uh, you know, damning than the rope than rope would be if they did use that. Oh, hum. Well, as long as we're able to eliminate options, it'll get us closer to the truth, right? Okay. Echo's like, you want to say that joke anymore, Weeby, about my head being empty? When you're the true ultimate empty head. The true ultimate Echo, Echo brain. <laughs> Yay. What in the spa lounge could be used? If we consider the following. The climbing center and jazz club were occupied by one person each. Neither of the occupants saw anyone else during their stay. Uh, and the killing occurred soon after the 4 p.m. music. So it's likely the culprit could have only used whatever was available on location. What if anything could be used? Think. Think, Echo, think! What is the murder weapon? Oh. Oh. Is it her hair strands, maybe? Interesting. Oh. Oh, no towel. <laughs> it is a towel. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> could it be? Echo, are you onto something? Uh, I, I think, I think so. <laughs> I recall seeing something that might answer our question. Consent! Yay! Discussion! Progress! Haven't rebuttaled any points, I don't think, yet. I believe the culprit may have used a towel to strangle her. It's an unassuming object, isn't it? I can't tell. I can't remember if I was consent or uh, objecting against Lyles. 
Of course, there are going to be towels in the spa lounge. Oh, thank you, big chunk of Bridget. Has Echo always looked this small? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we just don't see them on screen enough. Oh, I just noticed they have their little emblem, too, on their shirt. Nice. I really just, yeah, we don't see them on screen enough, but they, they are very small. <laughs> small. Very, very small. Uh, I think they're like 5'2", is what people said in the chat. So the culprit took advantage of the location and utilized the tools available. The tool being the very towel she was resting her head on. They must have strangled her by wrapping the towel around her neck and pulling until she stopped struggling. Until she stopped struggling and breathing all together. It would explain the lack of fingernails dug in, as well explain why I didn't see anyone near the climbing center in the event the rope was used. Okay, so the fingernails was, I guess, what was gonna uh, retort the other idea. It might just be conjecture, but it's the best thing we have so far. But there's something bothering me. If I may, what I don't get is, why was Pandora seemingly so relaxed in the spa? She was reclined, and there weren't any signs of a struggle in the room. That's what I was wondering, too. It was like, it seemed like she went out so peacefully. There must have been the obnoxious music playing in the spa, too, so I doubt she would have stayed. That's strange indeed. I certainly couldn't concentrate on climbing grips once it started. That music was so annoying. I didn't know it was playing until I was outside. More importantly, Echo, did you bonk your head or something? The so Oh. The spa lounge is soundproof! Huh? Well, I guess that makes sense since I threw the door open upon entering. Hang on, what? This lounge is spa-proof? Whoops, was that not common knowledge? I was trying to remember too, I was like... I think the music might have gone out by the time we like entered the spa, but I just kind of thought it was like, um... Whatchamacallit? You know, just the game. <laughs> just for the atmosphere, you know what I mean? But okay, that, that makes sense. Oh, she literally just could have been taking a nap in there then, and then they decided to do it while she was taking a nap. Could that be it? Huh, interesting. Hold it, explain yourself. Does that have relevance to the trial? If the spa lounge is soundproof, and the motivational music was playing throughout the rest of the mansion. Did I say spa proof? Did I say spa proof? <laughs> guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Oh my god. <laughs> Did I actually say that? No guys, I'm just gonna just gonna gaslight myself. It was probably Zero who said that, right? <laughs> it was probably <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this! I don't know why whoever was in the spa lounge with Pandora must have been able to been aware of the music. God, it's so crazy that it was spa proof. It's crazy. It's so fucking crazy when a spa is spa proof. That really does. Uh, <laughs> that really does. That really, that really does make it suspicious. You know what I mean? Zero, I noticed your kiosk message. You didn't specify which room was soundproof. It simply said your current room is a special room. Is that correct? I didn't say- I just- I said I didn't write that! But, uh, yes, I guess it- I did say that, didn't I? Ugh, fine. Yes, all second floor rooms are soundproof. Happy. Oh, all- all second room flo- Cyrus? Homie? Didn't you say that there was music playing in your room, homie? Didn't you say that? Didn't you say that? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like he said that. He literally said it several times. All second floor rooms? In that case, wouldn't Pandora have been completely relaxed and unaware of the motivational music when it started at 4 p.m.? It was in the hallway though, right? Wait, that's right. Well, not the atrium, but it's more of a giant hall than a room. No closed doors or anything, you know? I wasn't aware. I left the climbing center door open during my fucking sussy baka, dude. I guess he had the door open, but still, it just, you know. I guess, I guess the music came from it, from the door. I'll let you off this one time. This one time, Cyrus. Okay, thank you, big chunk of Bridget. Echo is 5'2", Makoto is 5'3". Echo even smaller than the baby Makoto. <laughs> oh, really? That's cute, actually. What's with all the, uh, small protagonists? I wasn't aware. I left the climbing center's doors open during my stay. So it's not just the jazz club. We probably assume the jazz club alone was soundproof because people perform in there. Now it has been revealed that Pandora was willing in the spa lounge, willingly in the spa lounge, relaxed and completely unaware of the music, presumably far before it started playing in the first place. 
And even when it did begin, we would have been undisturbed by it due to the soundproof quality of the spa lounge. Just a minute. That means the motivational music has nothing to do with provoking someone to kill her. What? Yeah. Echo, you have an idea of what provoked the person, it's don't you? I... You've had this look- oh god, oh god. You've had this look on your face since this afternoon. It's the note, isn't it? I don't know why Echo has not been saying anything about the note. You've seen it before. In fact, you saw it- You saw it before I brought it up with you and Art. I feel like Lyle's so smart sometimes, but then so not smart other times. Finally, talking about the note! Jesus Christ, how long did it take us to get here? Um... Yes, I've seen it before. Ah! Pandora herself showed it to me last night. P Pandora? But how did she see it? Lyle said it was the announcement's special gift from this morning. Oh, I lied about that. There was no special gift. Uh, and I just such a stinker. If someone did show up, I was gonna call them a chump. <laughs> oh my god! Chump personally. But nobody did! I'm actually also perplexed as to where that came from. Uh oh. Although maybe I shouldn't complain, the note has made things very interesting. Okay. So that mean there's just one note then? That does kind of make me think that it was, um, say maybe who did it since she was seen with the note again later. You know what I mean? If there's only one note, then she would have gotten it from Pandora. But then, well, nah, I don't fucking know. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Because then it's like, why? Well, I was thinking she would have killed Pandora and then, like, took the note with her, but it was dropped in the pool. So, like, I don't think my theory makes as much sense. But we'll see. We'll see. It definitely still makes her su sussy. Oh! What is this note you're all talking about? Remember that scrap of paper we saw in the spa pool? Yeah, it was soaked beyond legibility. That's the note we're talking about. Namely, a note to be kept in secrecy. Yeah, yeah. We'll see the little bug guy thing on there. I remember it said, if you recognize one of the symbols depicted, then you have finally found me and are safe. <laughs> it's so funny that Pandora got that note. <laughs> she was really safe after that note, man. <laughs> they, that note really protected her. Please do not speak of this note's existence. Trust no one but yourself. It had two emblems on it, and as the note re-references, and I saw one of those symbols on that shred of wet paper in the spa lounge. Pandora was in possession of such a dangerous, suspicious thing. The culprit must have saw that she had the note on hand and threw it in the pool to soak and destroy it. They were probably afraid of the ramifications of protecting the recipient and what effect it could have on the rest of us in the killing game. They probably thought that whoever is in possession of the note must be linked to the game itself. Oh, oh no, it's like a Kaede situation then. Then wouldn't the culprit be one of the few who knew <laughs> Guys, don't look at me. Stop. Stop looking at me like that, Cyrus. It wasn't me, okay? I had a feeling this is gonna make Echo hella sussy, though. Few who knew of the note's existence? That's right. She reacted when Zero first mentioned it. Say. You reacted when Zero mentioned the note earlier. Have you seen the note before? Okay, she reacted too. I... I I've never seen it! <laughs> I see, fucking liar. Um, but how could that be? Lyle said he saw Sei go to the pantry, and after she left, he saw the note. Before this trial, the only one who could have seen it were Say, Lyle, Echo, and me, right? If the atrium special gift was a lie, then what's the secret note being in the pantry earlier this afternoon? Okay, yeah, yeah, she put it in the pantry. That, that's what it was? Or maybe, okay, wait, 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 wait. Where's this note going? Where'd it come from, and where is it going? Stay in the pantry and left, saw the note. Before the trial, only ones who could have seen the note were them. The atrium special gift was a lie. Then what's with the secret note being in the pantry early this afternoon? Okay. I'm just gonna read. She just left it there. And then why is there a similar note in the spa's pool? So strange, dude. Who wrote these notes in the first place? She couldn't have left it out of her possession if it's supposedly a note to be kept in secrecy. Wait a minute. Then there are there two notes. But we still don't know where those notes came from in the first place. Ah! None of these random details are making sense! I am also having a hard time sorting out relevant information. Indeed, it's definitely 
becoming difficult to define what is truth, what happened when, and why things are as they are. It's hard too, because I feel like this whole trial is just like, based off of what people have seen, so it's just kind of relying on people's like, uh, accounts, which I guess like you could still narrow down a culprit too, but if you're untrusting like me, it's just, it's hard. Can't we try and lay down a timeline of events that could clear our heads and straighten things out, if anything? Timeline of events. Yes, I think that could help. I noticed a handful of discrepancies that could use clearing up. Perhaps I ought to take the events back to last night when Pandora showed me the secret note. The notes seem to be the biggest complication. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it was 9 p.m. because that stupid announcement went off and scared the shit out of me. Pandora pulled me aside to show me the secret note. Dad, where, wait, was it 9 p.m.? Am I delu- or maybe I'm thinking of 9 a.m. I think it was 9... Guys, if I get it wrong, then I can't help that I was born stupid, okay? Leave me alone if that's the case. Maybe it's 10 p.m. Is it 10 p.m. actually? I think it's 10 p.m. That's it, okay, cool. I think I just got confused with 9 a.m. Yes, it was 10 p.m. I remember the lights started to dim during our conversation, indicating the start of nighttime. The following morning, which was earlier today, we can assume Pandora must have been up earlier than everyone else and began preparing breakfast for us. A small group of us had breakfast and conversed about the forest mode of question, which rang at nine. That's right. I like the little head shake. <laughs> it's so cute. The forest mode of question announcement rang in at 9 a.m. We briefly touched on the topic, but ultimately didn't feel any motivation to conduct any sort of killing. Likely to be char cha chagrin? Likely to the cha tra chagrin? Cha chad? Chad? Chadgrin? Ch chagrin? Ch oh, chagrin, is that it? Likely to the chagrin of the announcer, I can already feel myself getting bullied. Afterwards, I had planned to go back to my room, but Art stopped me and went around asking the other students about the question. On the meat bag. <laughs> We're occupied with asking around until... I think I... I remember the thing went off at like 4. I think it's probably 4, right? Oh no. Shh, <laughs> That can't be right. The motivation... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think it was... Was it three then? I think it was three, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I just, the thing went off at four, you know what I mean? But just before three, Art and I ran to Lyle as he was going to his room. We talked to him a little bit about the question, but he had a little, but he had little to say about the matter. The Chad grin. <laughs> that's the Chad grin, you guys all fucking know it. During our conversation, he brought our attention to the secret note, the same secret note Pandora had the night before. Okay, Lyle claimed that someone had left the note in the pantry, right? Yeah, not Pandora's room. That's right. I did your little head shake, though. That was so cute. And the person who was last in the pantry before him was... Did it say? Or Pandora? Me. <laughs> I can't remember. Chad Grin is also added to the dictionary. I'm dead. I'm dead. Was it? Pandora? Sure. Okay, never mind. Say then. That's it. Lyle claimed he saw Say scurry from the second floor atrium to the pantry and back out again. After Lyle showed us the disarmed door and the secret note, Art and Lyle went off on their own and I went to the study at 3 p.m. While I was in the study, another announcement rang and started playing some sort of jarring motivational music that once again attempted to start the killing. Okay, the music began at 4 p.m. <laughs> I don't know why I love the little head shake. <laughs> it's so cute. I think you, okay? That's great. I like to imagine everybody else is standing and watching, like, as Echo silently tries to remember what time everything happened. <laughs> I'm dead. They probably are. It's like the new, just like the Danganronpa standing <laughs> all around the table. That's right. I recall the announcement saying the time around the study in a panic, trying to find any of the other students. From the atrium, I saw a shadowy figure at the top of the stairs. I followed them, but lost track of them. Which you have still not told anybody, anybody in this group. <laughs> Which instead led me to discover Pandora's body. Da, 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 da. You wanna, you wanna mention the the creepy, the the gray dude you saw <laughs> running around? If only I was able to keep up with the shadow figure. Perhaps this trial would have been over sooner. But it's strange. I couldn't seem to. I couldn't seem to add anything up despite how much we knew. Or rather, perhaps there was some other unforeseen force factored in that contributed to Pandora getting killed. There had to be something, something missing. 
I felt an uneasy anticipation tugging at me. Something willing me to continue the pursuit of whatever force caused this mess. I had to try. Uncovering the truth was more difficult than I thought. But, Pan but Pandora would tell me to not give up. And she would say, yeehaw. I had to try to narrow down where this strange factor's weak point was. I thought about the scenario from the starting point of when the note was revealed. Since it was a topic of contention. Perhaps I had to think backwards from Pandora's death to see if there were any holes. Pandora was killed in the spa lounge. True. I think so, right? Yes, there weren't any signs of her body being moved. Before she was killed, what was Pandora's speculated state in the spa lounge? Relaxed! Do, 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 do. Ah, I like this. We're able to assume that she was relaxed in the spa lounge. Because the spa... We're... Why don't they have spa proof as an answer? This is so cheap. This is so cheap of them, dude. Okay, soundproof. <laughs> Even though it was spa proof and we all know it, Echo, stop gaslighting us. We learned that the spa lounge was spa proof qualities. If Pandora was in there with the door closed, she would likely have not been disturbed. Wait a minute. When I first entered the spa lounge, I was initially under the impression that there was more motivational music playing within. Little did I know, it was only playing because I had thrown the door open, ruining the soundproof quality of the room. I guess, yeah, it's just so loud that uh, you hear it. I guess, okay, fine. I will I will leave, relieve um, Cyrus of his suspicion. However, someone noted that they were unaware of the music until they moved from one area to the next. The fact is, the climbing center and the jazz club were already occupied, and neither Cyrus nor Lyle claimed they were with company. This person could have left the only remaining room that shared the soundproof quality of the other two. Wait, let me look at the map that I took a picture of. Why was Pandora seemingly so relaxed in the spa? She was reclined and there weren't any signs of a struggle in the whole room. There must have been the obnoxious music playing in the spa too, so I doubt she would have stayed. That's strange indeed. I certainly couldn't concentrate on the climbing groups once it started. The music was so annoying, I didn't know it was playing until I was outside. More importantly, Echo, did you bonk your head? <laughs> when are we gonna talk about the shadowy figure, Echo? Dude, Zero, me and Zero, we're on the same leg like wavelength. We have like we we're one and the same. Zero's got my back. The spa lounge is soundproof. There it is. Who was behind the spa lounge? And motivational discrepancy. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go. Forte, best boy, always. See you, weebs. Oh, thank you, Marcy, for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you. Hope you have a good rest of your day, too. I'm trying... Ugh, man, okay, let me, uh... I don't know, I think Say is the most suspicious, but... I don't know exactly why. <laughs> I feel like sometimes the Danganronpa, it's like that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I think she's the most suspicious, but I don't know why. Oh my god, it was art. I don't... God, if it's art, I'm gonna cry, honestly. I would literally cry if it was art. They're behind. The spa lounge the motivational music discrepancy. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna say it's psycho now. Okay, J JK. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. Okay, let me. Let me Or wait, who's the other choices? Art, Cyrus, Lyle, Zero. Oh wait, Zero, right? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If that's the question they're asking, then it should be Zero, right? Zero himself is the one who brought up the fact that the... <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot make fun of Echo anymore. <laughs> okay, who's behind the spa lounge motivational discrepancy? He didn't say anything about the music. I think it's honestly me just not wanting it to be Art or Lyle because I love them. Uh, why was Pandora seemingly so relaxed? Okay. When the spa was in there, Pandora was in there, they were like, do not be disturbed. Chris the spa lounge, in addition to an impression, there was more motivational play than I know. I was playing the room that opened. Da, da, da. However, someone noted that they were unaware of the music until they moved from one area to the other. Was it. Was it art, maybe? <laughs> was, it, was that it? <laughs> no clue. God damn it! <laughs> I swear to God, dude. 
I swear to God. If I'm making a remark of the change between locations, the culprit could have only been in the spa lounge before the motivational music. By that logic, the culprit must have shared the room with the victim. God damn it! Why, God? R must have been in the. No! Echo, you. Oh my god. Echo, I will not be gaslit into believing this. I will not. I will not take. <laughs> dude, why do you have to be like one of my favorites, dude? No, I, I refuse to believe this. We're gonna keep playing and they're gonna say it's say or something, right? Right, Echo, right, right, bestie, right. Echo, I was just kidding when I called you stupid. I was just kidding, so please, please change this. Everyone, I think I have the full push. No, no, you don't. You just don't. You don't get it. Was that with you? What it was with you? You were totally spaced out for a second. Be quiet, you. Oh, yes, ma'am. Echo was there. Was there something we were missing? Yeah, I think something might have slipped. I think I literally just did not want to believe that it was art. So I just like didn't even. I like literally did not even pay attention to his like to his like choice. I was like, mm -hmm, no way. I'm just gonna keep scrolling. I'm just gonna keep scrolling. I'm not gonna even. I'm gonna acknowledge that one. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Epta. Weeby, guys. I think Weeby's game is broken. This ain't real. God, I hope so. I fucking hope so, dude. That's what I'm. That's what I'm believing right now. It's there's gonna be a twist. There's gonna be a twist. Okay. Yeah, I think something might have slipped right under us. We've been. <laughs> Why would he? He's like the sweetest character ever, dude. We've been looking at this under the guise that the motivational music had everything to do with the murder. However, there is a discrepancy in the thinking. Pandora was never exposed to it, yet she wound up the victim, a victim to the effects of it. As we discussed and discovered, all second floor rooms are soundproof from outside noise when the door is closed. It's like I remembered him mentioning it. I just, I just did not want to believe it, dude. Case in point, Cyrus leaving the climbing center door is open and Lyle undisturbed in the jazz club. Oh my god. Thank you, Clover Wizard. Remember the beginning of the last stream you told Art? <laughs> I would I would never. I, where are the receipts, Clover? I would never. I... That does not sound like, that does not sound like me. I thought he was safe, he was cute, he was just a little hat gay. He was just a little hat gay, what was, what was he gonna do? Gonna slay somebody? God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, thank you for the dono, Clover. Oh, Adorampas, thank you, I really hate it here. I know, right? God damn it, did I give him his, damn, why is this always? Okay, whatever, I'll take the execution for him, you hear that, Zero? <laughs> whatever, I'll just... You said hat guy is slaying first. God damn it. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? Why does this why is this Lakers keep happening? But I noticed someone said something strange. They mentioned they weren't aware of the music either. That is until they exited a presumably soundproof room. Neither Cyrus nor Lyle ever encountered anyone during their stay. So by process of elimination, Echo, can you just like can you just do me the solid Echo? Can you just like do me a solid and like cover for him, okay? Like, like, let the hat guy live, okay? Like, it's kind of homophobic, Echo, to expose his crime, you know, when he's a hat gay. Come on, come on, you know, you know, <laughs> you got, just just cover for him. It's 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 fine, it's fine. I won't tell I won't tell anybody. You, come on, you can you can just you can cover up. So by process elimination, the only room this person could have exited would be the spa lounge. I don't know if anyone else picked up on it, but I think I know who the. <laughs> God dang it, Lyle's gonna go even more to Lululand with his ARG bullshit after this. Oh my god. Art, did you kill Pandora? Art! What? Not the best boy? Hang on. That, that can't be- I really thought it was Say who did it. Please yield. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like the choice of words. Please yield. So, so epic, Missy. Oh, thank you, Bree. I think it's- I still think it's Echo. They're gaslight- <laughs> So true, bestie. I think when, like, Echo saw the shadow, it was really them. Like, they saw- they saw their own shadow. They were like... I don't know how to make that make sense, but that- that's what happened, okay? That's what happened. <laughs> Thank you, Bree, for the dono. This thought of yours is awfully bold for you to point the finger at someone so conclusively. Uh, oh my god, pop off, Missy, girl boss slay. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, serve, serve. So I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't say anything, Missy. I didn't say, it, girl, don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen to me. I'm the Lulu. Well, it's only a shred of an idea, but it's the only piece that fits. If we put the timeline together, beginning from when Art and I separated at 3 p.m., it's not unreasonable to assume that this crime was conducted during a smaller window. After Art and Lyle separated and before the motivational music, it's been stated several times that- what? Oh no! 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 no. What? You're all just going to listen to that- that tiny- I thought it was calling me tiny for a second. Tiny impossible statement? Art, say something. Don't let them tell you what's what. It's nonsense. Don't worry, this whole game is fiction anyways, Lyle. I'm with you, bestie. I was making fun of you, but now I'm with you, homie. In fact, he was with me- Oh my- Oh my god, are you gonna lie? Are you gonna lie for him right now? Am I gonna cry? In fact, he was with me in the jazz club until 4 p.m. Yeah, isn't that right? Lyle, you must know that we are beyond the veil of smoke and mirror. <laughs> He's really covering for him. Oh man. Lyle, you must know that we are beyond the veil of smoke and mirrors at this point. What are you implying? It's far too late for you to defend him. If you two were together, it would have been mentioned ages ago i know i know but that's so sweet that he tried to lie for him man thank you Epta. echo watch out lyle is coming for i know right he really is dude he really is thanks for the dono thank you fallen redditor you want to kill six gays to save one gay <laughs> seems off hey, hey 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 but but art has a hat okay so i think we should say <laughs> but he's so cute but he's such a little cutie and see lyle agrees with me Lyle's on my side right now. <laughs> that shadow I saw at the top of the stairs. It must have been Art, fleeing the spa lounge towards the atrium. He must not have known that there was distressing music playing outside the spa. Otherwise, he wouldn't have lit slip that he noticed a shift in music when leaving the spa after the fact. Ugh. Lyle, please, think about the events in your head. As much as I hate to admit it, there's only one answer I can think of. Even though this is all speculative, they want nothing nothing more than not to believe it. This is the only ammunition we have. Oh, man. Thank you, Sean. We be as loud confirmed. As I should be. As I should be. Thank you for the dono, by the way. Art, we're friends. We're your friends, aren't we? No, Art, no. Say you didn't do it. Come on. Please, if we're wrong, just tell us we're wrong. If it's all untrue, we can put this debacle behind us. Echo. No, Art, come on. They're lying. They're gaslighting, right? Do you? Remember what I told you when you asked me about the forced motive question? Oh. Um, yeah. I recall you said you liked playing golf, but... Do you have... But you haven't expanded your interests outside of golfing. Yeah. It's because they would never let me. Oh, like his parents or something? Oh, no, here we go, the trauma dump. Okay, here we go. It was a terrible existence, being the ultimate golfer for them. Oh, my God, Art, pop. Oh, God, pop off, King. He knows the best way to get the sympathy is to do the trauma dump. That way, that way. <laughs> that way they feel too bad, and they just vote wrong on purpose to save him. Pop off. That's so true. That's what we should do, right? Aw. The day I stand around in the sun, listening to the jerks pitch false interests and crummy business ideas to each other. I'm not playing golf. I'm just there to look good while the suits are off playing corporate deception and back scratching. They made me hate golf. Uh, that makes sense. It's kind of interesting, too, because, um, you know, Echo's so, like, wanting... Echo wants, like, a talent so bad, but uh, we've already seen with, like, um, Ashley. She obviously has something, like, where she doesn't want to... Uh, I don't know. She doesn't really like her talent, and Art definitely doesn't like his talent that mode of question it made me think about what i was doing i wasn't having fun anymore you know even though i'm great at it i'm the ultimate golfer even if that's the case i didn't feel like me anymore it's weird i've had more fun here hanging out with everyone not indulging my talent even though it's the thing that landed me in here in the first place he was really convincing though in the uh in the uh with the conversation earlier and hey i was right rich people like golf oh my god i told you guys I kept thinking about that. I kept thinking about the FMQ, about how I hate this part of me that blessed me with an opportunity to hang out with all of you fun people. Before I knew it, I wandered to the spa lounge for some peace and quiet. I thought no one was in there, but Pandora was. There, quiet as a mouse. I didn't even notice her until I sat right next to her. 
She was so nice. And then you walked out of the room and didn't do anything else, right? I vote for Weeby. I, I second that. You guys can vote me out. I disrespected Pandora, you know? So I think I'm the one who should be voted out anyways. Good afternoon, Art. Care to join me? Oh, man. Uh, I, uh, sure thing. Are you alright? I didn't scare you, did I? Oh, no. I just, uh, I didn't notice you when I came in. You know how it is. Head is somewhere else and all. You know, head empty. You know how it is. I see. Um. Aw. Art, may I ask you something? What's up? I believe I heard about you influencing a merger between yours and Lyle's school, am I correct? Yeah, that was a while ago. I guess that was kind of a hint, too, of his ties with, like, business people. Because, uh, you know, it seemed like to be, like, such a big deal, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was a while ago. That's such an amazing accomplishment. I wish I could only wish to achieve something half as grand as that. Oh, it's nothing. I hardly remember it. I know, I feel like this is gonna be like a Chihiro Mondo situation though, honestly. Something like that. Like, she's gonna say something that's gonna trigger him. <sighs> if, if you insist, there's nothing to sneeze at either. I'm sure the students of both schools have benefited greatly from the feat. Yeah, probably, but I wouldn't know. I only went to school for a year before I was pulled out to focus on golfing. I have a private tutor to cover the difference. Oh, thank you, Isley Rage. Dude, who wants to go to Lulu, to Lulu Land with me? Oh my god, me. Same here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Honestly, me. Thank you for the uh, donation, by the way. Yeah, yeah, probably, but I wouldn't know. I only went to school for a year before I was pulled out to focus on golfing. I have a private tutor to cover the difference. Jesus. Oh, that's quite a generous offer. I hope you can use your talents and position to help more people. Can't even go to school to make friends, dude. I don't know if it's that big of a deal. I have faith in you, Art. In fact, I believe all of us have the ability to induce beneficial change like that if we're given the opportunity. Ultimate students, we have the power of passion and influence in our hands, just like them. Them? <laughs> I hope we all use it for good of the future. I know we will. Uh. Hmm. Yes, at last. I finally found them. I didn't know what to say. Power of passion, influencing change, isn't as rosy as she talks it up to be. The only thing that my talent ever got me was trapped. I used golf all the time with my grandfather before he passed away. After that, I was taken in by some company who would take care of me, three square meals, and a comfortable place to live. I always played perfect games. Perfect, but boring. Oh yeah, he did mention that. We mentioned people watching would think it was boring, but he actually found it boring himself. Day in, day out, it was the same thing. I thought I was there to show my skill, but every game was just an outside business conference. Uh, eventually, I honed my skills enough to hit a hole in one no matter what. I played short games no one would ever care to watch. But I ace it, and they love it. I whiff it, and they eat it up. At that point, they didn't care what I did. Using my talent for a good of the future? What about my future? I don't want to stay with that group for the rest of my life. I feel bad for Art. I wonder, like, was his grandpa the only person he had in his life, you know, to look after him? Is that why he just got, like, picked up by those business suits? Like, uh, what about his parents? I guess his parents could have just sold him off, but yeah. I thought escaping to the preservation project would finally free me from that imprisonment. But everything's all messed up. When Pandora closed her eyes, I felt a burning... She said she'd found them. Who is she talking about? It was obvious, right? I didn't know what to say. I just took the note she had and threw it in the pool. I wanted to go away. Then. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Then everything happened in slow motion. It was like my body had moved on its own. My head was ringing. My hats narrowed onto the towel and her sh- on her- Oh god, Art! Why? Why, Art? Why did you play homie? Why? You were just such a good little kid. Come on. God dang it. Everything was red. It was like there was fire in my head. When I heard her gap. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> oh my god. He's just such a sweetheart. I never expected him to do this. But I guess it makes sense that like, uh, he just uses like the upbeat personality to cope with like, uh, his issues. And he has a, like, dark side of him that I guess he's been, like, repressing for so long. It was like there was a fire in my eyes. When I heard her gasp, my arms were tense, and eventually... Eventually... <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm thinking about all the times he could have just stopped. 
You know what I mean? He could have just stopped. Stop doing it, you know? God damn it. It just seems like it's such a... I'm sorry. I'm so... Fix it! It doesn't fix it! It doesn't fix it, Art. But I still love you. I still love you. I still love you! I don't know. You never expect the himbo to be the one... Be the one to do the killing. You know what I mean? Man, I feel bad for him and his circumstances. But God, I just feel like suffoc like strangling somebody... Like, that would take a while for them to die, wouldn't it? Like, a decent amount of time. Like, I guess he was just in, like, the red zone with it. But, like, I don't know. I just think... <sighs> ah, it's just, like, I would want to think that, like, once he sees her dying, he'd be like, hey, maybe... Maybe I should cut it out. Maybe I should just, like, stop. I'm sorry. I forgive him. <laughs> I forgive him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lyle. I was trying to have fun with you earlier. What? My good-for-nothing talent made me despise golf. I've never had fun with it since people discovered they could use me for their business deals. Running around with you, figuring out a big puzzle was the most genuine fun I'd had in a while. Aw, thanks, Lyle. What the? No way. No way. This isn't real. You're just part of the fake. Oh, like I said, he's going to go wait. He was already to Lulu, dude. Already. No, he's completely... Oh my god. You're just part of the fake game, right? You didn't kill anyone. That is so true, Lyle. Just stay in Delulu land. I think it's okay. I think it's okay if you want to stay there. I'm sorry for making fun of you. I want to join you there. I want to join you there. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Red PR. The text was wiggling when he said, eventually. I know, it kind of freaked me out. I guess it was kind of like... Uh, I don't know. I liked, I liked how they did that. Added to the, added to the atmosphere. But uh, thanks for the donation. Appreciate you. You're an actor. Uh... Oh, no! <laughs> tell me you're an actor and the whole story was fake. Art, tell me this isn't real. Oh, no. He's so sad. Uh... It was miserable. Like all of us. Lyle was struggling to come to terms with the fact that Art, of all people, Lyle... Oh no! Is this the truth? I know, it's like I do not want to see him get executed, dude. I do not. I literally did not suspect him at all. Until like right when I clicked on the, the truth bullet. Man, I really am Delulu. We have a shred of evidence to go with a confession. I don't know if I can point out a cold... I don't know if I can point out a culprit based on such little proof. Missy, you want to keep discussing? Even after this piteous, piteous confession? I'm able to have my doubts, am I not? I can't accept it. And I'm sure the rest of you are also having trouble just the same. Doubting is the only thing keeping me from fully realizing the weight of a lofty, impossible to swallow truth. If I can doubt, I can still cling to the possibility of art, not committing such a horrible crime. Missy, you're deluding yourself with a false hope. Just like the unforgettable, unfor unfortunately misguided Lyle. Such thinking is uns unsustainable. Oh man, dude. There is no need for doubt. Oh, Cannon. Oh gosh, you finally got a girl boss on us. Please, Cannon, I need you to girl boss on us. This trial is too depressing. Cannon? Oh, shit. I have definitive proof. Oh, gosh. Even she did not want to, like... Oh, my God. Even she didn't want to, like, believe it. I guess that's why she wasn't. <gasps> oh, of course. The pictures. Oh, I wonder if she wasn't talking, though. She wouldn't believe it either. Cannon was small, but it was unmistakable. Art was seated in the base of the atrium centerpiece globe with his head in his hands. The photo looked to be shot from the second floor entryway. That means the shadowy figure I saw was... That was me. Oh, following Art as he fled from the spa lounge. Oh. Huh? I was in the foyer, remember? So when I saw Art emerge from the spa lounge, I went to tail him, following as far as the entrance to the atrium. Then I heard you shout for help, and I did about... And I did about face. Little did I know, I would stumble upon the very thing he was running from. Okay, dang, dang. Oh, thank you, big checker Bridget. Well, time to give Art his airplane tickets to his free trip. Oh my god. Is he going to Mexico or is he going to Paris too? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, guess we, I guess we can decide later. 
if uh, they also go to Mexico. <laughs> if they, they should go to Paris, Texas. They could also go to Paris, France, you know. There's always that. I feel like, I was like, is Paris, Texas nice? I feel like it's just like a small town in the middle of Texas. <laughs> I, like, I kind of feel bad sending them there. Pub, what the heck is this? Cannon sure is a weird photographer. So does that settle your doubt, Missy? Ugh. But why wait to reveal such damning evidence? Ah, ugh. Okay. You think I want this blood in my hands? If I presented this photograph, we know the culprit for certain, thanks to me. Okay, everybody's saying Paris, Texas. I, I gotta look up Paris, Texas. What even is there? <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna look it up and be like, population of like 500 people in like three buildings. <laughs> because I'm always unlucky enough to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't want to bear that weight on my conscience. I know it's selfish, but take it or leave it. Aw, you're, you're softy deep down, deep down. Then... I suppose it's settled. If we can agree to this unquestionably, this if we can agree this is unquestionably the truth. There is no room for doubt. Oh man. Oh, thank you, Isley Rage. R didn't do it. Cannon is just totally. <laughs> I know, right? I can't. It's okay. It's okay. He's just, he's just going to Paris, Texas, which is lovely. Probably, <laughs> probably. I know nothing about that city. Has about twenty five k people. Okay. That's I'm, I'm like literally gonna look it up after the stream's over. Thank you for the dono, by the way. Um, it seems you've all come to a consensus. In that case, it's voting time. Not me voting for like Echo. <laughs> but can I get like a choice to vote and just be to Lulu? This is the final phase of the class trial. But for you think is the culprit? After all that jabbering, you'd better have a solid answer. Don't let any of that sentimental doubt or faith or whatever the fuck you guys have keep you from saving yourselves. I'm looking at you, Lyle. It's a voting time. <laughs> Is there somebody else who did that sprite? Oh, I can vote? Oh my god, can I literally, can I literally be to Lulu? <laughs> what happens? What happens if I'm to <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Zero in the background. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I still, I still kind of think she, <laughs> we're saying, I still kind of think Say is a little sus. I don't know, Pandora, you know, girl, homegirl. I'm clicking it. Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? <laughs> Jesus. Fine, fine game. That's not fair though. Why even give me the choice? Why even give me the choice if you know? Man, I'm so sad, dude. He was like literally one of my favorite characters. I just, I did not expect him to die. I did not, especially didn't expect him to be a killer. God. Guilty! Uh, ah! <laughs> like his clap. And we have a winner! The culprit responsible for the murder of Pandora is none other than the ultimate golfer, Arturo Campo Campiano or something. Oops, took long enough. Let's try to do. <laughs> you guys suck! Jesus! But for now. It's time for the grand finale. You've reached your exciting destination at the end of your first class trial. That destination be- oh, Can we skip this part? Can we like just skip this part? That destination being a punishment time. Oh no. That's so weird that it made a true sound when we obviously got the culprit wrong and Art's obviously gonna survive. That's so strange. Punish punishment time? Well, yeah, an eye for an eye, right? He was caught. <laughs> Too bad. Rule five. Recap. Rule five. To expedite the process towards the ultimate prize, one must kill a fellow student without getting caught. Open. Oh, what happens when they do get caught? I wonder. Determine and vote correctly, and the culprit alone will receive proper, proper retribution and perish at the hands of your group decision. It's bizarre. If it weren't for Echo's conveniently specific memory and Cannon's terrible luck pulling her to witness him, Art might have gotten away. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Arturo Campo Piano? Uh. This is what the Preservation Project wanted, isn't it? Aw, oh, man, he looks so freaked out, too. To kill and live on, to prove the strength above other ultimates. What? What? You think you're going to live on? Uh, whoops! You clearly don't have the emotional constitution to carry the people's future. Uh, uh, what? Oh no, oh no, no. You let your fears and anxieties eat you up until you broke. Stop. Why, I'm shocked Pandora didn't live. 
please. Oh, she. Oh no! Oh no! A weak, vulnerable, pathetic. I couldn't bear. Yes. Oh, I, I was gonna say to punch him, but it's not like you can really. You can. You can't really do anything else, honestly. Just still try to punch him, okay? Enough! Oh my god, emo boyfriend's here. A silvery voice rose from somewhere in the room. That voice, it was. Oh, the, uh, the other announcer? The voice that welcomed us to this place was here? Siri? Zero, stop this at once. Oh, you. I believe I got rid of you, but you still came back. Oh, so freaking weird. Oh, see what I did there? Eve? Oh, Eve. Eve. The students revealed the culprit. That was not sufficiently entertaining enough. Was that not sufficiently entertaining enough for you? Yeah, they sure did do their thing, but jeez, did it take a freaking while? God, all right, fine. His face was just so rich with despair. Oh, you know, I was thinking of Junko. She was the one who does that, like, uh, ah, Sprite. His personality does remind me of Junko so far. His face was just so rich with despair. I couldn't help it. It was fun for you too, right? Stop this. Fine, fine. I feel like, I don't know, she's trying to be all, like, chill and stuff, but it's like, I know you're just as evil as him, Eve. Is there an Adam as well? That's what I was thinking, too. I was, like, making it, giving me Eden's Garden vibes. I'll get on with this. Haha, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Can we at least, like, talk to him, like, a little bit more? Can him and, like, Lyle have, like, a final goodbye or something, dude? Oh, God, I don't want to see this. Haha, <laughs> goodbye, Arturo Campi Campo Piano, the ultimate golfer. Your execution awaits, and so it goes. Zero's hologram warped out, and a huge rumbling sound tore through the- Oh, shit. We're doing it already? Something was coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's happening already? The courtroom rumbled beneath us. One of the trial grounds' wall slid open, revealing the dark pit beyond the walls. From within... A golf cart came shrieking out, drifting and encircling our stands to stop squarely behind Art. Mechanized arms swept Art off his feet, pulling him to the cart that had hardly stopped for a second before peeling back into the darkness that it came from. Aw, oh, man. And Art became sequestered from us. As we... Oh, God, they really did not get to say goodbye to each other, dude. <laughs> that sucks. All we could do was watch in horror as his fate was projected onto a screen in the middle of the trial grounds. Oh shit! Oh, there we go! The art for it. Art was tossed unceremoniously into what appeared to be sand, a sand bunker in the middle of a giant miniature golf course. In a daze, he rose, cough, he rose coughing up sand and meeting the gaze of a kitsch bear statue holding a raised driver. The bear twitched. Its metal body groaned warily as the arm shook to life. A swing tunneled. Oh no! No god! Art came to execution by extreme hazard. <laughs> I was like, I did not, ex I did not expect it to just do that. Oh, I thought if I looked away, I, I thought if I looked away, I could like not, not look at, could avoid it from happening. <laughs> Fucking pink jump scare, dude. Oh, Phew, that was worth the wait, I think. And it's funny, he hated golf, but little did he know. All those business deals he sat in on. Those deals were the ones that brought in funding for the preservation project. The very thing he wanted to escape. He thought he could fly away, but it turns out that his influence was unescapable. Life sure is cruel. This guy really did go by so fast, man. It was like, we could not get like a moment with the gay boyfriends to say goodbye at least. Life sure is cruel, isn't it? It was horrifying. A disgusting display, mocking Art's ultimate talent, ended his life. Ah, oh, it sucks too, because yeah, he hated golf so much. He hated his talent and his last moments. It was all he saw. You know, it's kind of a parallel to Leon too, because Leon also like uh, hated his talent as well. You know what I mean? Thanks, uh, Isley Rage. I don't think that was Art, guys. Probably a, oh my God, so true. He didn't even have a hat on. It couldn't have been, it could not have been him. <laughs> so true, bestie. Thanks for the dono, appreciate ya. We all stood completely and utterly shocked. We all stood completely and utterly shocked. No one said a word. No one moved a muscle. An unmistakable sinking feeling arose, uh, froze us over. Despair. Oh, in return for entertaining me, how about I answer one question that's been drilling into your minds? 
Where are we? This, this isn't the preservation project at all, is it? Oh, ho! I said one question only. Our beloved courtroom resides in the Monokuma superstructure. Remember those earthquakes? Those aren't going to bother us thanks to civil engineering. The wonders of modern technology never cease. Ha, oh, so cool. Oh, I hope that satisfied your curiosity. It most certainly did not, you can't. Zero. That silvery, silvery voice spoke once more. You are a reaper of despair. Whatever you do ends in futility and provides no benefit to anyone. No benefit to anyone except you and your horrible schadenfreude. Do not think for a moment you've won. Oh. I will continue to fight back even after what you've done. Is she good? Is she good? A silver, a sliver of light remains. Echo, <laughs> echo pine. It, what? <laughs> I was like, the fuck? <laughs> Me? You received the title of... Oh! Ultimate memory. Oh, hey, Echo! Look, look at you! Pop up! You got a title! Look at you, my liege! Memory! What kind of bullshit talent is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, Jesus! We have a dictation, a photographer, a silly little puzzle master. I mean, what the fuck was that guy's talent anyway? He literally thinks we're in a fucking alternate reality. Good memory for their skills is already re required, wouldn't you think? I won't even humor you with this one, dumbass. The talent isn't even comparable to something remotely useful. Ultimate analytical prowess like that one pathetic girl. Wasn't that, wasn't that technically, wasn't that like a, uh, god, what's her face? Uh, come on, you've already given up trying, haven't you? Oh, it's still fun having competition. Fine, you think that will give these people hope? I guess she's good. I still feel like, I still feel like I kind of want to be suspicious of uh, her, to be honest, though. Eve. Ryoko, yeah, that's who I was thinking of. In P6, your queen is in trouble. Have a little information. I have a little information. Neither you nor the students will like. I knew his fucking name was weird. Wait, Cyrus Suryuk is... Oh! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Is someone to be wary of. Uh, okay, what the... What are you being sussy, Cyrus? Oh my god, of course he'd be sussy. His name rhymes with sussy. He isn't, he isn't who he says he is. He's not a normal ultimate student like the rest of you. He's more involved in this game than you think. Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm such a nice mastermind giving hints. Ultimate charisma. <laughs> that is true though. That talent did kind of sound like bullshit though. Ultimate charisma. What fucking bullshit is this? What a terrible cover talent. You, th you think you can just do this and convince us? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> it's like literally what Cyrus said. He's like, um, I'm a ultimate, ultimate, ultimate charisma, <laughs> ultimate handsome guy. <laughs> oh my god, that really is kind of a, a dumb talent. I was just like, yeah, whatever. Sai sus. Oh, there we go. You're all truly clueless if you believe that shit. Zero, stop. You've meddled enough. What and you haven't? I've been given the pr power for a reason, you know, and I'm going to use it as I please. This isn't the answer. Whatever, courtroom is closed. These losers can marinate in despair for a night. But tomorrow, we'll get it going yet again! Zero. Shut up! I'm tired of your poor, useless attempts at creating hope! You will never win. You're a failure! His eyes are looking all crazy there in that one. Oh. With that odd display, the two holograms cut out. Uh, what? It's like, is Cyrus meant to kind of, like, parallel Rontaro's, like, um... I don't know, roll a little bit in V3. I feel like it's gonna end up being something like that, maybe? That, like, he was in a previous killing game or something along those lines. I feel like all my theories for Cyrus is just, like, he's gonna be the first victim. He was in a previous killing game. <laughs> they all, like, just relate to Rontaro. What just happened? I was on the verge of tears. My whole body shook violently. Ugh. There was a weight at the bottom of my heart dragging my whole body down. I felt like my head was going to split. Becoming trapped in a strange luxury mansion where I seemingly didn't belong. Stuck with a group of revered students with a so-called ultimate talent. Getting involved up in a class trial where we had to investigate someone killing someone else. 
concluding with a gruesome execution. As if everything else wasn't enough. Why was this happening? I want to go to bed for a long, long time. Ah, uh, poor Echo, dude. Ah, uh, damn. That was wild. I still can't believe. I still can't believe it was art, dude. Before I knew it, my limp body dove to the floor and I kneeled over. My heavy eyes closed wearily and I allowed myself to sink into the velvety, velvety darkness. Oh, gosh. No, Art! Death! No! Lies, lies. Stop, stop that game. Stop, stop that. Don't, don't do that to me. Don't, don't do this to me. Man. Chapter two. A deep pulsing. Actually, let me go ahead. Can I go ahead and save? Man, I'm so fucking sad. God dang it. Uh, man, I'm so sad, dude. <laughs> Screw this game, dude. Screw this game. Man. Oh my god. I don't know if I... I guess maybe I could read just a little bit of this. Maybe wait until uh, they wake up or something. A deep pulsing darkness filled every crevice and fold, bleeding through razor-thin cracks. Drifting unevenly between a nauseating black sea and stifling destitute vacuum. Obscurity murmured and bubbled beneath the heavy velvet pall. Competing vibrations through the void pounded and shook the air with a whiff. Uh, a whiff. A stiff, rich chord. The staccato hum echoed, threatening to break the eclipsing shadow. <sighs> echo. 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 Echo! Ouch! Oh shit! <laughs> Did he punch me? With my eyes as swift and sharp as a swift and sharp pain struck my face. Hey, what gives? Missy was standing there, standing over me, her hands poised in a way that suggested that she was the one who had firmly woken me up. I'm sorry, Echo, but I had to wake you up. I shook you, but you didn't react, so... I blinked several times as I rubbed my left cheek, my vision adjusting to the surroundings. I feel like literally I predicted everybody to be a killer besides, like, Art <laughs> like, Lyle. <laughs> they were the only people I didn't expect. <laughs> Thank you, Rip PR. Always the ones you least expect. I know, dude. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad! The himbo, man! He's so cute. It seems I I was in either Missy or Ashley's personal room. Oh, okay, I guess uh, they might have just like fainted then. I sat up I sat up in the bed to see Ashley sitting at the floor foot of the bed, just in front of me. Missy was on my left in a spare chair. Ashley, Missy, what happened? Well, for starters, it's about 9.15 p.m. You seem to have passed out after the trial this evening. Ashley and I were concerned, so we've been monitoring to make sure you were safe. However, I was worried. You stopped breathing. I, I stopped. I stopped breathing. I can't have you leaving us so shortly after we lost our other two friends. I hope your newfounded title of ultimate memory does not begin to fail you so soon. Ultimate memory. <laughs> that one that fucking Zero was <laughs> clowning on me for. E Echo Pine. Ultimate memory. Ultimate shorty, more likely. More like it. That's right. Just yesterday, I thought I was an ordinary student with no extreme talents or skills, and yet, in the courtroom, a revelation came to light. I was given the unique title of ultimate memory. But whatever that entailed, I wasn't too thrilled. <laughs> because despite the revelation, it wasn't the strangest thing to occur. <sighs> ah! Not the best. <laughs> God dang it. So sad. It's okay, Art. I still forgive you. You said sorry, and how could I? How could I? How could I be upset with you after that? How could I? That would just be wrong of me. Isley Rage, thank you. The pink means they're in live and and in Paris, Texas. Oh my God, that's so true. Do you know that Paris, Texas flag is Pepto Bismol pink? They're just showing. They're just showing pride for their city. We we love that for them. Oh, Epto, where's my Lyle Art angst? I need it. Oh my God, you're gonna have to send me some of that later. <laughs> Once I get off the stream, dude. Thank you for the dono too. I back my words and tears, thinking about Pandora and art. The truth was hard to swallow. Throughout the trial, many of us struggled to find footing in the discussions. None of us wanted to believe any of it. The murder. The following it. The execution. The three of us all sat in silence, haunted by the dark happenings of the courtroom. I looked solemnly at the other two. Missy and Ashley's faces told all. A tapestry of remorse and distress. Well, what's important is that you're all right now, Echo. Yeah, thanks, you two. 
I'm relieved. Ashley's voice was a whisper. First the door trap, then this. We exchanged a few words, but we knew from emotion alone how heavy our hearts weighed. Missy breathed a tense sigh just the other day. Missy was so composed, but now... A voiceless iron curtain hung over us. There were so many things to address, but fear choked our dialogue. Um... <laughs> I looked up to meet Ashley's tearful gaze. Looking just past her, I saw something bright sitting on a cabinet in the corner of her personal room. It was a helmet. I was kind of hoping, too, that Lyle could get, like, the hat that Art had. I can't, I'm trying to remember the art and the execution. It seemed like he was missing the hat, honestly. So I was like, maybe, maybe that could, that could go to Lyle. That'd be pretty cute. Ash. And what is it, Echo? The helmet over there. We first met up. I remember you saying you didn't have any personal possessions, but. Um. Yeah, I didn't mention it on the first day. I didn't want to talk about it then. Sorry, you don't have to. No, I think it should be brought up. Ashley's face sunk. She's turned to face the cobalt blue item. I'm sure you can recall what I told you about the person this helmet belongs to. I nodded gently and Ashley sighed deeply. And Missy was quiet, politely listening. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the race car guy. I got into a fight with my friend, another ultimate student, Silva Prower, race car driver. I keep thinking of that guy uh, from Eden's Garden. Isn't he like a race car driver too? The fight was about the very preservation project we're involved in now. The project was about a low whisper among ultimate students. Words, word was that we would be offered state-of-the-art living and protection, seeing as our talents would be a great worldly benefit. As soon as I received my offer to join, I couldn't say no. I asked Silva if he had accepted as well, but Silva declined. Oh my god, so based, Silva, so based. So base, Silva. <laughs> no, they're gonna put us in a fucking killing game. <laughs> I've I've played Danganronpa before. Silva declined, wholly disagreeing with the offer the vehemently. He doubted the validity of a private group that only existed in the hope hopeful hearsay of strangers. Oh, gosh, he is so based. He knew that was sus. Oh man. But what position was I to deny safety when it had to been offered so graciously? Their differing opinions on the matter, coming to a clash, he eventually gave up on me entirely. Yet against his wishes, I made attempts to get his name in. Oh yeah, he was ultimate drag racer, that's what it was. And look where we are now. Not <laughs> in before Silva's the mastermind. <laughs> in before in before he's the mastermind. Ash began to tear up and buried her head in her hands. I'm such an idiot. Her voice trembled. Ashley, you're not an idiot for caring about a friend's well-being. I... I was foolish for thinking the killing game would go away if I removed Echo from being involved in my troubles. Being involved with the ultimates only leads to ultimate levels of trouble. But I was wrong for thinking I could shoulder tragedy on my own. I feel like... I don't know, man. She always says it in like such serious moments, the ultimate levels of trouble. I guess she's trying to make a serious statement, but it just feels like... I don't know if it's like a pun... I don't think it's like a pun. Well, is it a pun, maybe? No, I don't think so. It just sounds so silly. I knew that being an ultimate could only lead to ultimate levels. I was <laughs> just kind of like, see what I did there? <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. Ashley looked at me with pleading eyes. They were filled with deep sorrow and regret. I am sorry, Echo. I realize now that it's important that, more important than ever, that we stick together. She grasped firmly my hand, but her own hands were shaking from fear. It was only natural. I felt a tear fall from my face onto the back of Ashley's hand. Aw. Poor Ashley, man. Missy's voice slipped in. Why don't we get something from the dining hall to unwind? Everyone seems rather tense, and I think that taking a beat could help us de-stress. Huh? How could you think of getting a s How could you think of getting a snack at a time like this? What? Depression makes me hungry. I heard my voice cry in desperation. Pandora and Art's lives were just taken away. I'm sorry, but I don't think we're of sound mind right now. That's right, we shouldn't waste time doing nothing. Then what would you suggest we do? We... We need to escape! Missy, you're the ultimate tactician. I I'm begging you. Come up with something, anything. You're the only person who's like remotely smart in this game. Any sort of plan that gets us out of here. What's the point of ultimate talents if you can't do anything with them? Ooh. Missy flinched. She looked away, attempting to hide her reaction. I realized what I had just said. I'm sorry. I I went 
I went too far. Ugh. Damn. Echo, it's fine. However, Missy's words betrayed her emotions. She must have felt tense after everything as well, but she tried to retain her composure nonetheless. I let out a deep sigh. I'm sorry for losing my temper. You're right. A snack could, could help clear my head. I don't know. Maybe it would be a good idea. Missy. Let's go eat some Oreos. Come on, Missy. Missy's expression eased, but she said nothing. Rather, she was she slowly got up and offered a hand for me. Missy's so sweet. She helped me out of bed, and we quietly made our way to the dining hall. For the mods, when is a good place to stop? I just don't want... Uh, I'm trying to think. Should I stop here, or should I wait a little bit more? Because I never. I don't know if it ever did like the intro card for Chapter 2. I was kind of waiting for that. I guess we can see. You guys can let me know. I just uh, kind of wanted to separate it by uh, chapters. I was a little confused too. I was like, is there three or four chapters in total for this game? Not not totally sure anymore. <laughs> I just like the episodes to be organized, you know? Especially organizing them by chapter. I don't know. I just feel like it's it's nice, you know? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Let's see. So I didn't just miss the intro card, right? Let's see. Friend told me it was three chapters. Chapter three being the longest. Oh, okay. We can stop here. There's a good chunk left. So yeah, now it's good. Okay, cool. Yeah, sounds good. We can go ahead and stop here then. We can uh, play chapter two. Uh next time on the next episode of Danganronpa Labs. Oh, super fun. Well, pfft. I mean, Art dying wasn't super fun. I just loved Art so much. He was literally like my favorite, my favorite, like, uh, or one of my favorites. Him and Lyle were like my favorites so far, dude. I don't know, man. So sad, so sad. Thank you, Big Chuck of Bridget. I recommend stopping when it says the end. <laughs> just, just play through the whole game. 10 hour stream. Hey, I've, well, I haven't done it before. I guess eight hours was my was my longest so far. <laughs> but yeah, this was super fun. Uh, thank you also for the dono, Big Chuck of Bridget. But yeah, this was fun. Thanks guys for stopping by. We will continue next week. Also, do you think I'm gonna try to do a Friday stream again? I've been kind of behind on that just because I've been busy with a bunch of other stuff. But um, yeah, I was kind of, Thinking about, I don't know, I guess you guys can leave recommendations for games in the comments section. I have a few ideas of different games. I was thinking, uh, I know there's like several death games I kind of want to check out too, like Nausea and like um, Buried Stars. So I was like, maybe I could check those out on a uh, Friday. There's also Undertale, which I've been wanting to play, but I don't know if that'd be better to let's play rather than stream. But you guys let me know in the comments what you think uh, would be good for the Friday streams or if you guys are interested in those. But yeah, thanks guys for uh, coming by and I will see you next time.